YouTube, so we'll get to we'll start getting some uh, video on the YouTube as well. Too. Here's some. Let's see. So, all right. So we got our at the we, same time. No. So yeah. So we have we have we have uh, we have a live stream on. Uh, I actually use it just to uh, kind of record all my. Uh, record the clips as well too, so that I don't have to import it all the way over from Twitch. So, which makes my life a little easier. So, one step at a time. So. That mean it's right. on uh, YouTube right yeah. now. So, yeah. So we're gonna be on YouTube, and yeah, the, the the VOD will be available on YouTube. So, so. I just started it. So, uh, so, so, so there's a Good. few parts we missed as well too. So, <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so yeah. Oh, jeez, jeez, dragons. What have you been? Uh, what have you been doing? War you're you're already worn. It's this is like early Saturday morning, and you're already worn out. <laughs> I mean, then again, I mean, I, I, I mean, no judgment, by the way. I mean, hey, I mean, it is Saturday after all. I mean, uh, it's, it's a good day to be, good day to be uh, doing things. Well, too here, so yeah, so yeah, so. Oh yeah, thank you. Yeah, killer. Yeah, the uh, so all of our vods, well, as as much of the vods as we can. So, uh, and also, by the way, Guy Fong, all all, all all the vods that we have on YouTube uh, usually cuts out the first hour. So. So all the time that we kind of get used to kind of warm up and get ready together, our kind of our 818 period, uh, our first hour usually is not available here. But uh, anyway, you can see, Guy Fong, this is turned into like, so, uh, so this ball is kind of turned into putty now. So it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like, uh, it's, uh, oh, show the camera. Don't show me, show the camera here. So uh, yeah, so it kind of looks like um, kind of big black ball of putty or like plasticine. So, so, so yeah, so, but yeah, the Guy Fong, like I said, I mean, making, and yes, you can you, you can play with it, but uh, yeah, I wouldn't. Uh, you can eat it, but I wouldn't. I would not recommend uh, selling this as like thinking putty or anything like that too. So yeah, so, yeah, yeah, killer. Actually, haven't I, I? I haven't mentioned that, but yes, Guy Fong, all of our vods, well, or the well, the more mo the, the cooking part of our vods is now on on YouTube here. So, uh, but uh, that, that that's a big thing here. So yeah, so yeah. Oh, uh, Dragon says hello to you as well too. So Dragon is another one of my, one of my regulars. Yes. So. Uh, so. Okay, uh, so we have to wait how so much. So, yeah, so, so, yeah, so now, so, so now, of course, here comes the portioning here. So I'm just gonna get the uh, just to quickly adjust the camera here. So get this a little bit loose. So, so how much was the whole, whole thing again? 153. One so there's about 153. You said that you're gonna make 20. 20 pieces. So approximately seven grams. Seven, just seven grams. Seven, eight grams. Mm. Seven and a half grams, approximately. That can be enough. Again, uh, again. If you if you wonder why I also weigh things completely and then do the math after, I get it from this uh, from this lovely lady here. So, so when I if I'm ever doing dough and I, or like I'm making dumplings, I do exactly the same thing. So that means around around seven fifty seven seven point five grams. That means eight eight gram. You So 7.3 grams. Yeah. Uh, again, approximate numbers. You don't have to be like 7.2 grams. I mean, you're not a machine, so right? I mean, so uh, what was this? Uh, uh, you may need to embed. So really? Hold on. Like, which link are you talking about here? Are you talking about the uh, YouTube link? Seven so seven? So that's about seven. Do you need a gram scale? Do you need a do you need the uh, do, you, do you need what they call the drug scale, Ma? Hmm? Do you need uh, I'll get I'll, I'll get to, I'll, I'll see if I can find it here. I am gonna see if I still have any battery in that as well too, so <laughs> Hold on guy I'll just I'm just gonna wander off. I'm gonna see if I can find it as well too here, so Recently cleaned my room, so I should have it. I should have it somewhere. So my, I cleaned my office recently, so ah, here it is. <laughs> so, if you really, really want to be precise, Guy Fong, you truly, truly want to be like completely and utterly precise, you can do this. Uh, again, uh, let me see if I can actually open it. So, uh, like this, I use this back at school. So, hold on. So, uh, let me see if this open. Oh, Jesus. Oh, hey, I still have battery on this. Look at that. Do you want to use this instead? For what? It's a, um... Just do it! Oh. It's, uh... 
it'll measure to the uh, to the point degree here. So, uh, so if you uh, if you really want to be precise, you can use these. So this is like a so this is gram scale. I think the maximum is like twenty grams on these. So uh, you can use this as well too. So uh, so if you really want to be measure you want to be accurate. You you can use this as well too if you want. So. Uh, so. Yes, yeah, these things, so, yeah, it's like a jewelry scale. So literally, it's like, so you can use these to measure, um, to do, like, I mean, ounces of gold and things like that. So, so very, very small, very, very precise scale. So especially if you're working with, like, things like molecular gastronomy, these things are also very popular here. But, uh, but uh, maybe I'll keep this, uh, I'll, I'll keep this around for, for the time being here. So, but uh, if you really, again, guy problem, like I said, you don't have to have it. Uh, usually these things are about 20 bucks, uh, 20 bucks on your, on Amazon or any or most fine stores, so you can you can get these as well too. So Simon says jump up and down. <laughs> I'm not Simon. I'm not Simon. Mommy's not Mommy's name. What the Simon. hell? What the hell? I know, right? I mean, it's yeah. So yeah, I haven't used it in a while, so that's why I just literally just remembered I actually had that too. So mm. so there's the deal here. So mm. and then. Uh, so you can see these little balls so again. So mommy's just actually just weighing the, uh, out these little uh, por oh she's just portioning these out here. So, so. and and yes, this kind of looks like 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 edible asphalt, which is um, uh, kind of looks like road pavement, but uh, trust me, it's uh, it's much tastier. So <laughs> <laughs> that's a nice brand for it. Like. Uh, like sorry, you mean you mean the salter ones? I mean you mean these ones, like salter? Yeah. Yeah, I think these. Are, I, I don't know where. I, I don't know how long ago actually. Uh, I don't remember the last time I used this as well too. So I mean, this is. I think I haven't used this in in years here. So I probably need to need to find a way to kind of power this down here because I don't want to burn out the battery. Might probably have to end up using. Me might actually end up using this. Uh, I might actually end up using this a little bit later here. So. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I can't believe you have a small scale that you call the drug scale. That's literally what we call it. Literally, back in the industry, back, back in back in back at school, that's exactly what we call it. It's literally called the drug scale. I would not be so. I think even honestly, your 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 if you have your your local pharmacist will also have this as well too. So I mean, uh, and my mom works for the same company as I do as well too, right? I mean, I'm pretty sure the pharmacist at her head pharmacist at her store and the head pharmacist at my store uh, would also have something like this. So. Again, these things can measure up to like milligrams, by the way. So actually, not by uh, by one. Well, goes to two decimals. So I mean, you know what I mean, right? So especially when it comes to medication, uh, that can be very, very important here. So yeah, so mm -hmm. not being stock. Ooh, yeah, no worries. Edible, <laughs> edible asphalt. He said. I mean, I mean, it kind of looks like it. I mean, I mean, not gonna lie, but. Uh, but when we when these get cooked, they're not gonna look like that, by the way. So, but anyway, so that's good. So, I know it's good. So, you know, so I don't know. Sometimes uh, I take things at face face value too much here. So, mm -hmm. okay, and uh, you can see. Oh, okay, well, let's see. So, so now you can see the. Uh, we're just so my mom's actually just uh, evening these out now. So just taking the taking these little lovely balls of uh, balls of of black sesame and uh, black sesame filling and. Uh, just gonna give it a little, uh, little, little, little thing as well too here. So, one part of measure up to ten kilograms, a smaller part up to uh, two hundred grams. Interesting. How much is that? How much would something like that set you back, though, uh, Kelvin? Mm. Yeah. You want to make something bigger? I mean, either you. I mean, whatever you, you, you whatever you like. You want to make a big, big one. I mean, <laughs> You. I mean, it, it, daddy I mean, was you daddy was was crazy yesterday. Oh no! What did he do? Because I made something very big yesterday. How big did you make it yesterday? So, mommy was actually doing some testing yesterday, so she was actually making sure that uh, she uh, she had the perfect recipe for y'all. So, uh, uh, I didn't see a lot of it. I was actually uh, I literally went to bed like very early last night because I, I did start early. So, uh, so, so I didn't see a lot of it. So what so what is how did how big did you make it? Do you have photos? Mm -hmm. Uh, two times as big. So twice as big. So does it take a long? Does it take longer to cook though? No. I mean, I'm a Jew. I'm a Jew. Like, yeah, you long. Like, yeah. No, of course, right? I mean, you, I mean, the larger the. I mean, and Guy Fong again. You can. Uh, you you don't have to. You, you can make them any size you want. I mean, you can make them 
the size of your, uh, you can make them the size of your head if you want, but uh, just be aware, you're going to need a pot that can, uh, that can uh, cook that, by the way, too, so. Uh, can you actually, wait, hold on, can, can you deep fry these things after you cook them, or, or can, can you deep fry them? No, put it in the hot water. Yep. Uh, I mean, if you want to, if you want to, I mean, uh, so mommy says, uh, I mean, Guy Fong, do, do you want to see mommy make an extra jumbo size one? I mean, uh, let's see what the Guy Fong says. Wow. hundred kilo. Okay. That's pretty pricey, though. That's pretty pricey. But, uh, but hey, if, it, if you need, if, so, if something you need and you... you if you want or need, and it's something that you can use in your day-to-day -day life, seriously, I mean, hey, I'm not going to say no. I I'm not going to stop you on that, Leonard. So, that big? Go. That's okay. <laughs> so you can see these large ones here. These are going to turn into jumbo, a jumbo tongue yuan as well, too. Three, so, uh, three time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Isn't that almost the same, like, the large tongue yuan, isn't that almost the size of loisa tongue tong yuan? The leisha tongue yuan? Loisa tong yuan hai lok dao fan mo Yeah. There is also, by the way, another, if you ever go to dim sum and you've ever had um, these uh, these dumplings, uh, but they're coated in like kind of like a mung bean flour or like a toasted mung bean flour or peanuts uh, called lui sa tong yun. These are exactly the same thing. So if you, if you, if you like those, we're showing you exactly how to make these. Yeah, next time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Man, when we, next time when we go out for uh, dim sum, not a lot of places make it though. I think the, I don't, I, I don't, I don't remember the, I, I, Every time we've gone out to do to dim sum, I don't think I've seen anywhere where they actually make loy satong yun anymore. Okay. Now. Okay, okay, go gan, go gan hamba yam yam mo loy satong yun sa kaya yam mo. No. Okay. All right, Guy Fong, we're just gonna get this and uh, where's the where's Guy Fong? We're gonna let these bad boys chill down. So these need to be be chilled. Uh, you can also freeze these, by the way. So you can also freeze these, uh, so that they are they're gonna be easier to roll. So. Uh, in freeze, uh, freezing them will probably be easier, but uh, if you want to do them as, if you want to do them, uh, what's it called? Um, if you want to just put them in the in, in the chill chest, uh, give them about how long are we gonna ch uh, how long are you gonna chill them down for? Half an hour? Uh, they like to be forty minutes, but I, I don't think minutes. we need. Yeah, forty minutes is a yeah. So forty minutes, forty minutes at a relatively cold fridge should be fine. Or, since it is snowing outside, you can also uh, just put them outside. But uh, <laughs> just be careful, though. I mean, uh, we, uh, uh, like, we live in an area that uh, has a lot of wild animals. So, yeah. So, anyway. So, depending on your area. 200 your... gram for the, uh, for the things. Uh, the, 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 the wrapping? Okay. Yeah. All right. So, so, okay. So, now that we got the filling, next thing we need to do is we're going to, so the next thing we're doing is we're going to get the, the outside wrap now. So, we're going to use our... So we're gonna get the glutinous rice flour open here. So, uh, once again, folks, if you're just coming in, welcome in. My name is John Leung. Uh, this is my mom. Uh, yes. So uh, we like to do uh, we like to do what we like to call Asia in your mouth, which is Asian and rolled cooking. Uh, so today is a bit of a special day. Today is the 15th day of Lunar New Year, and yes, we are making glutinous rice dumpling, also known as Tong Yun in Cantonese or Tang Yuan in Mandarin. So, yes, uh, this is a. Uh, they did mention these, and they uh, they did actually mention these d dumplings. For the, if you've ever heard of the word Tang Yuan, uh, if you have watched the show Kung Fu Panda, uh, in the the holiday special, yes, they do mention these too. So, so. this was nice of these. J Frank, good to see you. Welcome in. How are you, my friend? Holy crap, J Frank, how have you been? Feels like a, feels like forever and day since we last saw you. How have you been, my friend? So yes, uh, and. Uh, Jay Frank, you've you 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 you've, you've met mommy before, right? So uh, good to see you. Welcome in. How have you been, my friend? We use some uh, hundred and fifty hot warm water. Warm water. Okay. Nice. Good to see you, my friend. So, all right. So, so guy okay, I do see our stream rate of battles ready to go. So we'll just get a uh, we'll get this done once uh, we'll, we'll get the battle going uh, once. Um, uh, once we are good to go here, so so yeah. So Guy Fong again. Uh, we do to uh, so so Guy Fong. I think yeah. We get that. So oh oh so, oh. Are you gonna boil the water? Yeah. We have boiling hot water right now. Actually no. That I guess that's too long. I guess she just wants that. I guess my mom just wants the uh, um uh scalding hot water here. So hold on. No. So just one boiling hot water. Here, so just boiling the hot water. 
Let's go to the stove. We got the stove here, so I'm just putting the uh, just putting the uh, hot water on here. So, uh, um, actually, Gavin, uh, mommy, can you just tell people why it's important to use hot water? I've explained it before, but I but I think the guy from would like to hear from you. So, uh, <laughs> why is it important to when you're using glutinous rice flour? Why is it important to use hot boiling water? Why is it important to use hot boiling water? Guy Fong, this is something I've never seen before, so I am a little gobsmacked right now. I usually just dump, I usually just dump hot water right in, and usually that's it. Guy Fong, you can still do it, but uh, this is apparently a technique I have never seen before. So seriously, I didn't even expect this. My mommy actually didn't even tell me this. So Guy Fong, we are absolutely in for a treat here, folks. So, uh, so. Uh, she didn't have a lot. Of yeah, we didn't. I, I did laugh her up last time. I didn't have her wrecked up last time. Really? Hmm. That was weird, but uh, anyway, but that's good though. So now that you, but at least at the very minimum, you can actually hear her now as well too. So, mm -hmm. a chocolate chip cookie, which is probably my answer for today. Anyone do? Ooh, chocolate chip cookies are always good. So, 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 uh, yeah, folks. Again, if our, our question today, uh, our eight one eight today is, well, what is if you need something sweet like right now? What are we grabbing for? Exclamation mark eight one eight. So, all right. So we're starting with a little bit of a uh, the. So how much water is that? One hundred and fifty, right? Not yet. 150. Total water though, right? So the total is 150 water. So yeah. Awesome. So total is 150 water. Oh, a little bit closer. So a little bit closer. Yes. Yeah, so probably around. Yep. There it is. So people can actually see that as well too. So yes. Yeah, so. Exactly. Oh yeah. Yet you're not wrong on that one here. So you're definitely not wrong. So yes. So. Hmm. So you can see it's kind of starting to form a little crumbliness. That's a surface tension thing. It could be. So I mean, I mean. So what's the purpose? Like so, let let ding li go let let li hai ga lun shui xin ji ao zai ga yi shui. Um, what's the effect? This is the traditional. That's the traditionally. So yeah, is that what grandma used to do? Uh, Apo, this is how Apo did it when 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 she was um, yeah. when you when you made it. Oh, interesting. So interesting. So explain in English how she primed the water. Uh, in English how she primed the water. What do you mean by sorry? Uh, Prime the water. What do you mean by that? Sorry, just uh, I could. I, I'm gonna see if I can. I, I, I'm just trying to get the because I, I'm a little. I'm a, I, I'm, I'm being. A, I'm a little gauze right now because I wasn't expecting this as well too. So I mean, I didn't know this though. <laughs> yeah. So, so what it is is right now she's taking about th almost three, five, six of the water, um, and so she's using warm water to start to kind of kind of bring the dough together. She also has a little bit of hot water, uh, like boiling hot water that she's gonna add to kind of. And would need to cook for five minutes. And then you're gonna wait. Are you gonna dump the whole thing in the? No. Nope. Okay. One fifth or one tenth. A tenth of the dough is what you're saying. Yeah, it's not enough because our weather here is too cold. Yeah. And then that's why we have to get more water. Yeah. 150. 150. Yes, sir. Yeah. Here in Calgary, we 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 do need to use a little bit more water. It is very dry. It's a, because our elevation is very higher. Uh, hydration levels uh, here is gonna be a little different than if you were say. Uh, living at lower lo lower altitudes. So say for example, if you're living in maybe say like New York or Chicago, uh, the hydration rates of anything, kind of like flour or bread, uh, will be different from maybe say a Denver or Salt Lake City, Calgary uh, or La Paz, Bolivia, right? So that's basically so. Mm -hmm. Little flour in the one. Uh, oh yes. Oh, she is gonna put a little bit of. So some of this you're gonna put that in there, right? So yes. Gotcha. So she's actually gonna put a little bit of this dough into the in, into the water to cook it. And then she, she's going to mix the whole thing back together. Yes. So, so, so there will be a little bit of that cooked dough as well too. So, so, so she's a little bit. So, so that's why I'm saying whatever I make is traditional. Yep, traditional. And what you make is yep. is easy fancy one. Fancy and easy, right? So easy fancy. Easy fancy. So, 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 so. Yeah, you but can see. You, so. you can break, so, yeah, so. right? So this kind of looks like it kind of, this kind of looks like really really bad uh, like really kind of dry crumbly play doh. So that's kind of look. This, I mean, it kind of looks like play doh right now, or kind of like really really like soft chalk. So so it kind of looks like chalky right now. But uh, uh, 
Uh, we have a humidity of 80, 90% degree and very close to the ocean. Our humidity is a lot less here. So, I mean, Tatsu, I mean, you're, uh, Tatsu, good to see you. Welcome in. I mean, you're in Peru, right? I mean, I mean, bake, I mean, making something like this in maybe say a city like Cusco, uh, as opposed to maybe say a Guayaquil in, in Ecuador or a uh, Guayaquil on the coast or, or Lima, uh, will be a little bit different. So a chief of restaurant making this in Lima will have to, will, will use a lot less water than someone, uh, a chief of restaurant that's making this in, in, uh, Cusco. Again, good to see you. Welcome in. How are you doing, my friend? Yeah. Rice dumplings. They are fancy with some spinach. Jay Frack, you know me. You you know you know I like to do fancy things. <laughs> right? Yeah, so. All right. So so, this one? Yep. I pick one randomly. Okay, so so one please. So we're just taking that. We're just gonna take that. She's literally dropping this into the she's actually just dropping this. So, so just dropping this into the water. She's gonna cook this for approximately five minutes here. Yeah. So so yeah, so sweet rice dumplings. Sweet rice dumplings. Ba ba ba. <laughs> All right, so taking a piece of dough and she's literally cooking this, uh, cooking it in. But uh, I've never seen this before, so Guy Fong, I, this is this is new thing for me too. So uh, getting stuck in your hand is a constant pain. Mm. Uh, I I can definitely feel you on that one here. So so. Again, it's a uh, but again, like I said, I mean, uh, uh, when I do write these recipes, it's usually based on a higher elevation. So, uh, especially when it comes to like things like uh, bread, um, like when I do breads, like like uh, steam buns, uh, dumplings. Again, just guy fun. Just be very aware. Um, and I think I, 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 this is something I just remember. I probably should also mention on every one of my recipes, especially in my recipe box. So, guy fun. Again, if you find that you don't use as much water as the recipes I write. It's because I do live in a higher elevation area. If you live in a place even higher than Calgary, like like La Paz, Bolivia, or Denver, Colorado, then yes, then yes, you will use more water than I would. So that's a big thing. So, but yeah. But anyway, if it's coming in, guys, how are you doing today? So, uh, how is everybody doing today? All right. So, so mommy right now is just cooking the. Uh, so she's just cooking the, this one piece of dough. We. So again, I've never done this before. So guy, fun when we do ours a little bit uh, after my mom, uh, after mommy makes hers, uh, we are gonna try this technique ourselves too. So, <laughs> so, uh, so, or of course, if you don't, if you wanna, if you if you kind of wanna, you wanna um, skip it all together. I mean, you can just do boiling hot water all the way. Uh, just be sure, guy, fun again. Um, quick little disclaimer: make sure that the, uh, wash your hands. Uh, hot dough is not fun, by the way. Hot dough is not fun to handle. See right now, guys. I'm just gonna take a look here. So, kind of looks like um, almost like kind of looks like plaster right now. So plaster or um. So wait. So all right. So what are we doing here right now? So what are we doing now? Waiting for five minutes. Okay. So oh, so you so oh, you're just setting that up. So, so I thought you were just gonna you're starting the portion already as well too. Wait, wait, wait. What? You got hot like you you like hot you have you have to prepare it. And then put it in in the in the fridge for 15 minutes she thinks that she i can't do it huh? to, she, 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 she she likes to throw doubt at me sometimes as well too <laughs> that, that's a big thing so <laughs> the guy found thinks that i the guy found thinks that you think i can't do what you're doing right now oh i don't think so ha 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 see 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 my mommy feels in me jay fry Hold on, where are we at? So, so. All right, so the uh, dough is still cooking here right now. So we'll just, uh, so that's about another couple minutes here. So there's a piece of, she wasn't specific. I know, I know, I know. I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna, hey, hey, Jay Frank, I'm gonna take the dubs when, I'm gonna take the dubs when I get them, okay? I'm gonna take the dubs when I can get them, okay, seriously. I mean, hey, dubs are rare. I mean, hey, dubs are, dubs are always good for this. All right. Oh, <sighs> kind of feels a little serene right now here, but that's super, <laughs> super cool right now. So, just gonna get the, all right, that dough's still cooking right now. Are you, it's still cooking at a relative, still at a boiling heat here, so. Uh, it's, 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 it kind of looks like a, it kind of looks like just a blob of egg white right now, right here, but, uh, but when it'll be, uh, it will, it will look a little bit better as well too, so. Exactly. Hey. 
In the world, in, in the world we live in today, I mean, hey, we don't. Not everybody gets a lot of dubs. So, I mean, hey, when you get when you get your dubs, you gotta take them when you can. So do so. Alrighty, guys. Well, all right. Let's do it. So, you know, we'll, we'll give it. We'll, we'll give the we'll give the dough a touch again, folks. Uh, this dough will be uh, will be will be scalding hot. So uh, if you handle the if you do this at home, uh, please again handle the hot dough. Uh, handle the hot dough with your. Uh, uh, with, 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 with extra care because, uh, well, you know, I mean, uh, hot dough is never good as well, too, so, uh, say I don't think so, so you can take whatever you want. I know, I will. I will take whatever I want. You know I will, though, Jake, right? I will, so. <laughs> uh, once again, folks, if you're just coming in, welcome in, everybody. So, uh, all right, we are, uh, so today is day 15th of Lunar New Year, so, uh, and yes, traditional. And today is the fifteenth day of Lunar New Year. Uh, traditionally, this would be the final. This traditionally, this is the final day of celebrations. Uh, back in the ancient, uh, back in the old days, when traf, uh, when when people actually could take uh, a, t a lot of time off. So I mean, uh, this is the time when people would. Uh, today would be the last day. Uh, well, the fifteenth day would, would be the last day that people will would get together with their family. And then on the 16th and 17th, uh, 16th day, usually uh, people would start uh, heading back to where they are, if especially if they are uh, in other, uh, if they're working in other places here. So, alrighty, Guy Fong, I think our dough is ready to go. So you can see our, so you can see this little piece of dough here. It's fully cooked. So, so let's just drain the water here. That's cold water here. So, so cold water. Yeah, so, yeah, so, so this is probably the easiest way to kind of transport it over. So using a bowl of cold water. You can see, you, guys, you can see this kind of um, this kind of a uh, difference here. So this is a so this is kind of like dry and chalky. This is like super gummy. So it's kind of like a almost like kind of like chewing gum, right? So it's almost like a chewing gum kind of um, uh, what's it called um consistency. So the yeah. But uh, now now guys, on watch us how this thing is going to do. So uh, what's up? Uh, what's up? Uh, uh, if I could pick one favorite dish from New Year, what would it be? Um. I don't know. Mommy, if you could pick a dish from New Year that you would like to have, what, what would you pick? Tong Yun. Tong Yun. This one, right here. So she's actually making her favorite right now. So I was actually kind of thinking you would say Pun Choi or something like that. But yeah, the Pun Choi. Yeah. Pun, so she would also like the Pun Choi as well, the big bowl feast, which we actually didn't end up making, by the way. So, uh, so but uh, we make it. You made it off She made it for her friends, but uh, she was. Uh, I didn't have any because I, I was. Uh, we were busy that day, so, uh, so, but anyway, that's a great thing, so, yeah. Uh, for me, honestly, I mean, uh, actually, I don't know, honestly, I mean, uh, it's the, I think it's the fried peanut dumpling that we made, uh, on last week, last Sunday, that's personally my personal favorite, so, and, uh, we still have a few of those ones, too, so I think we've only had, like, three or four pieces left from the 13 we made, too, so, yeah, so, uh, did I miss something? Why adding the cooked to the uncooked dough? Um, the adding the cooked to dough, I think that's adds a little bit more springiness. Is that what what happened? So this is just the this is the traditional way, as my, as mommy was explaining as well too. So. Like come on, so I'm just just like yin yang, di ah, just just like like then like then ngao, then what? Is it easy? Is it easy? Do you want to eat with you? Okay. So mommy's keeping this a surprise, by the way, Lady Arthena. So. Again, I didn't even know why uh, why this is, but apparently when we taste it, we'll know the difference. So, uh, uh, how's the peanut incorporated into the dumplings? Um, it'll be the filling. So, is, is the, the peanut the peanut coconut and the sesame that we made uh, was the filling. So, uh, so yeah. So this is the, so this is kind of like the the wrapper of the so and what we're making right now is the wrapper for these dumplings here. So, so oh, speaking of which, uh, hold on, uh, Killer, what's up? Uh, I, I, did I miss a question from you? I hope I didn't. So. Guy Fong, again, it's going to take a few minutes. Uh, mommy's just going to take a few minutes to need. I'm just, we're just going to get the stream right battle going. Uh, if you want to play, exclamation mark SR. Thank you again for your patience. So let's get that, uh, let's get that going. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so, yeah. so, yeah. So these things should, uh, again, if uh, when, you, when you taste these things, uh, they, they should, I don't know. There should be a slight bounciness, kind of like an El Dente Pasta. But but not like super super springy. So it's, we're not. So it's it's kind of I don't know. I think this is kind of. I mean, you can see. 
Yep. So it's I've got blending hands. right now. So it's kind of blending right now. So it does take a little bit of, of elbow grease uh, to do this. So just make sure you're 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 uh, mentally prepared for that. So too. So it does take a little bit of, of work here. So oh my god, thank you so much. Uh, that surprises it. Uh, Sleeping Bill, thank you very much. Let's get that. Um, so I've got calling again. So well, let's get back to the let's get back to the dough in just a few seconds here. So I'm just gonna quickly set up. I'll just set the battle up as a, a little bit uh, while I'm getting this here. So, so guy, Paul, again, if you're just coming in, uh, the this the the sweet rice dumpling dough that we're just making right now, uh, that my mommy is right now making, uh, this is a combination of a bit of the. She took some of the uh, mixed dough, cooked it, and now the cooked dough and the raw dough has now been combined together. So, do you need to do you need to add some more more flour to that? Like or no. the perfect. Oh, so this is supposed to be the sticky then. So. Yeah. Do we need to rest this at all? Or so, yeah. Yes, that's how you, you... 15 minutes. Okay, so this actually does need to rest 15 minutes, which is good. So, hey, actually, we're coming up to the top of the hour, so we can actually take a short little break as well, too. So, for yeah. a short three or four minute break as well, too. All right, hold on, guys. I'm just going to get back to the chat here. So, mm -hmm. yeah, no. Wait, hold on. I'm just going to... Where's that? Wait, what, what do you mean no? Sorry, what do you mean no? Sorry. Sorry. Uh, I, I missed a few things here, so just bear with me a second. So. Am I missing something? Something or not. So, anyway. Nothing to see. Ooh, this, yeah. It's still really, really super nice and sticky here, so. Uh, sticky? Yeah, and I, I can't help but to kind of touch it here, so adding more flour. Okay, yes. So, okay. No more flour, okay. So, so this will also allow the, so again, so, so no more flour. So and then we have to use some flowers uh, on top. Mm -hmm. We need to the rice flowers, so you don't. Okay. Okay. Mm. All right, hold on. All right. So I get Gaffong. This is a. I've never seen this made like this before, so seriously, guy phone, this is a very, uh, this is a little bit new to me as well too. So, all right. wait, so you, so you were using regular flour? Yeah, little bit, little bit. Okay, just a little bit. So, but, uh, but if someone's gluten free though, like if they, if they, if they can't have gluten, so, so they could they just use more glutinous rice flour then? Yeah. Okay. So, mm -hmm. well, it is very cool though. I mean, it's kind of like um. I mean, this kind of dough kind of looks like, um, what's it called? Kind of like making puff pastry in a way, right? I think. Oh, you see? Yo, so we young, Don't show me. Show, show the camera here. So, yes. So, so yeah, so. All right, yep. so just a little flour. So it kind of dried up just a little bit. So, you do, so, so that was probably about a teaspoon or so? Tablespoon? Oh, about a tablespoon? Random. So, yeah, just a pinch. So, so just a pinch of flour to kind of, kind of just dry it up just a touch here, so. So earlier it was just a little stick, uh, like super sticky. But uh, again, yeah. I mean, I, I even I touched it as well too. It's uh, I didn't have any residue left over as well too. So, so, oh, right? Yep. It kind of looks like it actually looks like chewing gum now. It actually really, really looks like chewing gum now. So, yeah, this is actually a really cool technique. I actually never really, and uh, I'm actually really surprised by this as well too. So, so. I hope someone some actually. More. I hope some. I'm really hoping someone to clip that as well too. But uh, I'll, I'll, if I don't more. get, oh, give me a four or five. Hey, Bob, how much do you need? No, no, no. So, hold on. So, right. Oh, my mom is just going to get her cat test as well, too. Kitty, how are you doing today? Good to see you. Welcome in. Don't give me Don't you need more? Thank you. Okay. I'm okay, okay. okay. kind of okay. Okay. It's taffy. Oh, you know what? Yes. Kind of looks like taffy. Mm -hmm. Or, um, I'm trying to remember. Like, there's a, like, the pulled sugar. Um, J. Frank says it kind of looks like um, the, the pulled sugar. Yes. So, hold the mat, mail, the lie, the mat, not hold the mail, the other, the other. Okay, so. All right. So, so we're going to need to wrap this up and we're going to let this kind of rest for about 15 minutes here. So, yeah. Hey, yeah. How was it? How have your, how have your day been? It's good to see you, my friend. All right. So, uh, so, Guy Fong, again, I think uh, as the, um, all right. So, this dough just needs to rest for, for about 15 minutes. So, in the fridge. So, uh, you can also do this at, at room temperature if you want, yeah. but uh, we can uh, 
we can do that. You can Close. do that as well too. So, all right. So, actually, you know what? Again, uh, we uh, okay. So, if you're resting this for 15 minutes, you know what? Uh, Guy Fong, I think my um, do you want to take a break for a few seconds? Uh, for 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 about 20, 25 minutes? No, 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 no. Sorry. Because uh, that if if you want to take if you want to. Maybe maybe I can do mine as well too. So I mean, uh, do you want me to do mine as well too? Uh, I can I can make my wrapping right now. I mean, my filling is is already done. So I mean, uh, I just uh, guy from my, the filling that I'm using is peanut butter. So literally, oh, it's just chicken, sweet and peanut butter. So. Snowing outside. Uh, it is. It is. So yeah. So it's also snowing outside right now too. So it's a it's a perfect temperature. It's actually perfect temperature for uh, for these dumplings today. So uh, it may may take five to seven minutes. Five to seven minutes. Yeah. Okay. So you want to you want to keep going on that one. Yeah. So, okay. Four. Finish and then it's done. It's almost done. And then, and then we can take over as well too here. So, all right, guys. Well, let's take a look here. So I'm just taking a look at my time here. Okay. All right. Uh, so guys, from all over. So we're we're just so again the dough. Is, so again, uh, the dough is just resting for a few minutes here. So we're gonna give it a few minutes. Um, I'm actually looking at my time here right now. I think we should be good. Uh, okay. So. Sorry. Uh, right, a new soda uh, is truly uh, only pop in the tropical punch flavor. Hmm. Interesting. I don't think I wait. Is it, is it what kind of is it sweetened with something special or like stevia or anything like that? So I am definitely. Well, I mean, we are definitely getting into more of the, these kind of things too here. So, so I mean, uh, although although again, I think we were just talking about stevia on our la on our last stream, and we we're just mentioning that. Uh, yeah, it doesn't. It's it, it, it's sweet, but it feels a little unnatural. as well too. That's a big thing too. So, uh, protein soda is really Olipop, Really, like a protein soda? I have never heard of this before, but now I'm kind of kind of kind of uh, kind of. Uh, um, I actually kind of need to take a look here. So let's see what the heck's going on here. So I'm actually started wondering if that they actually do have them here in Canada. That's the thing, right? So. Uh, three ninety nine flat rate, new kind of soda, vintage cola, pop in the name of love, blah 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 blah. Buy it in store. Can you actually find it in Canada? That's the most important part. Can you can can we find these in Canada here? So Instacart, Walmart, Whole Foods, Go Pub, Sam Club, Publix. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I have an Olipop in Canada somewhere. Uh, Natura Market. Apparently, you can find them at Longos, but uh, Inulin, uh, high fiber content, f well, one can a day, one tour from the country. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. I actually haven't seen it before, so I haven't actually seen these before, this Olipop before, but. Um, if I ever see it though, I uh, um, uh, if, if I ever see it though, I would probably try it. I, I probably would try it though. That's a big thing. So, also Tatsu, thank you very much for nine months, my friend. Uh, also, make sure you um, also take your numbers between one, one and uh, one and nine. We'll uh, get that. We'll get you on the board, and we'll also get that. Uh, thank you again for nine months, my friend. Thank you so much for that. That's a Twitch baby. Thank you very much. There it is. Thank you so much. Let's get you on the board. Oh, and pick up one number between one and nine. We'll get the. Uh, We'll get the uh, so we'll get that for you as well too here. So hold on a second. Mm -hmm. Only thirty five calories. Hmm, interesting. So yeah, we're just a uh, guy phone. The guy phone is just talking, uh, telling us about a new soda that uh, that that uh, that uh, that apparently has fiber and protein and everything in it. So mm. uh, so uh, again, this is uh, this is one of the worst things about living in Canada. They they have, there's so many things coming out of the United States that we don't get that we don't get that. You know, it kind of sucks. So, so, so y'all tell me about it. And I'm going like, I've never heard of this, <laughs> and uh, and it feels a little awkward. But yeah, but again, uh, but again, Tatsu, uh, thank you again for nine months. Thank you for the for nine for your no, month number nine. And uh, yes, uh, pick a number to nine as well too. So yes, uh, not like uh, not a nice couple of dogs. Nice. Thank you very much, Jay Frank. Thank you for doing that. So awesome, awesome. Okay, so I think uh, the dough's ready to go. So we can get the. Uh, actually, it looks like the three seventy one. Three seventy one divided by twenty. Seven one divided by twenty. That's ten one. Uh, yeah, but so, yeah. eighteen. Yeah, it's so about eighteen, right? So, so about eighteen grams. So this is so 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 the dough we're gonna be doing is about eighteen grams here. So, all right. Uh, guy, phone again. Actually, uh, actually, 
Come on, before we before we uh, do this, can we just take a quick little three minute break before we before we continue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, go on, go on. Uh, just wait a second. Uh, we are just going to um, we're going to take a quick little three minute break. We're just going to do our quick little uh, top of the hour break, and then when we come back, guy uh mommy will actually uh, start uh, forming up some of this dough here for us. So, uh, guy I, de I just uh, I literally just remembered that as well too. So, guy bear with us. We'll be back in about approximately three minutes here. So, so again, I promise you, we're not going to miss a lot. So. Moving on! Squirt. Squirt. Oh, squirt. But why is that not. Uh, anyway, uh, that's, probably, that, that's probably an 18 plus. That, that's a, the, the 18 yeah. plus discussion. We're not what's the safe word there, Michelle. We're not what's the safe word. Well, uh, but anyway, well, Doc, well, well, we, we can definitely talk about that more on that. On the table after dark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <so. laughs> That's, uh, but that's another. Perfectly juicy. Oh my god, guys. This, this is Actually, surprisingly, really good. This is actually really good. Spaghetti, palms are sweating, mom's spaghetti. But he forgets the words and up, oh, snap back to reality. Hope there's no gravity. Da, 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 da. Sorry, I don't remember all the lyrics the, uh, from the song from 8 Mile here. So I'm gonna turn the stream around. Turn the stream around. All righty. Welcome back, everybody. Good to see you. Welcome in. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you've never been before, welcome in. My name is John Leung, also known as Dumpling Daddy. This is my mom right here. So yes, and uh, today we are making Tong Yuan, also known as uh, Sweet Glutinous Rice Dumpling or Tong Yun. So uh, if you were just looking during the break, yeah, you saw that uh, some of the, my mom, mommy's actually mm -hmm. been uh, forming some of the dough here. Uh, she did mention earlier while we were off that, uh, while we were doing on our break, uh, that the dough was a little softer than she liked it to be. So, so again, so when it comes to this, uh, you kind of just have to be a little bit more, uh, kind of have to be a little bit more uh, careful as well too here. But uh, uh, if you've been before, welcome back. If you've never been before, welcome in. Uh, and yes, um, we do, uh, if you do like Asian and world cooking, uh, this is the place for you too. So. <laughs> and uh, Got he. Rexus, how are you doing today? Good to see you. Uh, also, uh, little birdie told me you won a lot of prizes in the, in, in the games chat last night. So, uh, so anyway, so. No, you're not too, so I guess. So. No worries. Again, thank you so much, Tatsu. Thank you so much for the work, my friend. Alrighty, so, so. You make the big one. So, so, so mommy's actually just making the jumbo ones here right now. So, uh, are you gonna actually serve these in soup, by the way? Are you gonna serve these in soup, or are you gonna do? Uh, are you gonna do? Uh, yeah. It's gonna dry. So, um, do you want to pick a bowl for you? 
I can. I. I, I mean, I'm God. just watching chat and just. Uh, God, you see. No, it's oh, you know, you, you you can pick the bowl a little bit later when we cook these. That that here. bowl. Me wanna do your serving bowl. Whatever you like. I mean, you can do whatever your bowls will do. Right? We we got a lot of bowls, so we can we can serve. We have a we have a we have a surprising amount of uh, of bowls around here, so we can we can serve this however you want. But uh, so yeah. And then a little bit later, Guy Fong, I'm gonna be we're gonna be doing a more tri uh, more more upscale version. So a little bit more of the uh, something that could potentially break TikTok or do yin as well too. So uh, give it to now. I fell asleep. I thought I was dreaming. What she when she said I won. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she's usually on pretty late though. I mean, that's the big thing too. So, but uh, I'm really hoping. And Guy Fong, these daytime streams during the weekend, I, I'm hoping I can make this a little bit more of a regular occurrence. So that's a. So that we can do, we can do a kind of hybrid during the day, weekdays. We can do night, we do night streams during the day, and then uh, daytime streams during the weekend. So that's that's kind of gonna, hoping that's gonna be the plan going forward here. So, so. Uh, once again, folks, if you're just coming in, this is all. This is glutinous rice. This is gluten rice or mochiko flour, uh, and mochiko flour, flour and hot water. So, actually, yeah, no, that's it. Actually, that's it. It's just sticky rice flour and and, and water. That's literally all there is to it. And the filling is ground black sesame, to ground toasted black sesame, sugar, butter, and a little bit of honey. So, how many ingredients is that? Six. Mm -hmm. It's only six ingredients so far, right? Almost. Yeah. So, mat, yao mat tong, yao tong, hakji ma, ngao yao. Yeah. No mai fan, tao mai soi. Yeah. So yeah, Guy Fong, this, this, this. This dessert only takes six ingredients, so that's insane as well too. So it's a, I know she does. She absolutely does. So be glorious to try Inglewood after shower. Absolutely, please. I would. The new dumpling place in Inglewood. Oh, wait. Are you talking about that Brooklyn dumpling place, Red Phoenix? I have heard about it, by the way. So I mean, uh, yeah. Tell me. Tell, uh, let, let me know how it tastes, by the way. Let me know how it is, by the way. So I mean, I, I've heard a lot of good. I've heard a lot of things about it, but uh, I feel like I could. Uh, I, I feel like the um, this Brooklyn dumpling place. Honestly, they look. It looks like things that. I mean, I'm not gonna toot my own horn, but I feel like that, that we can do better at here here in the here in the here in the uh, Guy Fong uh, in the with the Guy Fong clan. I feel like the Guy Fong could do a lot better job than than the Brooklyn dumpling. But uh, anyway, so, so. yeah, they definitely hype. Yeah, the I think I, I saw it all on Instagram. Yeah, it is definitely being hyped up hard as well too. So. Uh, but hey, let me know how it tastes with Zeus. So I mean, uh, I haven't uh, again when the when the weather warms up a little bit, when we do more IRLs, maybe we'll uh, we'll war we'll uh, we'll uh, do a we'll we'll do a taste test for that one as well too here. So mm. wait, like Inglewood in Calgary? Wait, Jay Frank, you're in Calgary now? <laughs> no, we're not talking about Inglewood, California, by the way. We're talking about Inglewood, Cal in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. So. We're just uh, again. I think uh, um, there's a place. There's a place that recently opened that's like automated, like an automated. Um, there's no servers, but you just uh, you you order and then you and then you get these like n like non-traditional style dumplings. And like there's like a mac and cheese dumpling or like a or like a what's it called um like a ha like a cheeseburger dumpling or something like that. I mean it's just like, I mean I mean most people will be like yeah. Wow, so so hype. I mean, I'm I'm and here I'm sitting like you know. What, eh, I mean, uh, seen this before as well too, right? So seen it all, seen it all before. You know, hey, what's the what's the B BFD here? So anyway, but uh, all right, there it is. So guy, again, if you're just coming in, the tongue is being being started. So again, just just make sure you show the people here. So, all right, oh, hold on, I'm just gonna adjust the camera just a little bit so that you can, y'all can see here. So. So yeah, so you can see actually, mommy following these here. So, yeah. so she's flattening these. So she's flattening these into discs, uh, and then putting a piece of the filling in. And uh, there it is, guy. Fun. Look at that, a perfect little tong yun. So a, a, a little bit of sweet rice dumpling, also known as tong yun. So there you go. So, mm -hmm. Make it more Polish now, Hong Kong. Polish dumpling. You mean like the, like a like a pierogi? I mean, I've made pierogies before. I mean, it's not, it's not it's exactly the world's most, I mean, we've had pierogies before. I've made pierogies before. So, I mean, uh, maybe, again, I'm a little, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of with you on this one. I'm a little skeptical as well too. So, anyway, uh, honestly, 
seriously, I mean, if there was like 24 hour dim sum places everywhere, seriously, the world will be a hell of a lot better place. I'll tell you that for sure. So, I mean, yeah. and I say this because I'm biased as well, too. But uh, yeah, I'm totally with you. But, uh, and, uh, but hey, in the meantime, though, Guy Fong, I mean, uh, this is what we're here for. So, if you ever feel like making it, I mean, hey, that's what we, that's what we, that's what Asia in your mouth is all about. So, you can, if you, uh, if you're inspired to have it, have it. But if you can't have it, make it. So. Make it yourself. Exactly, right? I mean, I mean, it is cheaper, but also you can kind of tender. Uh, you can also kind of customize it to what you like as well, too, right? So, you mean Red Phoenix? You're talking about that that the, the noodle place in the Northeast, right? We will make it happen. So, uh, you and I will talk about that. So, uh, so. what is the main dim sum place? Oh. Forbidden City? No, it's mid. It's mid. Mid AF. So, yeah. Red Phoenix. Oh. <laughs> show, show the people. Show the people your, ma your, your, your massive dumpling. See? Mommy's been, mommy making massive balls here, folks. If, if, you were not, if you were expecting, if you had that on the bingo card, drink. So, uh, massive, <laughs> massive dumpling here. So, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Red Phoenix is from Calgary. He was actually saying we should go to Psych Long thing. Okay. I don't think Psyche Long Thing is actually very good, eh? They're not, uh, last time I had their food, they were not very good. I haven't been there for a long yeah. time. We don't go there often because we're on the other side of town. So, uh, Also, I mean, I have a little bit of an uh, axe to grind against them. The, the, it, Forbidden City was the place that when I went for, when I went for dinner, for, for Hot Pot by myself, they said they won't do it for me. So, uh, that's, uh, yeah. So, I have a bit of an axe to grind with them as well, too. So, uh, so yeah. So. Yeah, we can definitely go to that noodle place. That was actually good, by the way. That that hand pulled noodle place, very good. We'll, we'll when we do an IRL, we'll definitely go for that too. So yeah, so yeah, that was it. Are we going to eat it? Oh uh, yes, we are going to eat this. Perhaps we're going to eat this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't I didn't I didn't think of checking up Happy Lamb. So uh, so so. I mean, hey, I mean, call me petty, but I'm uh, call me a uh, call me petty, but seriously, I'm sorry. It's just like if you're gonna say. This is 2023. Things, ha everything, and everything will, anything and everything will happen. And seriously, if you're gonna, if you're gonna do, you're not gonna do hot pot for one. And in 2023, I mean, seriously, you're just letting free money walk out. So, I mean, uh, anyway, that's amazing. They do. I mean, look at them as well, do So, uh, by the way, folks, uh, also, uh, also these. Depending on where you are, if you live in a place where it's low humidity, make sure you keep these covered as much as possible, or work very quickly so that these things don't. Dry out as well too. So yeah, but yeah, Red Phoenix. Uh, you, uh, possibly Abadus, and maybe say some other uh, Calgary guy. Fong, we'll get to we'll get together for that. Uh, maybe say uh, when the weather gets a little bit better. So when it's not like snowing and icky outside, then we'll we'll definitely do that happen too. So no worries. That's it. Yeah, go 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 have your shower, my friend. Go, don't uh, don't don't uh, don't hold off on showers, man. I mean that's just uh, no no not a good thing. So all right, guy Fong. All right, so we got another one here going. So. So how many do you have so far? You have one lot. Oh, she's actually already on a. Oh, she's already on making a fourth one already here. So. Oh yeah. Look at that. Yeah. So we're just kind of form the. So just forming the dough here. Taking a piece of dough. Literally just pinching it together. And yeah. Guy phone. Seriously. Simple as that. These are six ingredient dumplings. Seriously, six ingredient dumplings. Uh, some of these, uh, and yes, this, the six ingredients, the, the filling is of your choice, but you can do, you can, uh, you can make this uh, however you want as well too, so, but, uh, so. and yes, Guy Fong, the one that I'll be making a little bit later after my mom, after mommy's, uh, will be a chocolate dip, so, so yeah, so we're, we're, we're going to be working with a little bit of chocolate a little bit later, so. We eat first, okay? Okay, yes, yeah, so we're going to have one first, and then, uh, and then when. One? Yeah. Well, we'll, ha we'll have yours first, and we'll, uh, and then we'll, and then you'll, we'll have ours later too, so. Then eat the big one. <laughs> yeah, whatever you want to cook, whatever you want to cook, you want to cook the big ones, absolutely. So, uh, I feel like the big ones might also be better for a cross section when we bite into them too. So, but uh, Blondie, good to see you. Welcome in. How are you, my friend? Long time no see. <laughs> Hakata with salt. Gotta fill with salt, mate. <laughs> yeah. How are you, man? Blondie, how are you? Good to see you. So, uh, by the way, you probably remember money. So yes. Uh, Folks, if you're just coming in, this is uh, the person who's standing in, in my place. You, my usual place is my mom. So, uh, so she's uh, making these little uh, glutinous rice dumplings for us today. Here, so yeah. So. Mm. Actually, well, wait, hold on. Salt. What? 
。Can you make? 你可唔可以整鹹湯圓㗎？可唔可以？梗係可以啦。That's a Shanghai thing, right? It's not really a Shanghai thing. It's all all you can make. You can put whatever in your fridge. Put it in. How about next time? No, but what would you? What's a soup you and you can serve with any salty soup as well too? Yep. 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 Guy Fong, do you know what? I can make it tomorrow. No, could but yeah. Or, so, so making something like maybe say like pork and mushroom, you can put some dumpling filling like pork and mushroom in there too, right? Whatever. And then serve it with like, shuna tong. Mato dak. So yeah, so so yes, so Guy Fong, once you know this technique, this cool technique, there you go. You can make it with anything you want. So you can even fill it with savory fillings if you want. So. And then serve it in hot and sour soup. But uh, Guy Fong, we've actually made hot and sour soup here, but uh, perhaps maybe we'll do that on Thursday. Maybe we'll make we'll actually we'll, we'll actually test out the theory on Thursday. So we'll make a we'll make a sweet and so, we'll make a hot and sour hot and sour tong yuan. In the, so kind of very northern style as well too. But uh, the, the weather should be pretty cold on Thursday, so maybe it might be perfect for that too. So anyways, so, yeah. Yeah, does anyone remember my my mom cooking together? Really nice. Yeah, you can make. Is your mom still with you though, Blondie? So it is a good time. So I know y'all love her as well too. You y'all love her. You y'all love my mommy better more than me as well too. So I mean, so I mean, but but guys don't love you. They love you. They love you more than they love me. I know. Anyways, they always say, "When's mommy coming back? When's mommy coming back? When's mommy coming back?" You you know who you are. You know who you are. Don't think I have. Don't think I don't read my chat. <laughs> yes. And yes, we also we always blame Rexus for that. So yes. So Rexus, I'm sorry. I have to blame you for that. Yes. Batman. Oh, hey. Thank you for saying that. Hey, look at that last one. You can see this one. You can see. You can see. Mommy is an absolute expert at this. Literally, she. How long did that take you? That like that only took you like ten. That took you less than ten minutes to get those done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, no. Here's here's what not to do, Guy Fong. Make sure everything is sealed. Oh, last one, we jinxed her. There you go. The full sound bottle will win. I'm guilty. Yes, Jake Frack. Yes, yes, yes. We know you love my mother. Okay. So, so. We we distracted her. Yes. <laughs> oh, Dolling complete, everybody. Yes. So uh, so <laughs> don't cook this one, by the way. So if you're if you have a really really nice cl uh, clean ginger uh, sugar soup, don't cook that. So <laughs> yeah, um, over there, over there. I'll get it over. Oh, the oh, oh, locally. Yeah. So yes, yeah, so so yes. So big thing when it comes to these things, make sure that everything is sealed. So <laughs> there should be no leaks. There will be no leaks. There's no Edward Snowdens around here. So there's no no leaking, no WikiLeaks around here. Making sure that you do that because if you do, uh, if they break, your uh, well, I mean, uh, so if you make uh, a beautiful ginger soup, uh, ginger sugar soup, uh, like a sweet ginger syrup to go with it, and they and and you cook them right in it and they explode, well, I mean, you're gonna have. You're gonna have all your the, 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 all the filling is just gonna go all, all, all everywhere and you don't and you'll just be the dessert. Yes. Rexus, why is your nose leaking? Seriously. Okay. Also, is the is the is, is the fluid is, is what's is what's leaking clear or is it red? If it's red, then uh, then go uh, go to the bathroom. So. <laughs> Can we just a little green onion Julie's <laughs> just aside? I mean, I prefer chili, but. Uh, but hey, I mean, uh, you can put whatever you want in these bad boys here. So, <laughs> oh, allergies, no leaks. I mean, I mean, Jay Frack. I mean, if you want to put some leeks inside with some pork, I mean, hey, leek, pork, and mushroom. I mean, hey, you can do whatever you want with these. So, okay, that's good. Okay, Rexus. <gasps> yeah, 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 yeah. I lost on the last one. You lost the last one, Guy Fong. Dang it! So, dang it! Jay Frank was actually saying she is suggesting you could put some uh, um, leeks, leeks and oh, pork. Oh, whatever you want. Whatever you want, whatever your little heart desires, can go into these things. So, although I wouldn't do, um, I, I wouldn't make, if you're doing a savory one, I wouldn't use a sweet soup though. I would probably use uh, a sweet syrup or soup. Uh, I'd say probably do something like uh, 
hot and sour or like chicken broth as well too. So, I mean, like I said, I mean, that, <laughs> I mean, this is a traditional thing. You can make it however you want as well too, right? So, so. leeks, green but, onions, whatever. But for like. uh, traditional, mm -hmm. we use sweet. Yeah, so traditionally sweet. But if you want to make, wait, hold on. My Buck Fong Yang, my Buck Fong Yang, they have sick tea, hi, chun tong, hi, hi, young ham, you remember, right? Hoi, you get? I don't know. I was going with your stomach. Okay, that's good. Okay, sorry. I I thought we were, I, sorry, I, I, I kind of checked up on that one here, so, too, so, so bear with me here, so. I put some. I, so, so, this is the peen tong, right? So, yep. so, this is, so we're adding some brick sugar here. So, this is, this is a traditional ch uh, Chinese sugar that you'll find at your. Uh, or Asian sugar, so it's it's kind of like an un, like it's like, like 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 a liquid brown sugar that so it's like brown sugar that's been kind of caked into almost like um. Lina mai lina mai jie tong, I think I think mai 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 tong like that. Jie tong. Okay, so that's cane sugar. So it's brown cane, like it's kind of brown cane sugar. We we'll do that too. So, alright, Guy Fong, I do see your stream later, but we'll, we'll we'll get to that in just a few moments here. Okay. Okay. Nothing's happening right now, so Guy Fong, we're just going to take a quick sh few moments and we can just get the streamer to battle going if you want to play. Make sure you guys are in our chat. Alrighty, so hold on, Guy Fong, folks. So, and if you're just wondering right now here, we're going to get the. Uh, so, we're, so we're actually going to start getting things cooked right now here. So, cane and molasses. Well, again, uh, my knowledge of the sh uh, how sh uh, like sugar processing is a little bit, a uh, little bit rusty, but when cane, well, when cane juice is pressed. It has all, I mean, and it's filtered and everything. It's, it's supposed, it has this natural molasses in it already, right? So the molasses, like the, kind of like the dark sugar, like the, is kind of extract or washed out of it, right? So, I mean, you wash the white sugar out or the, you kind of process the white sugar and then I guess, yeah. So this is kind of like a middle as well too. So it's kind of, again, maybe a little bit later after, maybe say after we have some Tong Yuan, uh, we'll, We'll, we'll take a look, see how this uh, peen tong is made as well too. We'll, we can pull up, maybe say some YouTube and we can find out as well too, so. Uh, hold on, guys, I'm just gonna get the uh, next stream. Uh, I will put the large one in first. Okay. Yeah, because it take way longer. How long will it take for the large one? I here? don't know. So, this oh, is my first know. time to try with three. Oh, you've actually never, oh, you've never made of these breaks before. I thought, wait, hold on. Didn't you say that you did these, yes, you, you did these last night? Double. Double the size. But double. This this is the third time, third, three times bigger. Okay. Oh, this is three times bigger. So this is so this is so this is not as big as the one you made last night then. Okay. So here's a yeah. Molasses. Molasses are good. So I mean. So it's it has kind of like this molasses see kind of the so the the, the this uh, uh actually hold on do I actually have another block here I mean there it does come in different shades though so I mean it really depends on the processor. Uh, like how the sugar is processed, but uh, some of them will come a little bit more golden. This one's a little darker than I uh, than I've seen as well too. So yeah, uh, by brown sugar. How much do you need to eat? I uh, just want one or two. I should be fine. So uh, so we'll. I'm just gonna get. I'm just gonna take a couple. Take a couple. I mean, we're we're gonna eat more a little bit later as well too, right? So uh, then I will be put in the fr in the fridge. Okay. So or in the freezer, right? So yeah, yeah. These things also freeze very well, so just make sure. Oh, you can you can eat. Sometimes mm -hmm. you want to eat, oh, you can make it. You can eat it. Yeah, so, uh, wow. So you can. I mean, I mean, these are pretty. I mean, again, again, not everybody is, not everybody has the time, right? But if you do want to make these ahead, you can actually do it, and then you can freeze this. How long does it take usually to? Um, how long can these last in the freezer? Like a couple weeks. A couple weeks. Oh, long time. A couple months as well too, I think. So. So yeah, you can make them, and then you can they can be they can uh, they can uh, last uh, they can last a lifetime, well almost a lifetime. Anyway. Lifetime. So maybe a couple months, or depending on how uh, how, how long it's uh, how okay. how deep your freezer is, will do. So are, are you cooking now? Yeah. Okay. Get it, Cook get it, the big one. By, so by, by there, you can just put it in. So I'm just gonna clean up this as well too, so that we can have a little place to uh, take some photos as well too here. So. Well, they all sink up and see can get our. Uh, Get our photo board and just gonna get that as well too. So uh, save one until next year and do a taste test. Save one for uh, until next year? No. J Frank's saying that as well too in the chat. So uh, maybe save one of them for and then uh, wait until next year. So I. Uh, 
good idea, but I don't know if it's going to be very good. At, but in, in 365 days, I'm, I'm not totally sure how, how good they are going to be. So, uh, so. Yeah. They when, will get freezer burn, by the when way. When they flow, yep. flow up, mm -hmm. that means it's cool. Yeah, so. But right now, it's not. Yep. So, so, th so once these float, these are good to go. So, And yes, we do it. We, some of this dough was cooked, but the rest of it is not cooked. Uh, what was raw? So yeah, so this is raw flour. So, so, so you, so yes, yeah, so these things will need to be cooked thoroughly. So, so we're just waiting for these things to puff, uh, to pop up before do. So, uh, and yes, these things will. All, um, from my personal experience, these things will also stick to the bottom. So be also be very careful. Make sure you kind of keep them moving for for a little bit as well too. So, can see. So. You look at this so big. Yeah, they're massive here. So the gears. Are and, then, and yes, you, and, and Guy Fong, you can also serve these without soup too. So I mean, you can so you can you can serve them dry as well too if you want. Make two. I'll have two. Yeah, so I'll have one and two. So I'll have three pieces, three or four pieces. Okay. So make a, see? and then make some for yourself as well too. So two. Yeah, just like that. So, so is there by, by these tall way? Uh, do you need uh, the ladle? The la. Just get the ladle here. What? Yeah, here we go. Let me have some. Oh, you can, you can. Here we go. Take a look here. So, whew, this is pretty, looking pretty nice. So, yeah, because that's uh, that's telling you, they they settle down. Yeah, that means it's good. not. It's kill, so the boil. So the boil is not as intense right now here. That means that the, uh, that means they, these do cool down the these do cool down your boiling water. So, so that's a big thing. So just be, so uh, so don't uh, so just like anything, don't uh, cook too many of them in, in the pot at the same time here. So. Because they will kind of all, well, they 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 will expand as well too, right? So kind of when you fast, you see them a little bit. bit. So, there will be a little bit of expansion, but not a lot. But uh, they will um, they will need time. They will need space to float. So just make sure that to so don't don't overload your pot here. So <laughs> yeah. Although I mean I I, I mean hey, we, we were to maybe say save a couple of those. So maybe say maybe we'll save actually not J Frank. You know that might not be a bad idea. We'll probably keep, maybe keep one of one of my mom's and one of mine for a little bit later, and then we'll probably save it, save it in a bag, and probably put it in the back of the freezer, and then we'll we'll, uh, we'll we'll try it next year and see how how they compare from 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 the year before. So, uh, so. <laughs> I mean, hey, I mean the the guy Fong, I mean uh, the guy Fong said it's a good idea. Maybe it's a maybe we, we should do that as well too. So we'll save we'll well I'll, I'll just grab a bag. I'll, I'll just keep one of these, and we'll save save one of mine as well too. So we'll talk more about that too. So, so. the dump must flow. Yes, exactly. Just like spice, the spice must flow. The dumps must be able to flow. Or dumps must float. The dumps must float. All right, we're looking good here. So we've got the, uh, the, yeah. the boilers returned. The small oh. ones. Oh, there they are, folks. So the uh, smalls are starting to come up here. That's looking pretty good. So. And see the large ones. Well, uh, the large ones actually haven't started floating just yet here. So that's uh, it's coming. Okay, it's, it's coming though. Okay, perfect. So. Yeah, the large one is coming. Nice, looking good here, guy. Fong. He's got helmet. Uh, at least your mom got the joke. Yes, she did. She did. Moms usually get things a lot. Uh, gets more things than we 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 usually expect. So you see. Oh, the the, the big balls are starting to float up here. So, are they the biggest balls of them all? I don't know, but uh, they are. Whoa. They're definitely bigger, bigger, the biggest tongue you want of the ball. So, oh, they're starting to come up here. Oh, you want to make a big sea tongue? Then you want to make a big. When are you making that? I don't know. Okay. So, mommy's actually uh, mommy is saying that she wants to make a gigantic, uh, gigantic one of these. Guy Fong, would you like to see that? Who who wants to see mommy make the the, the possibly the world's largest uh, Tong Yun? Not Tong Yun. Jima Tong Yun. Jima and Jin Tong Yun. Jin Tong Yun. Yes. Yes. Ooh. You see? So, isn't the same thing? Wait, Jin Tong is not the same 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 process though, right? No, it's, no, no. Because it's different flour, right? I mean, the same flours as your um gok chai. You see? I use flour. So it's regular flour? No, no. I use regular flour. I use regular flour for that. I use AP flour. <laughs> so wait, so it's... 
So it's also normal. So oh yeah, because the the Jin Doi. So so the uh, the one that mommy is talking about right now is it's it's so it's kind of the same thing, but it's deep fried and it's kind of almost like um. Actually, I'm trying to remember where I last saw it. I think I, I think I've seen it because because they're supposed to explode up as well too, right? Almost into like the. Jima Kao, I think it's the Jima Kao, but they're Jima Jima Tong Jima. Jin Doi Jin Doi Doi Jin Doi Doi. Doi. Hi. 世紀龍城啊 ，Forbidden City， 嗯 ，OK， 喺呢度會翻啩？嗯，哦、oh, ，最得撲，唔係唔係唔係唔係 ，like 嗯，大大會人家 ，yes， 哦，大會人家 ，yes， 大會人家，所以嗱，而家可以食得啦 ，OK， 哦、oh, ，I think we're ready to go，OK，、okay, fine，I think we're ready to go here，let's，I、uh, think we're just gonna，let's gonna get the、uh, couple a、uh, couple things here，so we're good，OK，yes，so、okay, oh yes please go 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 for，yes， 啊。Uh, The guy phone says they would like to see that.、Um, when when can when when do you want to come back? I don't know. So maybe we'll do it on us.、Uh, maybe on a spare Saturday, maybe. Or、um, I think it looks okay. Or do you want to do a? Let's yeah, think maybe, about it. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely keep it on the board. So、uh, so、uh, guy phone again. If I may,、uh, if I have a mod in chat, uh, uh, if you if someone can put it into into the into the relative squad、uh, board,、uh, so I remember. We'll get mommy back for that. Uh, 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 we'll make some、uh, gigantic,、uh, get gigantic sesame balls、uh, sometime in the near future here. So、uh, we'll get that、uh, done. But、uh, guy phone, where I think we're so we're just actually ready to serve here. So all right. So sorry. And、uh, guy phone, just、uh, mommy, just, we're just gonna take some、uh, photos here. So too. So so get them over here. We'll、uh, we'll we'll take some photos here. What 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 what's that? 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 Had a red cloth, but I don't know where that it's gone to. But、uh, we'll just get that、uh, over the.、Uh, we'll just get that over here. So hold on, folks. Just gonna get the.、Uh, gonna start setting up the counter、uh, before we do that here. So there it is. Alrighty, this okay. Our so mummy's dumplings are coming. The, the mummy swipes dumplings are coming. So we'll get that.、Uh, we'll get that over. Alrighty. The tongs are too big, lor. Okay. No, I'm just just setting it up. I'm just setting it up as picture for the photos. This is not for. What is that? What is tong? Lor, what is tong? Okay. 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 Setting up some photos. So,、uh, so this is the mommy's version. So, folks, stay with us. We are going to be making my the the,、uh, the chocolate dip version、uh, with the co- chocolate almond version of it as well too. So, we'll be doing ours with peanut butter. So, kind of inspired by Reese's peanut butter cups, but、uh, kind of in the in in a in a in a in a way as well too. So, hold on a second. So, I'm just going to get the photos. Ah,、oh, Jesus, panda's just in the way here. So, just let me get that to do. So, perfect. Okay, perfect. So let's just grab a few photos. We'll get the cross section in just a few moments, folks. So、uh, we're gonna, we're gonna bite into one, and then we'll give you a, a view of that as well. Do it. Excuse me, Ali. You say 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 These are tong. This is the traditional style、uh, black sesame、uh, rice, sweet rice dumplings, also known as hakjima tongyun. So hei jima tongyun in Mandarin. So let me just get one more photo, and we should be、uh, good to go. So I will get this in the Discord in just a few moments. Here, so. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Fine right there. Perfect. So and there it is. So one photo here. I'll get that into. I'll get into Instagram and Discord in just a few moments here. So. We'll get that. We'll get that bitten up as well too. They actually are delicious. And if and okay, and okay. Don't. Bye though. You want to put it away? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 We'll get them in there. So. All right. So wait a wait a second. Was the guy from which is gonna get this?、Uh, we're gonna get the tasting、uh, in just a few moments. There was mommy. Mommy's just packing away some of the some of the ones she just made, and we'll get that too. So Mickey is pup domain. Wait. Actually, you know what? That. Speaking of Mickey, you know what? When you look at it this way, they kind of look like mouse ears. I mean, I think we might have.、Uh, huh? This kind of looks like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> so,、uh, I'm not gonna lie. These,、uh, I mean, if 
if we were making this at, at Hong Kong Disneyland, I think this is exactly how they would serve it. So, uh, except that they would probably dye the dough black. Um, actually, how would they? How would you make this dough black now? Now, now I think about it, would you add black food coloring, or is there like a black color or or? Um, I don't know. Let me think about it. Yeah, okay. I mean, if you want to make it a, if you want to make these Disney themed, I mean, hey, by all means, what too. So, uh, but, uh, but uh, there are there are ways to do that. So, so, but hey, if Mickey is in, uh, in well, well, certain uh, certain parts of Mickey is uh, is public domain. Hey, why the heck not, right? So, all right, Gavin, hold on a second. I'm just gonna move the boxes over. And uh, are we ready? Yes. Okay. Let's eat. So let's get this in here. So hold on. So I'm just gonna bite into the big one here. See some Mali, chow de, chow de sec. Okay, no, I'm, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. So let's get get the. Uh, let's get the. Let's get the. Let's get the. Actually, we're actually gonna get the, the video here. So actually, not. I'm just gonna watch it. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna get. I'm just gonna get the clip mm. here. So hold on a second, folks. Okay. Show the camera right there. So. Mm, right here. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. There it is, guy Paul. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Oh, mm. Look at that. Mm. Bubble, 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 bubble. Okay. Mm. They are. So this is a this is the ginger shirt that that mommy cooked them cooked them in. Mm. If you cook them a little longer, they will the it will start flowing. Uh, but again, you again really depends on how how much fat you add to this. So the more butter you add, more butter or lard or fat you add into this. Uh, the more um, things there, so. Mmm. 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 Oh, it's always got the little. Mmm. Mmm. I'm gonna bite into one of the big Mmm. They are nice. Mmm. Alright, hold on, guy Pom. I'm just gonna. So there's the big one. So I'm just gonna take a bite in. Mmm. There it is, guy Pom. Look at that. Oh yeah. Well done. Gigantic Chong Yuan. Mm. Also nice. And, and it's also there. Uh, and right now I'm tasting right now. There is actually that nice chew to it, without it being overly overly uh, gummy though. Mm. Mm. This is nice, but it's a little hard to eat. No hard to eat. That one gets a little dry in the middle. Mm -hmm, no. Mm. 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 Fine. Thank you for six months. Mm. Thank you for six months, my friend. Mm. Hold on. Mm. That didn't help. <laughs> Sorry. The camera just decided it was gonna gonna go off here. So okay. But, but yeah, that was it. Don't need to buy in the grocery store. Oh no, of course not. So, 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 uh, guys, if you want to try them out for the first, uh, if you want to try them out for the first time, uh, you can buy them frozen. But uh, if you want to try to make them yourself, I mean, hey, once you know how to make the dough, you can fill it with anything you want. Mm. Mm. Again, thank you very much for nine months, my friend. Thank you so much. Mm. Also, pay the number if you want. Mm. Mm. Oh yes, Daddy. Put the number between one and nine. Thank you so much, my friend. Mm -hmm. This is actually really good. Mm. So it's nice chew. Mm. It's good chew. Mm. It's definitely a, it's definitely a texture that uh, that um, you don't get from uh, from um, from store bought ones. Store bought ones are usually if you do try again. One big thing, uh, personally, I find when you have store bought ones, ninety percent of the time they are. The, the skins are thin, but they don't have as they don't have as much chew. So they probably do it as a very they do it as a very they do it in a, in a mechanical process. So they may not always be the greatest, but you know how it is. Let's just go. Uh, <coughs> uh, again, tactical. Thank you so much for nine months. Thank you so much, my friend. There it is. Thank you so much, everybody. And we'll get that uh, plinko drop for you as well too. So I didn't have to take notes. So I look forward to it. <coughs> Absolutely. Hey. Uh, the, the recipe, so the recipes for the for the dough, for mommy's filling, and what I'm going to be doing, uh, all of that is going to be in the VOD a, 
uh, we'll be in the VOD and we'll also be in the uh, in the Discord. So folks, if you haven't joined the Discord yet, uh, exclamation mark Discord in the chat here. So, all right, and uh, thank, thank you guys. so much. Okay, so Guy Fong, that's uh, so again. Mommy will be back a little bit later uh, when I'm done. Uh, so Guy Fong, um, so Mommy's now kind of showed you the the traditional way of making this. Uh, Guy Fong, it's now my turn. So so Guy Fong, so we are going to be making a <coughs> <coughs> sorry, we're going to be making chocolate dipped. So. Chocolate dipped peanut butter tong yuan. So, <laughs> yes, uh, coated with peanuts. So kind of like little gold, little golden balls. Uh, also with some uh, strawberries as well too. So, uh, so we're gonna be doing okay, that. Bye. Okay. Well, you're gonna be back a little bit later. We'll see you in a little bit. Okay. So are you coming for? You're you're coming. Um, <laughs> might not be. Uh, <coughs> I might I might go out. Okay, you go out. So, so I guess I'll have to save you some. I'll, I'll save you some if, I, if, you, if you do as well too. But uh, but uh, but folks, again. Oh, okay. oh, thank you. I'll just get that as well to say. Yes. It is, exactly. It's time for some fanciness. So, well, our, well, our quote unquote fancy time. But, uh, so we've kind of, so again, Guy Fung, uh, uh, again, I, like I said, our, our recipe will be, uh, uh, recipe will be in the Discord a little bit later. So, uh, but we'll, so, uh, once we're done, we'll actually start doing that here. So, but yeah, Guy Fung, that was, um, so again, uh, hoping, um, and yes, if you did enjoy that time, again, uh, just, uh, uh, mommy, uh, we'll, we'll get mommy back again very soon here. So for more amazing uh, Asian, uh, more amazing Asian um, Asian style treats here. So um, speaking of which, kill, um, tactical. I haven't forgotten about your your plinko drop. Let's get that going. Thank you very much for thank you for for nine months by the way. And number one. Let's see, get that done. Let's see what we got. And all right, we got that here. So we're gonna go back over here. So what's up? Let's yeah. What's up? All right. All right, let's get that going here. And the camera stuck. There we go. Perfect. So I'm just going to get the get that back going here. Thank you very much, everybody. Ay, 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 ay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Mm -hmm. Maybe not, you mm -hmm. So maybe. I don't know. I mean, it will be. I mean, in my mind, okay? Just give me that one, seriously. <laughs> anyway, okay, five push ups here. Let's get that. Uh, let's get those push ups done for everybody here. So let me get the, let me get the heads. Uh, let me get the. Uh, let me get my head. Uh, let me get my. My slippers off, and we'll get the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that's not. Oh, those are not good. Are we I am definitely out of shape, Guy Fong, and uh, I'm not afraid to admit it. So, okay. Oh. Whew. So, a uh, little quick, a uh, little quick exercise to kind of work off some of those. Some of that sweet is what you hear, but uh, gotta say those were um, so those are the traditional. So Guy Fong, if you're just coming in, uh, we are making the sweet rice dumplings. So the the Tong Yuan. So uh, so now that we you've seen how it's done traditionally, Guy Fong, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna make a uh, more uh, ups. Well, I don't want to say upscale, but uh, more uh, something that uh, you could impress anyone with, especially if they love chocolate. By the way, too. So uh, I'm a big fan of chocolate, so that's why we're also doing this as well too. Here, so. Oh, it smells really nice. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it's, mm. the, uh, the 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 uh, the smell of the t um, the black sesame is actually quite nice. So, but we are gonna be switching over to peanut in just a few moments. Whew. Okay, guys, well, I just need to recover my breath here. So, alrighty, let me just uh, where's my rag here? Did I actually get a rag earlier? Hmm. I'm, I'm just kind of doing a quick real re little reset in my mind as well too here. So again, guys, well, bear with me a second. So, so I can also just. Uh, and I just move the uh, camera just down just a little bit here. So, mm -hmm. <sighs> alrighty. So, how are we feeling right now, Guy Fong? How are we feeling on this beautiful Saturday afternoon here? So, uh, these nuts. <laughs> <sighs> God, once, the you kitchen's got... once this kitchen is smelling nice. Mm. I mean, the kitchen's always smelling nice. I mean, at least I think so, anyway. So, alrighty. So, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna kill her. I'm gonna take that 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 everybody's feeling good here. So again, once again, folks, if you're just coming in, welcome in. Been for a welcome back. We are just getting our. We are gonna start making our tongue while well, we're making our a, a second batch of, of uh, tongue yuan right now. So this is a tradition. So, and uh, hopefully this is gonna be the. So again, we do. We you've seen the traditional some. Now this is the. Uh, this is kind of like the. Um, the TikTok breaking one here. So we'll. Uh, so we'll be making one that's gonna break, the TikTok and Guy Fong. Sim, uh, same. Mostly the same ingredients. Uh, uh, same, kind of mostly the same ingredients from 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 earlier. So it's going to be water, uh, water and 
Oh, crap. Water and water and glutinous rice flour or sticky rice flour. Uh, uh, and of course, for the for the filling, um, we actually I did actually get that uh, done a little earlier, so we got, probably we're gonna start. But uh, guy from rice filling uh, is, geez Louise, that's that's a little close. That's uh, that's not the way to reveal the key ingredient here. Uh, we're gonna be using peanut butter. So yes, you can use you can just simply uh, do some. Um, you can just. Um, Again, I'm, I'm keeping this relatively simple, so I'm actually just using a jarred peanut butter that I have put in the cool, uh, in the fridge, uh, and put it in the fridge, and then I just literally uh, I mix a little sugar into it already. So there is a little sugar in here already. So I'm just needing to just oh, oh, I guess I guess I just need to portion this and then make the dough a little bit. Uh, I mean, uh, again, like I said, I mean, the, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be. Uh, have a few other things to do as well too here so yeah but the cooked dough roll would break TikTok. i really hope so as well too so no hands and wetman app won't app won't stop closing itself oh dang wait which app is closing itself so yeah the cooked dough i mean you know what i think it's, you know i think you know jay frank i think you're not wrong on that one it would i think it, it would probably because it's it's not something that people do right it's and makes in it, it, it makes and and I don't want to say it's some of these old traditional techniques that yes it takes a few extra minutes like extra 20 25 minutes it's not so and sorry guy I'm just going to blow my nose here it doesn't give you that instant gratification but still it's a um, but it does pay off in the end so and that's kind of the thing I do around here as well, too. So, all right, guys, hold on a second. I'm just going to go get the, uh, we're going to go quickly grab our scale, and we're going to take a look, see how much uh, of this peanut filling I do have here. So, um, my mom earlier made about 20 pieces, well, 15 to 20 pieces. I'm going to see how many pieces I'm actually going to be able to make uh, with the filling I have as well, too, here. So, mm -hmm, yeah, yeah, switch. Oh, perfect, switch. Okay, mm, yeah. All right, just going to see how, uh, Okay, I'm gonna need to. Okay, my filling is a little bit thicker. Uh, my, my filling's a little thicker than, thinner than I like it to be. So it's a little soft, but uh, that's okay. I'm just gonna see how much I got here. So, so peanut butter does need. Uh, peanut butter can be a little bit more, can be a little bit more well viscous. So we're gonna take a look, see how much we got. Okay, hold on. Okay, so let me just get here. So tear, tear it up. Come on. So I'm just going to get the unit here. So let's take a look here. So, um, okay, grams. All right, how many grams do we have here? So, so folks, again, if you're just coming in, this is just regular old-fashioned smooth peanut butter. You can use crunchy peanut butter if you want. Uh, personally, honestly, I find it's a little bit better, but I only have smooth, but that's okay. So I bought a 274 grams of 274 grams. I am going to do a little bit more filling here, so I'm in 276. So, it's a little bit 276, I would probably say, let's do some math here, 276, if I'm going to make about 20 pieces, so that's about 2.7, that doesn't seem like a lot, so, sorry, I'm going to do about 7 here, so 7, so 3, 30 grams, hold on, so 376, sorry. How many pieces can I make here? So 276. I'm just going to make just a few here. So 276 divided by about 9 grams. So, by, so I could probably make up to 30 grams, uh, 30 pieces of it, but I'm not going to use all that here. So we're probably just going to do, I'm just going to do about 12 or 13 pieces, just enough to kind of make a, a big, big, good amount here. So filling one of hers and have her remind me. We could, we absolutely could. That's, that is definitely an option. So. I would need I, I wouldn't I wouldn't need impartial judges though. So I mean, uh, maybe in the in, in the near future when we can uh, maybe in the as I as we kind of get, get a little bit more um, hone into some of our content, maybe we'll get some of the guy Fong to come up to uh, to help us with that. So uh, so if you are in Calgary and you want to come uh, come taste, I mean hey, I mean uh, make sure you're in the Discord so that when 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 the when the call goes out, uh, you uh, you will be able to answer. You know what I mean, right? So. All right, so we're just gonna start. So, Guy Fong, uh, we're gonna go. Just gonna grab a little bit of our peanut butter here. So, 
This is a little bit. This is still a little thicker than I like it to be. So it's not. It's not formable. So I'm actually going. I'm, I'm probably going to need to add a little bit of. Uh, going to need to add a little bit of something, something to that as well too. It's kind of thickening them up here. So bear with a second. So I am going to put some of this away though. By the way, I don't. I'm not. I'm not going to use all of this. So I'm just going to put some of these uh, back into the jar here. I know it's. Uh, I don't want to. Uh, again, I'm, I'm not going to throw away whatever I don't use as well too. Right. So that's that would just kind of be. That's kind of going to be a little little silly here. So. I might just add a. I don't want to add cornstarch, but that's the only thing because that's gonna, that's gonna throw off the flavor. So, but uh, if I if I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna take a quick test here. So, yeah. If I did have if, if there was like um if I had some like ground peanuts, uh this would definitely not be a problem. But yeah, like I said, I mean it's a. This has um this has already has fat in it already, so this is why it's gonna be. This can be a little bit so so, but if we can uh, maybe say get some of the lick uh, moisture kind of just uh, thicken up, I think we should be fine here. So I don't want to add too much starch to here. But uh, sad, this is okay. Uh, no worries. No worries. Absolutely, yeah. Red Phoenix, we'll make it happen. We'll, we'll, working on it, we'll make that happen here. So mm -hmm. no worries. Mm -hmm. uh, she would pick it out too easy. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you, I mean, there. I mean, she can definitely taste her own cooking. I mean, I can taste my own as well too. So. It would definitely be need some, uh, we would need some, uh, we would need some impartial tasters. So, uh, people who are probably, uh, again, people who won't be, uh, who may be, uh, and yeah, it'll be, uh, they will have to come in like right after as well too. And they might not be, uh, might not be able to watch a stream either because they'll, they'll know which one is which, the two, right? So, all right, if I'm going to add a little starch here. I don't know if there's any way I can actually kind of thicken this up a little, a little bit more as well too, but, uh, so, actually, you know uh, when I when I start freezing these things, this this shouldn't matter as well too here. So, uh, hmm. peanut butter is actually really really th my peanut butter is really really thin right now here, which is a, which is a little worrying for me. So, but um, but yeah, once we get so if I can actually get this to thicken up as well too here, that's probably a big thing as well too. So, uh, um, add in ten minutes, no worries. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, so we got we got another six minutes here. So. <sighs> See if I can figure this out here. So hold on, folks. Just gonna get the. I'm just gonna see if I can get this up here. So here. I may have to really kind of free. I may have to kind of have to freeze up a l uh, freeze is really good before we we do this too. So let me see how we're doing here. Okay, that's about 12 grams of peanut butter here. Kind of looks a little kind of. A, hmm. Let me see if I can get this here. So. Kind of looks like it's just splotches of peanut butter. Mm. Nope. Okay. Okay. I think the peanut butter's being a little bit of a being a little temperamental right now here. So, mm. although, hold on, I found. Me thinks I may have an idea. Mm. Just need to. May need a little bit of work, but you know what, I found. I just, may take a little bit of time, but you know what. As long as I can get this peanut butter to be a little harder, I think we'll be fine. I've done this with peanut butter before, but for some reason, these, this peanut butter is a little bit more, um, a little bit more, uh, more stiff here. But once again, folks, if you're just coming in, welcome in. If you've been before, welcome back. We are just making some peanut butter tong yuan right now, also known as sweet rice dumplings. We're gonna make it more, more ups, more, more TikTok. TikTok like right now here. So and yes, also I've never, I've uh, never made these with the dip this in chocolate before. So this is also a bit of a, uh, bit of a new adventure for me this afternoon here. So again, welcome in everybody. Mm -hmm. No worries. Okay, just make sure that this doesn't, uh, this doesn't touch any water here. Oh geez, geez, I'm gonna add a little bit more. Yeah, I don't want to add more ice. I think probably just a, just a little bit of water should be fine here. So. All right, and I do hear our stream rate of battles ready to go. We'll actually get that during our next top of the hour break here. So, but, uh, right now I'm just chilling down this peanut butter. Well, nope, it's too, too much water, too much water. Just add a, thought I just add a little bit, but you know, I just want to make sure this this peanut butter just thickens up. Come on. I did also keep this. Uh, I also kept the peanut butter in the uh, 
in the in in the cooler or well in the fridge earlier too. So it was fine, and then just uh, but, yeah, exactly. But anyway, hold on, folks. There we go. Just gonna make sure that the freezer is cold, closed. Uh, we'll just uh, just gonna keep this. Uh, we'll keep this mixed up almost until almost like an ice cream set uh, consistency, and I think we should be good here. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, everybody. Let me just take a look here. I think we're looking good. All right, so that's going to pick it up. All righty. But it got fun. I do want to ask. Uh, um, I, again, I do want to kind of want to ask, um, how did everybody like those? Uh, how, how's everybody feeling? Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, what, what are we feeling like when it comes to, uh, uh, if you were, would you, if, you, if you've never made something like this before, if you've never seen it before, after watching my mom make this, I mean, would you try it? So I mean, would you? Would you, are you more inclined to try it now? And uh, again, just uh, just just kind of out of curiosity for yourself. But anyway, so alrighty, let's uh, let's, we're still working on this peanut butter here, so it's still making it. Just waiting for it to to chill down a little bit more. <clears throat> so it will take a few minutes here because I and yes, I'm using metal for most of this. Uh, metal will. Will conduct well the heat a lot more, and we should be good. This is right. Perfect. Yeah. Hmm. The um, I think the only thing I uh, the only thing I'm kind of wondering is is uh, how hard is it for y'all to get uh, the uh, glutinous rice flour? So the or the sticky rice flour. I know in the in, in the USA in the US most Asian grocery stores will have mochiko flour, which is which is glutinous rice flour. So it's just I, it's just mostly I'm worried about other other parts of the world. I mean, in Asia, you can probably find it very easily. Um, you can find either glutinous rice flour in the in the Thai in the Thai green package, or or you can use mochiko flour. But uh, again, I, and folks, if you are looking for something to uh, kind of an alternative to that, uh, unfortunately, I not I have not made this enough to really know. But uh, I am sure there's something out there. Uh, you could potentially use tapioca, but uh, you could use tapioca flour, but uh, that's a completely different story because then you'd be making boba as well too, right? Actually, wait, hold on. I actually have made boba before, haven't I? I feel like I feel like I have made boba uh, with y'all before. So, oh, and Guy Phone again. Let's we'll take a quick check here. Our peanut butter is looking. Peanut butter is starting to to thicken, but we do want to. So we'll probably give this a few more minutes. Uh, probably, uh, and that's so we'll. So maybe it'll probably happen is we might we might probably just need to let it sit for sit and like really really chill down for about twenty to twenty five minutes until we can start forming balls out of this here. So uh, again, I guess as you guys from again, if you're just wondering what we're, we're at right now, so you can see my peanut butter is a little bit like soft, I, like soft serve consistency uh, when I kind of want it almost like a very hard kind of consistency as well too. So uh, Avery bread flour. Uh, I, I don't see why not, but hmm. the only thing is that the glutinous rice flour doesn't have gluten in it. So it's uh, the sticky rice flour doesn't have gluten in it. Uh, you might end up making bread dumplings. So yeah, that that's probably where you might uh, you might get that as well too here. So uh, but anyway, guy, again, uh, we're just gonna take a quick. Uh, I do, our peanut but our peanut butter is just gonna take a few minutes. I do need to let this cool down for a few seconds uh, so that we can work with it. So probably about 25 minutes. Uh, we're going to take a quick little break. When we come back, Guy Fong, we are going to start uh, working on our uh, chocolate dipped, uh, chocolate dipped uh, rice dumplings here. So uh, then regular rice flour. Regular rice flour also doesn't have gluten in it. So yeah. Again, I've, I've really never really, really uh, like uh, fucked around with the kind of thing. So again, I can't, uh, I, even if, if you were joking about it, seriously, I, I, I really can't. I really can't give you the right answer right now here, too. But anyway, Guy Fong, again, we're just going to take a few breaks. Uh, we'll be back in about three minutes here.
Oh my god, yes. You're perfectly juicy. Oh my god, that's awesome. This, this definitely needs to be a... This definitely needs to be a... Quick one. Hold on, I think that's all. Microphone muted. Which, of course, would completely help as well, too. But again, thank you so much for letting me know. Thank you, Mel. Uh, welcome back, everybody. Good to see you. <laughs> yes, Dumpling Daddy here, uh, here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, making traditional glutinous rice dumplings. But uh, we're taking we're taking the tradition uh, and turning it on its head. We are going to be doing some chocolate-dipped uh, tong yuan uh, for you today here. So uh, on this 15th day of Lunar New Year, which is called... Uh, Yuan Xiao, uh, which is traditionally the, uh, marks the end of all Lunar New Year festivities uh, in the in, in the Chinese speaking world. So traditionally, again, most uh, in, in, in modern times, most people don't get 15 days off. Uh, usually most people will only get anywhere between se uh, three to seven days. I think in Hong Kong, you only get three days off uh, for Lunar New Year. Uh, in China, I believe China and Taiwan, I believe you get seven. Uh, and I believe Singapore, you get five as well too. So you get it. It's about a whole week off, and uh, it's uh, it's always a good time. But uh, back in the old days, we get you get fifteen plus travel, uh, and of course there's travel time as well too, depending. Because uh, back in the 1800s, you didn't have the uh, you didn't have you didn't have bullet trains, right? So so you had to kind of guy old, old horse and buggy, uh, and that probably could take anywhere between three or four days, depending on where you live from your family as well too. So and yes, these uh, things are traditionally. Uh, these uh, dumplings that we make are round, which traditionally uh, sim symbolizes togetherness and unity. So, because everybody, when the world is round, we all get together and all that kind of, all that kind of lovely jubbly stuff as well too. So, and yes, they are eaten on the fifteenth day to signify. Hopefully, you will be able to meet each uh, everybody again. So, no matter if it's friends or family or 
acquaintances or guy fong like we do in Platoon. So uh, anyway, that's a big thing. So uh, no worries. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, no, I just forgot to unmute myself. So this is this does happen, but you know what? Hey, it is what it is. So sometimes I'm. But again, guy fong, thank you for letting me know that uh, that I was muted. So uh, so. <sighs> And uh, hopefully this will be the one and only time we do that as well too. But again, if you're just coming in, welcome in everybody. Hoping you're having a wonderful day. All right, so uh, let's just, uh, let's get some let's go take a quick look again. I only put this uh, I only put the peanut butter in for about a couple minutes here, so I put it in during, before the break. And uh, I did actually also put this into a in, 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 onto, onto a bed of ice. So I don't think it actually kind of needs this uh, while while it's in the freezer, but. Uh, I am probably going to keep this bowl of ice just in case uh, when I'm working with this in the uh, uh, when this is at room temperature here. So uh, I'm also going to get this on. I'm also just get this uh, get this out of the get the spoon out of there. So I don't want a. Uh, I mean, there's probably nothing worse than having a spoon stuck in your filling uh, when it's uh, semi frozen here. So, so if you're working with more liquid ingredients, uh, uh, it's highly recommended you keep these ice cold. So. So I'm just gonna get the uh, peanut butter out of the uh, fridge, and we'll work on this. Uh, we'll just work on. It. So we'll get this back in the fridge here until this is nice and almost like a light, almost kind of like an ice cream style, almost like a like a slightly so uh, like like a nice churned ice cream. So I like nice ice churned ice cream texture, and we should be good here. So while we're at it though, Guy Fong, we're also gonna get a. So we're gonna get some more. We're gonna get some of our little bit of water going because the uh, next thing we need to do is we're gonna need to, well, right now we're gonna start getting some dough together here. So, so we are gonna try to replicate the technique that my mom showed us earlier. So for those of you who just uh, who were just coming in, uh, you'll get to see how uh, we make our, our dumpling wrappers. Again, you can keep it simple. You don't have to do the step. Uh, you can just dump hot water into, into some glutinous rice or sticky rice or mochiko rice and, and be done with it. But uh, this uh, there is a subtle difference to uh, uh, there's a subtle difference to this and uh, gives it a little bit more of that kind of like nice chew that I find uh, it's it's quite nice so we'll do that here so okay um okay just need to breathe for a few seconds here so okay just trying not to try and try not to get too uh, too overwhelmed here so okay there it is Skyfall okay okay so the water's going we're just gonna get that, uh, we're gonna let that boil for a few seconds here. All right, we are going to start by making our dough here. So this is this amount of dough, uh, depending on uh, how, depending on how much you make, uh, you can make uh, we'll make approximately 12, uh, 12 to fifteen pieces. So, but if you like them, I mean, if you're if you're serving a big crowd, I would probably say double or triple your uh, your amount here. So I'm going to do about a, I'm going to start with about one hundred and fifty grams of flour uh, of our glutinous rice flour. Oh, hold on. There it is. So, 100 grams of hot in the rice flour. I think I might not actually have to open up a fresh bag here, which is always a good sign. <coughs> 45, 149. Okay. I'm going to actually save the rest of that. That's going to be for the rolling process. And I do have to wear water. I'm just going to also get some hot water. I am going to get some uh, very, boy uh, very hot water in here. So we're just going to form that nice crumbly dough here. So, yeah. <coughs> If you if you've been here since the start, you probably have seen this. But uh, if you uh, if you are just if you're just coming in, well, I mean, uh, it's just a bit of a uh, kind of a kind of the uh, way. I, so I'm actually just kind of following the uh, what my, what my mom was doing earlier as well too. So I'm gonna form a little bit of well in the middle. Um, so and also by the way, again, if you want to add a pinch of salt or a little bit of sugar to kind of help season up the dough a little bit, uh, you absolutely can. We are gonna do with that, by the way. We are gonna. I am gonna add about a teaspoon of sugar, so about five grams of sugar in here. That's gonna give it a little, give the give the dough a little bit of sweetness. So, I didn't add a lot of sugar to my pe um, I didn't add a lot of sugar to my peanut butter filling, so that's also why as well too. So, so this is also gonna help us a little bit. So I guess I'm just gonna add a little bit of bo boiling hot water. I'm just gonna, it's kind of like making pasta here. So just wanna make sure we. Kind of combine, and we're just going to form a rough little dough here. So, so we're just going to form that as well too here. So, alrighty. So, kind of using both fingers here. Just going to get that done. Alrighty. Whew. 
Team Guy Fong, I really. And folks, again, if you like what you see, and seriously, if you like what you see, seriously, wait until, wait until tomorrow. We are going to be making something absolutely wonderful tomorrow. We're taking chicken parm and giving it a Hong Kong spin tomorrow. So, but more on that a little bit later. So, gluten's making more gluten, but gluten's making more like cake or bread bar. <clears throat> they, okay, this is the misnomer. When it comes to glutinous, what they call it glutinous rice, it's technically not gluten. Like gluten, C-L-U-T-E-N. That's what you get for, for making water and flour. They call it glutinous. It, it's like, it's gluten, well, glutinous literally means gluten-like, but it's not gluten. So there is no gluten. So if you, so people, again, if you ever, have you ever been to a Chinese restaurant uh, with, with someone who's celiac or, 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 or gluten-free and they have absolutely no problems eating a lot of the items, maybe besides the steam bows and the st st steam bows and maybe the wontons. Yeah, they are, um, so it's kind of, it's glutinous like, it's gluten like, but it's not gluten. So if that makes any sense, I don't know any way, shape or form. So yeah, translating, English translations can be a little bit uh, funky as well too. So uh, yeah, so more gluten. Uh, because when you can, again, in, in Guy Fong, when, you, when you're kind of doing this as well too, again, the, I think the reason why they call it glutinous, it's also, when you kind of roll it together, it kind of looks like, it, it forms into a doughish. So it's kind of like, forms, forms into kind of like a doughish kind of thing. So kind of forms like bread dough. So I, maybe that's why they call it glutinous. So this is why it kind of also struggles too. So that's why I also call it sticky rice flour. So I don't want to give you that, that wrong impression as well too, right? So, and this thing I found, it's kind of, this is just starting from the chalky uh, stage here that we just, that we had earlier. So we're just going to get this here. Um, if you do, uh, actually, you know what I'm actually, you know what I'm actually just realizing right now? You know what? I wasn't expecting that my mommy would actually do this, but I just noticed. And help me out here, Kai Fong. Okay. I noticed that the dough didn't break as much. So, so Kai Fong, again, look at this right now. So again, it, so if I tried to form the dumplings like this right now, you can see how chalky this is, right? So you can see how tough this, uh, so th this is still breaking apart. So it is still kind of breaky, kind of almost like chalk right now. When she added the cooked dough to it, do you know, did you notice how smooth that dough was uh, with no cracks? You didn't see any drying out? I think that there is why you added more. So she was able to add more liquid to it without adding more water directly. That actually makes this product a little bit nicer and also easier to form as well too, right? So, and Guy Fong, again, if you do want to keep it simple, you can actually do it like this. But uh, as you can tell, it's a little bit more shaggy as well too. So no worries, but... Uh, this is definitely one of those monkey touching the monolith kind of moments here, Guy Fong. I mean, I mean, you, I mean, Guy Fong. Like I said, you can you can just slap some filling in here right now and just kind of just go go like this. But uh, it's definitely you can see also the the, the dough is a little bit more uh, craggly as well too here, right? So we can uh, so, yeah. So yeah, didn't actually didn't actually really know that as well too. So yeah, uh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Back to your question. It's it's very much very much like um. It's very much a um, matter of semantics and um, uh, semantics and language here. So, all right, guys, we're gonna take a, we're gonna take some of this. I'm just gonna keep keep some of this. So we're gonna take probably about the same moment we said about about a, a fifth to about a, a tenth of this, uh, and uh, put this. Uh, and we're we're gonna well, cook it in some boiling hot water. So. So right now, Guy Fong, our dough is good. So you can see how nice and smooth it is right now. That's that's good. That's good. But uh, but uh, we're gonna make it a little. We're gonna make it even better with a mummy's technique here. So all right, we're gonna take one ball of this dough. Just gonna form this into our form this into a little uh, little puck. Wow, well, a big uh, big blob, and uh, we'll wait for the water to boil here. So okay, so just move it over, and that's gonna add. Uh, and we'll get that. We'll cook that dough for approximately about five minutes here. So, and then once all of that comes together, uh, once all once the once the dough has been cooked for about five minutes, uh, we we fold this in together, kind of like how you make kind of like a very very like a rough. It's it's kind of similar to uh, what's it called? Similar to to making. 
Um, the puff is kind of kind of similar to making puff pastry, but it's there's no there's no oil in this here. So uh, again, I'm hoping that kind of makes a lot of sense here. So all right, guys, well, I do see that uh, the 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 sun is actually out now, so it's actually looking pretty bright. So I'm actually just gonna switch some natural light for the time being here. So woohoo! Look at that. <sighs> Once again, folks, if you're just coming in, how are we doing today? Again, thank you very much for coming by on this beautiful Saturday afternoon. Or not a, uh, Saturdays are not our usual regular scheduled day, but uh, if, I, if I had my way, seriously, Guy Fong, we will definitely try to make more Saturday. Uh, at least one Saturday a month happen here. So, and yes. Uh, by the way, did you all... How did you find my... Uh, again, I, I know you all love my mom, by the way. So, how did you find her, by the way? So, you know... Hopefully she actually gave you a lot of information. So, and hopefully she also inspired you to make these make these little dumplings uh, for yourself as well too. So, and yes, and yes, mommy's already said that she's a. I mean, I mean, guy farm. Not gonna lie. I mean, my mom absolutely loves all you. So, uh, and uh, seriously, she is uh, when she when she, she was talking about those those sesame, those those, those fried sesame uh, dumplings. She actually means it, by the way. So she is actually, she, she's probably looking at the calendars right now and actually thinking of the next time I uh, do that. But uh, Guy Fong, it, well, when, when that does happen, though, Guy Fong, I will let you know, by the way, soon. So. All righty. Let's take a look here. So I'm just going to take a little bit more dough. I'm just going to cook that all up. So, and I was just going to keep it, I'm also going to keep it covered uh, while we're waiting. All righty. So this is a, uh, this process does actually allow you for a does allow for a little uh, kind of time to slack off for a few there, but uh, I'm also going to get rid of the cover. I'm just going to cover. We're just going to keep our water cover so that it boils a lot faster. So actually, so that's the, that's the wrong lid. Duh. Bring in the bring in the boil, and we should be ready to go here. So uh, once again, folks, if you're just coming in, how are you doing today? How's everybody up to? And uh, also, what is everybody up to, by the way, too? So. Mm -hmm. I'm also kind of thinking, um, and, and yes, Guy Fong, uh, I'm also kind of thinking ahead of what we're going to be doing for the uh, for uh, the next couple uh, for the for our next couple streams as well too here. So, uh, so for those of you again, folks, we are doing we are doing a uh, sorry, we're we're doing a chicken parm baked rice uh, tomorrow. So a little bit of Italy and a little bit of Hong Kong. So we're doing that. To, we're doing that tomorrow. Tuesday, we're doing one ingredient through uh, Tuesday, so it'll be our, it'll be the last one ingredient Tuesday before we introduce Mashup Tuesday, Mashup Tuesdays on in in March. So uh, Guy Fong, we'll talk a little bit more about that tomorrow, uh, about my Mashup Tuesdays uh, uh, tomorrow uh, on on our stream. Uh, so Mashup Tuesdays is literally we're going to take words and concepts and we're going to make some Asian dishes together with that. So we'll be, so that'll be, uh, so we'll be talking about that on. On our next stream, but uh, one ingredient Thursdays though, I kind of need an idea of what we. Uh, uh, I kind of need ingredient. I need an ingredient from y'all, by the way, for for Tuesday, by the way. Curtis, well, I mean, I mean, besides that, a little too. Besides, well, kind of besides that. But again, good to see you. Welcome in. How are you, my friend? <laughs> yes, um, and thank you for for spending your Saturday with me, by the way. So, I know there could be uh, many th other things you can do, and other hundreds of thousands of streamers that you could be. Uh, be with right now, but you, you chose to be uh, with uh, Dumpling Daddy. So I mean, uh, I can't be. Uh, I'm all. Uh, it makes me all, all, all warm and fuzzy inside. So, alrighty, guy, found our dose good. So we're just gonna drop this in, and we're just gonna need to let that cook for a few seconds there. So, oh, I'm doing well. I'm actually doing well today. Today has been a good day. I mean, I have. I mean, I've only. I, I actually. I mean, for the first part of the stream, I was just. Uh, I was just sitting around, sitting by, and kind of just uh, watching my mom cook. So, uh, but now it's my turn. So we are just uh, so it's my turn. So we're t t turning a traditional Chinese dessert, uh, and we're well, we're turning it on its head. So uh, giving it a little, we're uh, technically in a way making putting Asia in your mouth this evening here. So uh, or this afternoon here. So all right, just gonna kind of get the so our dough's got cooking right now here. Uh, it does. Uh, if you are looking for timing wise. My mom does say it takes about five minutes to do, but if you if you're looking for kind of a color or consistency, uh, when it kind of once it kind of goes from off white, to, well, sorry, from uh, from from uh, almost like pure white to slightly like like a like a slightly pale gold, uh, pale yellow, pale gold. That's when you know this is ready to go here. So, yeah. 
Yeah, thank you for the lurk, by the way. Thank you so much for the lurk. All righty, guys. Well, we're just going to get the. Uh, just going to quickly change the title here. So hold on a second, Kefo. We'll be right back in about 30 seconds here. Um, No worries. Okay. So, hmm. all right. So, by the way, and Guy Fong, again, if you're just coming in, uh, this is, this was not, uh, again, I wasn't, I was originally, I was expecting to just do hot water and, 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 and rice flour. And that was, uh, and sorry, and, and sticky rice flour or more Chico flour. Um, that's it. But, uh, this is a little bit new to me. So we are definitely doing, we're, tr we're trending on new territory tonight. So that's why. So again, yeah. <laughs> you are definitely watching something that potentially uh, could break TikTok. So, uh, all right, we're just cooking this. Uh, we're just cooking this dough here right now in some boiling hot water. So that's going to take a few minutes. So, to, uh, and yes, this is just so. Uh, this is just part of the the dough that we are using uh, that we just made earlier with some flour. Uh, so the glutinous rice, uh, the gluten, the glutinous rice flour, uh, and some uh, hot water. So. Mm. You can use cold water, but uh, just be very, just be very careful. Uh, it may turn uh, certain starches. By the way, if you use, if you mix some certain starches with cold water, uh, so things like tapioca starch, you will uh, end up with edible slime. So, uh, so uh, if you're if you're ever actually looking for uh, um, slime, though, let me see. Actually, you can actually create that. By the way, so let me see. Now, rice flour. Let me see. Have a, do I have some tapioca starch? By the way, nope. Nope, that's salt. No, I don't have it. Okay, actually, I don't have a bag open here right now. I don't want to. Kind of don't want to rip one open here, but uh, actually, no, I don't have. I don't have any open, unfortunately. So, yeah, but uh, we will. Um, mm, we will have a little bit of time. Maybe tomorrow we'll make some. We'll make some boba tomorrow as well too. So I mean, it would, okay. Hold on a second, folks. We'll get the. How uh, many? A few things here. I'm actually gonna find my. Uh, see if I can find the. Find my uh, my slotted spoon here. So let's see if I can find. It. Oh, there it is. Found the slotted spoon. So let's make sure the slotted spoon. All right. So and again, no need. We just need. All we're just doing right now is we're just um uh, again this I believe from. But again, from my own from my own prediction, I feel like this is just to doing this is just adding more water to the to the dough so it's adding more dough uh, more, more water hydrating the dough even further without actually adding more water to this as well too here so astrid them astrid oh yeah oh yeah you can make your own boba it just takes a long time it takes a long time but oh yes you can oh yes you can oh yeah you can make your boba um the way I do it is water, so boiling hot water, uh, tapioca starch. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'll show you tomorrow. I'll show you tomorrow. I do have an open, unopened bag of tapioca starch. I'll show you how to make a small batch tomorrow. So while our, so while, so so when we while we're kind of marinating everything uh, for our chicken uh, and also making our our tomato uh, our, our tomato sauce for our for our chicken parm, I'll show you how to make it. So. Someone just remind me, uh, and then we'll wait, uh, because I do want to make some milk tea tomorrow, by the way, too. So I mean, uh, might as well make some uh, make some boba to go with that uh, Hong Kong style milk tea as well, too, right? So maybe we'll do so. Yeah. Gojima! Holy smokes! How have you been, my friend? Good to see you. <coughs> how have you been, my friend? Oh, uh, if I have a lot in chat, can I get a shout out for Gojima, please? Gojima is a friend of ours, which, who I ha unfortunately haven't had a chance to hang out with um, for a while, but. Uh, Another amazing uh, streamer, uh, specializing in music, Guy Fung. If you can, if we do Dumpling Daddy favor, uh, just uh, go give them a, a follow here. So again, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Mm. Mm. Last couple of weeks were a bit rough, but you know what? Hey, I mean, we are um, we are back on track now. So we are definitely back to 100. percent uh, We are definitely uh, and now it's full speed ahead. 
but uh, also trying to make sure I take care of myself as well too, which is another big thing. So I gotta say, I mean, uh, I know this is something my mods, I mean, I know Rexus double, Rexus double uh, noodle and everybody had been screaming for uh, at me for years about as well too, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. To kind of take care of myself, but uh, and uh, yeah, not doing that was uh, probably one of the worst things I could have done for two. So and again, it's not and also like, at the end of the, end of the day, it also feels like it's and it's also not fair to you as well too because uh, you want me to be here for you as well too, right? So and when I have to call off streams because I'm not feeling well, that's a bad thing as well too. So yes, yeah, so, exactly. You have to. You you have to. I mean, uh, I mean they don't call it hot and sour soup for nothing, right? I mean, when you have a little spice, you gotta have a little sour with that, right? And also, it ain't called. Uh, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, Ed Sheeran ain't talking, uh, ain't spending hours and hours talking about sweet and sour as well, too, right? So, uh, oh, then, girl. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay. If anyone actually had uh, Dumpling Daddy mentions Ed Sheeran lyrics, uh, drink. By the way, so if you had that on the bingo card, drink. Okay, I think the dough is actually ready to go here, so we should probably be able to pull this off. So, uh, by the way, we are making a gl uh, glutinous rice or sticky rice dough for this. Uh, this is, by the way, again, I did mention this on, on Thursday. This is very, this is, this is kind of like mochi. So, except there is, a, there is a major difference between this and mochi, by the way. The difference between this and mochi is... Mochi is using is, is done using pounded cooked rice. This is done by the rice uh, rice flour. So those are the sticky rice flour. They both come from the same plant, but uh, the the cooking and the making are completely different here. So it is, and it does take a little bit of a, of a elbow grease to make it though. So the kind of the pounding and everything, it does take a little uh, takes a little bit of um. Takes a little oh, bit yes, things to do, Daddy. and yes, uh, we did say pounding. So yeah, so we're pounding rice together. So uh, so that's actually that's kind of how you make it so too, right? So all right, so our dough's looking good here. So taking some of this the, this cooked dough, and we're just kind of combining this with the the uncooked dough here. So uh, so yes, yeah, so that's my mom made it. So, my mom made this so easy here, but <laughs> you can see we are. Uh, it can be a bit of a. Uh, Bit of a uh, mess at the very beginning here, so you just have to kind of just roll with it here. So just kind of, kind of break up. The, we just have to kind of use your hands and kind of break up some of this, uh, this cooked dough, and just kind of make it into a, uh, into the uh, mix it in as well too. So and you can see, Guy Fong. I mean, uh, th this cooked dough. I mean, it was, it was a big mass of kind of like almost like a piece of gum. You can see that it's already adding a lot of liquid to this already as well too. So which is good. So which means that, especially on a drier uh, climate like like ours. Like a drier climate, like here in Calgary, where it's a little bit higher up in elevation, uh, it will be. Uh, you will kind of need a little bit more water here. So, mm -hmm. uh, okay, mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So yes. yes. Uh, if, uh, again, if, you, if, you see, if, if anyone's ever seen any YouTube videos of, pe of people in Japan actually like pounding the mochi in the in the bins, yeah, you'll know. Or if you've ever played, uh, if you've ever played, um, what's it called, um, Cooking Mama. They do actually have mochi there as well too. So, so and yes, they, they they actually on Cooking Mama they actually do it with in the traditional. They actually pound it using the traditional method. So, although I think I've actually watched some of the Japanese channels, uh, Japanese um, Japanese device channels on YouTube, uh, and they actually do have automated. They do have automated um, mochi makers as well too. So, uh, although those of course may not uh, again unless you really really love mochi then. Uh, May not be uh, may not be the most practical thing for you to buy as well too. So. I mean, unfortunately, of course, I, I do have people who do. I, I do have people in my house that we do have people in the house who do like mochi, but uh, I know I don't think they like mochi enough to justify that cost as well too. Oh, speaking of which, Gafong, I do see our stream radar battles ready to go, so we'll get that we'll get that done in just a few moments here, folks. Uh, we are just kind of kneading this dough. So this is our this is our. Uh, glutinous rice dough, or the no mai fun. So we took some of the dough and we cooked it uh, in uh, under some boiling water. So and we're just kind of combining the dry, the quote unquote dry one and the wet one together here. And just kind of combining it together, and you can form it. You can see how it's uh, yeah, 
Oh God, my mom actually made this so it looks so easy here. <laughs> But we are kind of, it is starting to kind of form into this really nice log here, which is good. So we do, we do want to kind of make sure it needs it nice so everything is tofu. So tofu is uh, fufu, that's pounded topioca. Hmm. Fufu, I believe that's like West African though, right? Hmm. Mm. I think it's like, wait, what's it? Fufu is like cassava, right? Wow. Cassava is where cassava or manioc or whatever you want to call it. Uh, that's the uh, root of the tapioca plant, right? So, actually, you know, now that I think about it, honestly, I, I feel like, again, it might be cooked a little bit differently. It might be prepared differently. I feel like, I believe there might be a t something in southern China or, like, or Taiwan that kind of does something like that too. So, And Guy Fong, again, if you're just wondering, I'm just using my dough scraper and just kind of try to get some of this... Uh, excess dough off my hands here so we do want to make sure this all turns into a into a nice uh, nice dough here so and you can see guy fung when our dough is actually forming in a nice little kind of like a nice long gummy snake so that's a big thing so a nice gummies kind of like a nice soft like white snake so here i go again here i go again here I go again on my own. And uh, I'm down the only road I ever known. Like a twister, I was born to walk alone. Sorry, couldn't help myself. Sorry. Had to sing uh, Here I Go Again by White Snake. So, don't mind me. All right, again, that's that should looking pretty good. So, let's give it a nice form. Might actually just, uh, again. I'm gonna let this. I'm gonna let, again. I mean, I don't. I did add a little bit extra fire because I think we might have added a little too much water earlier. So, but uh, this, we're just gonna let it kind of rest for a few seconds. Uh, let let it kind of rest and kind of just let the let some of the uh, the starches hydrate a little bit further. So, this should uh, again when we when you come up, it should be should be nice and uh, ni well, it should be nice and smooth uh, and ready to go here. So, hold on a second, folks. Alrighty, let's gonna get the uh, let's gonna get some of this excess starch off my hands here. So. Yeah. Mind, uh, uh, I was actually watching my, my my mom do this, and yes, so her hands were actually like uh, there was actually not a lot of residue on her hands, so uh, so she definitely must have added a little less water than I did. So, alrighty, there you go. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, oh yeah, thank you. Yes, ooh. Pound of tapioca. Mm. Mm. Just I think it's what do so. Mm. Pound of tapioca. I'm trying to. Mm. I, I'm trying to go on again. I'm just I'm just trying to remember what is it that there is definitely. I think there is something. Actually, sorry, Guy Fong. I can I, I might have I might have mistaken tapioca for for uh, potatoes. So uh, in a place in in a place called Guangxi in Kent. Uh, Guangsi, uh, Guangsi or Guangxi, I believe it's called Nan Ning or Nam Ning. They do have a, they actually do pound, um, they do a mashed potato dish. That's, that's pounded potato. So I thought it was tapioca for some reason, but yeah, it's a, um, it's a spicy mashed potato, but the potatoes are pounded into almost like a, in, in like almost kind of gu into gummy and gluey, uh, kind of very gummy and gluey. So. They call them grandma's potatoes, so or lao nai, lao nai yang hu, which uh, we we which we have done. A, we we took we did a variation of, um, like a more Western variation of it, but uh, but we actually haven't done the real thing. But uh, maybe if, again, Gai Feng, if, if you if you do want to see it though, I mean, hey, let me know in chat. We we absolutely can make it happen, so we can uh, we can definitely pound some potatoes. So if you know what I mean, so. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, let's take a look. See, I'm gonna also I'm gonna go check our peanut butter and see what consistency that is at. Right? Yeah. Oh, guys. Okay, again, remember when you see when you see early, when remember when earlier we were trying to get this together, it was kind of like very soft. And guys, look at that now. It's uh, it is now nice and uh, almost like an ice cream like texture now. So it's gonna well like a soft ice cream texture. If we feel like this is probably a good time for us to start thinking about. 
uh, forming this. But I'm probably going to give this another five or five or six more minutes uh, before we do this. I do want this to be a little bit more. I want to be able to have this uh, this to be handleable before we start uh, getting this uh, before we start working on anything else here. So mm. this is delicious, though. Mm. And if you're just wondering, yes, the filling we're getting it doing is peanut here. So. Uh, I have! Sambo, I have made mapo tofu multiple times. It is one of my favorite things to make. From Szechuan. Uh, mm, then again, honestly, I'm not going to lie. I mean, it's... Wait, hold on. What the, what the heck's going on here with the camera here? Did my camera get distracted? This, uh... Get out here? Guys, well, hold on a second. Let's see the... Uh, just give me one second here. Let me take a look. What's going on here? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Ah. <sighs> oh, I guess it's that studio mode here. So, I think my camera might be frozen here. So just bear with me. Uh, just bear with me for a few seconds, folks. So, let's see where the other button is. Okay, let's get back down here. Okay, there it is. Perfect. Just had to make sure it's unfrozen. Is there someone's ketchup to cut down the spice? No, no, we do not put ketchup in that. There is no ketchup in, in mapo tofu. Oh my God. Okay. I just need to know, Zambo, I'm not blaming you. I'm not blaming anyone. I'm not pointing fingers, but uh, who's putting ketchup in mapo tofu? Who's doing that? Certain things, that's okay. That just feels wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, oh no, we do the we do it the traditional way. We do it with the uh, the, the the spicy bean place or the tobanjang. We do it with the fermented beans. We do it with uh, we, I do it with pork. Traditionally, it's done with uh, beef, but I do it with pork. I like it. I like it with pork a lot more. But ketchup though. But ketchup. I know a Chen Kenichi when he made the, the, uh, the Szechuan uh, chili prawns, he added ketchup to it. But ketchup in mapo tofu? Uh, no judgment, but uh, it was his father who started. Yes, his father actually took that idea. Yes, to put the uh, the tomato the tomato in the. Uh, in, in, in the in the uh, in the uh, palace style prawns or the gongbo gongbo sharin yes that or, or ebi chili yes that was started by that was started by Chen Kenmin yes the late the late Chen Kenmin yes uh, and then uh, Chen Kenichi or Chan Gin uh, started started the uh, and then he I think he made the can he he uh, put it on toast points uh, one for one battle I actually do remember watching that battle by the way on on Food Network I'm like wow mm -hmm. It comes with very spicy food. It's it, exactly it. So he actually did that. He did. Uh, he he kind of used it to kind of tone down the spice. But uh, I. But again, I think the Chen Kenichi has actually done a good enough job of kind of introducing people to like 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 Japanese folks to real Chinese cuisine. I think that the, their heat tolerance is a lot better than when when Chen Kenmin was uh, when, when Chen Kenmin uh, when Chen Kenmin was around as well too. So uh, or Chen Kenmin was still around. So. Old Master Chen was a, um, Old Master Chen or Chen or Young Master Chen or Junior Master Chen. Uh, I believe the uh, the restaurant's now actually owned by his son Kentaro or Gin Tai Long. So uh, Chan Gin Tai Long or Chan Gin Tai. So yes, uh, in in Chi Chinese names are usually three characters. Uh, Japanese names can be four characters. So Kentaro is Gin Tai Long. So uh, the Chinese might actually cut, uh, cut the ro out. So. They probably would just call him Chen Chen Jin Tai or Chen Jian Tai, Chen Chen Jian Tai. So that would be Kentaro's Chinese name. So Jin Tai Long would probably be a little bit, uh, yeah. The the fourth character, the the word Rang or the Lang or Ro in Mandarin in, in Japanese would probably be dropped. So, but still kind of being the it's it's almost kind of the same name as well too. So, mm -hmm, so. But yeah, but uh, yeah, that was one of the big things when uh, when when he first uh, when Chen Ken Min started doing Japanese food, uh, like introducing Chinese food to ja well Szechuan food to Japanese people. He did actually have to tone it down, but uh, I feel like I actually remember watching a video of Chen Kenichi 
making Mapo Dofu, and he did it the traditional way. It was absolutely fantastic. Oh, just watching him make that Mapo Dofu, though, yo, I mean, I knew a master was at work here. So, I mean, and then again, I mean, Chen Kinichi also has always been my favorite master chef. I'm oh, sorry, my, my favorite iron chef. So, you know what I mean, right? So, yeah. Um, hold on, Gekafo. I do have a stream rate of battle. Let me get that going first. If you want to come in uh, with that game, exclamation mark on our chat. Uh, use your Twitch account to sign in. Let's get that going here. So, mm -hmm, yeah. Uh, all the results. Oh. Sambo, do you, Astrid, do you have the uh, Hong Kong special, by the way? I have looked forever, forever in a day, for a view of the Hong Kong, the Iron Chef Hong Kong special. I have not found an I have not found hair nor hide of that of those two specials. Uh, I believe um, there was a really really good chef that was on one of the shows and in Hong Kong, the, the Hong Kong specials. Um, the res I believe the chef was from a restaurant called Yang Yong Gei or Yang Ki uh, in central in in, in in like in in, cent in in central in central Hong Kong. Uh, well known for the roast goose, by the way. So I mean, uh, uh, Calvin J. Bull, thank you very much. So uh, let's keep on going, folks. If you want to play? Exclamation mark SR in our chat. So Guy Fong, we are just getting everything together right now. Uh, Dragon Cub, good to see you. Ooh, Thambo. Um, if you have these episodes, I mean, uh, actually, can you mess me? Uh, can you mess me to Discord because I kind of feel like maybe we could do a. Um, we could do a uh, Iron Chef watch along one of these days as well too. So again, if you can, if, if you can, only again, because I would love to do an I like an old Iron Chef Japan one watch along with everybody too. So I mean, um, maybe we'll do that one of these days as well too. Here, so uh, mm -hmm. Beijing special. I am in the Discord. Perfect. So yeah, so yeah, send me a message. Maybe we'll we'll maybe we, we, if uh, again, if you want to see it, maybe we'll do a we'll do an like an old original Iron Chef kind of watch along uh, sometime in the near future here. So and then maybe say Thambo can show show some of his fa uh, some of their favorite episodes we'll do so uh dragon cup how are you doing today good to see you welcome in so alrighty, the battle's on that's good okay we're looking good uh we are just kind of doing this so again there's a lot of things we're talking again folks if you're just coming in we're just talking about uh the old original iron chef so i gotta say i mean uh, when i <sighs> the old iron like the old, the the japanese iron chef was great I, I just don't know what it is. I, I, there's just something about the the American version. But I really, I, I seriously, and Guy Fong, and, and, and I gotta say, and, 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 and I'm hoping this is not going to be controversial, but I really tried to like Iron Chef America. I just couldn't. I'm sorry, that show wasn't salvageable, even with Morimoto on it. I mean, there were there were some really really talented chefs that was on the show, but seriously, I mean, I don't have. I hope I don't have any uh, Bobby F uh, Flay fans in the chat, but uh, I think kind of having Bobby on there kind of killed it. Really, kind of killed it. So, all right, guy, following again, and folks, if you're just wondering, this is just peanut butter. So we, we have been fr that we have been putting we've put in the freezer. So I'm just portioning it out right now. It is still a little soft, so I do want to get these um, get these portions nice and uh, frozen before. Um, so I think I want to get these uh, portions of peanut butter fro fr um, out of the bowl and frozen before and frozen to individual pieces before we uh, start making our dough here. So we do want to also want to rest our dough for a few seconds as we do here. So. Oh man. Yeah, I gotta say, yeah, the old, yeah, iron the. Uh, I really, really want to try to like Iron Chef America, but I, I, I'm sorry, I just, I just couldn't like them. They just, honestly, it's just like, I know it became a joke, like the moment when they make. I mean, I know we have, a, I know, a, I know one of the old guy from were like was a big, huge fan of Alex Guarnaschelli, but uh, I feel like the moment they make Alex Guarnaschelli and Iron Chef, I knew that those the the joke the um, yeah. It's just, it, it was just becoming a fucking parody. So, I mean, Cat Core was good, but yeah, but when they made someone like Alex Guarnaschelli a, 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 an Iron Chef, that's when you know, that's, yeah. 
And like Jeffrey's a carrion too? Like seriously? Really? Yeah. Anyway. But I did like Mark DeCascos though. I really liked him as chairman. <laughs> so, yeah. Mm. Mm, mm. It is, yeah. Ruruni no Tetsujin. Mm. Ruruni means, I think it means Liu Lei in Cantonese. Means cuisine. It literally means, it literally translates as culinary iron, uh, iron man. That's how they kind of got Iron Chef out of that. But yeah. But yeah, the American show, I mean, seriously, I mean, once they started giving things, once they started giving the Iron Chef title, like, to people like Arnie Schwarzenegger, Alex Guarnaschelli, and Jeffrey Zakarian, yeah. We know then it's, uh, yeah, then the show's just, just a joke by that time as well, too, here, so, yeah. <sighs> and seriously, I try to like that show, but seriously, just. I can't, and uh, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of wish we saw more of Wolf King Puck. I feel like, I feel like Wolf King Puck as a regular Iron Chef would have actually done a really good job. So, we didn't see him a lot. We didn't see a lot of him though. And seriously, they didn't actually. Who uh, actually would have been good as Latou? So I mean, uh, who would also been better actually? Um, not Yada, but I'm trying to remember. No, Alex. No, not Alex. Not, not Alex Guarnaschelli. Yeah. There's a few people who could probably have been, been Iron Chefs, but, uh, but yeah, not to some. Yeah, but yeah, not people like Jeffrey Zakarian. I'm sorry. That's the thing. So, so. Ah, anyway, guys. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to dig myself into a bigger grave as well, too. But uh, seriously, but. Uh, I do. Then again, I, think, I also try to. I also try, remember. I think they also tried to bring it back on Netflix, and uh, and yeah, that one also turned into a bit of a disaster too. So because, uh, I mean, I don't. I'll see. Did anyone watch the uh, the the American the, the 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 Iron Chef revival on on Netflix, the Iron Chef America revival where they did like the search for an Iron Legend or whatever? Mm, I got all of them. I mean. I think this is a lot of um, a, a lot of a lot of non like people who are not comfortable with uh, with television say this to me. A lot of chefs don't cook. They have a passion for food, but a lot of the time they're just spending the, their time outside of the kitchen. So people like Gordon Ramsay, they don't spend a lot of time. So day to day, they don't spend a lot of time in the kitchen. It's it's the truth. It's it, it's really it. They're more. They're more kind of focused on the business side of things. They might help out when, when the line is busy, but yeah, like 90% of the time, you'll never find, you'll either find the chef working on paperwork or doing other things or doing talk shows and things like that. But yeah, you will, it's, it's very rare. Unless of course it's like a smaller place. So there are some chefs who will actually be ha more hands-on, but uh, most bigger chefs, like people you can see on TV, yeah, are like 90% never going to be in, in, the, in at their restaurants or something like that. They're always out and about or, Kind of uh, traveling or whatever as well too, which is, uh, which kind of sucks. But I mean, I, I totally get it, but also kind of sucks at the same time too. So, it was. I just honestly didn't understand the. I didn't understand the concept. It was like, if they kind of made it into almost like a tournament, like a kind of like a, like a like a like a tournament where, actually no, they can't actually make it a tournament. <sighs> Honestly, I mean, Astrid, I just didn't understand it. I, 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 I just had a hard time kind of getting the concept as well, too. It's just like, because, like, how did you, like, they, they picked Esther Choi uh, to face all the Iron Chefs. Esther Choi is an incredible chef herself. But she had to face everyone, though, to, to, to get the golden knife? See, that's the thing. That, that's where I'm just like, like, where are we going with this here? Mm. I just have really more like your wife's home cooks or pro home cooks. That's true. And yeah, killer. That's ex it, it's 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 it makes a lot of sense. I mean, seriously. I mean, you go to. Um, I mean, you go to a restaurant like uh, Wolfgang Puck's restaurant. It's called Spago. Nine percent of the time, he's not there. You go to um, one of Susser Lee's restaurant in Toronto. He's probably not there. He's he's probably busy making TikToks with his uh, with his kid. 
a spoiled ass kid. So I mean, uh, or Iron Chef, or working on his on his TikTok channel, Iron Chef Dad, or something. I don't know. God knows what he's doing anymore as well, too, right? So, mm -hmm. and I like shows who shows they ate growing up. Oh, and Anton, Anton eats a lover a lot. Present, present food. It does. I mean, that's where a lot of. I mean, and and like home cooking is where cuisine started, right? I mean. And even any of the finer cooking techniques came from private cooks, right? I mean, I mean the royal kitchens, royal kitchens of China or France or Italy. I mean, all of that. I mean, I mean those were. I mean, technically, I mean, even though it was like fancy food made for people of nobility, it was still home cooking. It was kind of, in a way, it's kind of home cooking. So, I guess it's a, I guess it's kind of a bit of a stretch, but uh, help me out on this guy, Fong. So, but anyway. I mean, things like, I mean, honestly, even, even something like dim sum. Dim sum started with dumplings. And dumplings were a, a commoner food. Steam buns. Steam buns is another big thing as well, too. So, but yeah, so Guy Fong, like I said, I mean, it's, and, and that's where, and, and, and that's where, and for me, honestly, that's where I find some of the people I really, truly admire. Uh, they started learning by themselves. They're learning by themselves. They're exper they use their experience and share it with others. That's why I really love working here. This is this is why I love doing my Twitch streams. I get to show you what I'm all about, and also hopefully put a little Asian in your mouth. That's that's exactly what I do. And Guy Fong again, I I, I don't want to beat that dead horse, but uh, that purple check mark seriously would uh, be would uh, would help in uh, getting that message out uh, to even more people as well too. So that uh, that'll probably mean all that to get onto YouTube, but again, we'll talk more about that too. So. Uh, guy, I'm just checking on my peanut. I'm just checking on my, on my peanut filling here. So it's still kind of freezing. It's still kind of chilling down right now. Still kind of hardening up, as we speak. Uh, my dough is ready. I think that we're dough. Uh, but I do want to make sure that that is uh, that is good to go before that is good to go before we start that here. So, but okay. But again, doesn't mean that we doesn't mean we're going to stand around and do nothing here. I do have some almonds that I do need to toast as well too here. So. When you do risky dishes. Mm -hmm. The let me err, you don't need to mentality is great as well. Exactly. So, I mean, hey, if someone's made the mistake, then, uh, and they show you that this is, this is not, as, uh, as Uganda Knuckles would say, this is not the way. This is not the way. I mean, hey, I mean, you want, I mean, as my dad likes to say, if you want to run your head into, into a brick wall, by all means, hey, I can't stop you. But uh, if someone sells, if someone's already run their head in a brick wall and has a vi has, has five five dozen TikToks about it saying that no 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 that's not what you're doing, do you want to run yourself? Do you want to run your head your head in the brick wall? Seriously, be my guest. But hey, if uh, but hey, like I said, sometimes the best way to learn is just to run your head into a wall. We're talking a lot about running into uh, head, running our heads into walls today. Uh, don't do that, please. Again, this is not this is not me condoning you running your head into a wall. Literally, we're talking about metaphorically. So, so yeah. Oh yeah, risky dishes. So things like I mean, um, one of the harder ones I do is um, opera cake. Opera cake? No. Yeah, that almond flour batter, the the, the almond fl flour sponge. Woo! That's a, woo, mama. That's a. Uh, that's a. Uh, that's a journey in half. So, oh, speaking of which, Guy Fong, again, uh, we're, we're, so again, we're just, uh, I do see that we're coming up to the top of the hour here. So, Guy Fong, we just uh, just need to go get some. Uh, so, we're going to prep our, we're, we're going to prep our accompaniments here. So, so the things that we're going to be, uh, guard, uh, we're going to be making our, we're going to be, we're going to be uh, rolling our, we're going to be rolling our, our Tong Yuan in. So, we do have some, I do have some slivered almonds. So, we are just going to fire those up. So I'm just gonna. So again, these are. I think these have been toasted, but uh, but we're just gonna give. We're just gonna get a nice golden color on these uh, slivered almonds here. So whatever I don't use, seriously, Guy Fong, I can use it for another another application. So get you some nice slivered almonds. So turn them nice and golden brown. Oh, geez, Louise. <laughs> ah, run! Loose almonds! Loose almonds! Loose almonds! There it is. So perfect. Blue Salmon Alert! There you go. Uh, now, local news. Well-known streamer advised their viewers to do harmful activities. No! I did not! I did not say you do that! No, do not! Don't be like Rexus. Kids, don't be like Rexus. Don't do the opposite of what Dumpling Daddy says. 
And uh, if, that, if you do get hurt, though, please blame Rexus. You sue him. He has a lot more money than I do. Yes. Everybody sue Rexus. Yes. So if you, if you, get, if you run your head into a wall, uh, sue, uh, blame Rexus. It's all. And it hurts. Just, uh, if you get an owie boo-boo, yes. Uh, ask Rexus to kiss it all better. Because, uh, he will do it, by the way. Uh, Guy Fong, uh, yes. Uh, it's, uh, it's Rexus' ow, uh, ki uh, kissy owie boo-boo who better service. Yes. Uh, it's a thing. And uh, yes. Uh, it's, it's a thing. And uh, yes, uh, you, can, uh, you can call 1-800-BLAME-REXUS. Uh, one 800, 1 800 or B L B L M E R E X. So one eight hundred blame Rex. So um, fifteen ninety nine for fifteen ninety nine a minute. By the way, so hashtag just saying. So <laughs> thank you, Mel. Thank you for blaming Rexus. Yes, yes. No, Mel. Why are you taking the blame? <laughs> How are you doing, by the way? Good to see you. So. Uh, Hope the kiddo's doing okay. You kiss a kiss in a donut. Mm, a kiss in a donut. I mean, I'll, I'll, I mean, I mean, I don't know about the donut, but I'll take the kiss. <laughs> Wait, guys, did I actually forget to turn on the heat? Wow, John. Okay, you're now. Now we're being real special here. So, I'm adding it just a touch of oil here to kind of just lubricate and moisturize. So. Uh, and we're just going to turn this on. We're going to actually turn on the wok this time. Uh, and we're going to give these uh, slivered almonds a nice toast before we, uh, before we uh, work on everything else. Uh, when, we come, and Guy Funk, when we come back from break, we'll work on a chocolate ganache. Uh, using uh, two-ingredient chocolate ganache. Uh, and yes, you can use, you, you can use condensed milk. But uh, personally, uh, well, uh, I, I have my own personal ingredient too. So yeah, so thank you. So better, yes, better, yes. Uh oh, are you getting yourself into trouble? No, no, I'm not getting myself into trouble. I'm just uh, Rexus is just getting himself into trouble. Yes, we. I mean, it's, it's all Rexus's fault. Yes, we. We always blame Rexus when things go wrong. It's uh, it's just the, it's just the, it, it just makes a lot of sense. But, uh, but, but anyway, so. But then again, I mean, uh, Rexus likes to, li Rexus like just likes to get into himself into trouble and, and like about a bajillion different streams as well too. But uh, but that's just Rexus for y'all, everybody. So, so we're just gonna take it. We're just gonna get the. Uh, we're just gonna toast the. Uh, we're gonna get the to uh, almonds toasted. This is gonna take about five to ten minutes. Uh, we're just, I'm gonna do it at a medium high heat. Uh, you can get do this on. Uh, you can do this nice and low and slow. Or, uh, but uh, yeah, low and slow is usually the safest option. So you don't want to burn these things. Uh, low and slow is definitely your better option here. So I am gonna go grab myself a spatula. So wooden spoon so that I can actually give this a stir when this is ready to go here so exactly yes yet you know I'm not gonna get myself into trouble if I do get into myself into trouble I know who to blame <laughs> always guy fong again uh, when uh, something bad happens always make sure you have a scapegoat hashtag just saying so hashtag also hashtag just saying hashtag super bad advice you should never follow Ooh. Look at these uh, slivered almonds here. So, so again, this might look like a lot of slivered almonds, but uh, once we start rolling the, once I one, once I roll this into, uh, uh, well, once our chocolate coated um, tang yuan or the uh, or the or chocolate covered dumplings into there, seriously, these things will just, these things will just, you could probably. You, you, It'll seem like a lot. So, so again, I'm only just—I only bought one bag. But if you are making a big batch, like maybe it's like 20, 40, I would say get about three or four bags of almonds here. So, or you can also do peanuts as well too. So, I got to like it low and slow. I mean, I mean, I do like. I mean, uh, I mean, killer. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I do like. Uh, I do like to be romanced. I mean, right? I mean, I mean, I mean, I like to be romanced. I mean, uh, I mean. Uh, I am I, 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 I'm I'm like that. So, I mean, uh, I like to be wined and dined and 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 slow romanced, slow dancing in the dark. Not that kind of slow dancing, okay? Seriously, not that kind of slow dancing, there, Dan Clancy. You and your, you and your cowboy hat and and and, and handlebar mustache. Now, a bad romance. Well, now that's uh, gonna make a bad romance. Now that's completely different. 
That's a, no, no, that's different. That's, that's different. I mean, uh, that's when I'm feeling a little uh, frisky, so too. So, but I mean, so old fashioned thing. So, but uh, but yes, uh, an old, uh, just an old fashioned bad romance. Well, I mean, uh, that's when I'm. That's when Dumpling Daddy's feeling a little naughty. So, uh, anyway, but anyway. There's there, there's times for you. There's 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 time for fast and there's a time for slow. But uh, anyway, so I'm blushing just thinking about this right now too. So, all right, Guy Fong, our slivered almonds are gonna take a few more minutes to to toast here. So, Guy Fong, we're gonna wait a few seconds. Uh, we're gonna take a quick little uh, three minute break. When we come back, uh, Guy Fong, we will start. Uh, now we'll should hopefully be able to start getting our. Tongue yuan together, and the, 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 the rice dumplings together. Uh, we'll also get our chocolate ready, and then we should be uh, able to rock and roll and get ready, everything ready to go here. So uh, once again, Guy Fong, uh, thank you very much. For, uh, again, bear with me a second. Uh, thank you for your patience. We'll be back in approximately three minutes here. Back to <laughs> Nobody clip that, please. Nobody. Back everybody, good to see you. Welcome in. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you've never been before, welcome in. We are currently just uh, making some uh, sticky rice dumplings, uh, also known as tong yun. So we are making a peanut filled. Uh, we are making peanut filled ones, uh, and then we're gonna cook them, and then we're gonna coat them with chocolate. So yes, so we're doing something a little bit uh, non-traditional. Uh, so to celebrate the fifteenth day of Lunar New Year. So yes, if you're just looking at the menu right now that's exactly what we're doing uh if you've been before welcome back if never been before welcome in uh sit back relax on this beautiful sunday afternoon so it's about probably around just around 4 p.m just around dinner time on 
on a Saturday. So if you are just coming in, welcome in. Uh, yes, if you like what you see, uh, make sure you stay around as we uh, uh, continue to put Asia in everybody's mouth. Again, welcome in back. Welcome back, everybody. Good to see you. Uh, right now, we are just, I'm just waiting for my peanut butter to, uh, my peanut butter filling to uh, be a little bit more ch chill. Uh, it is taking a little longer than I expect it to be, but you know what? Sometimes these things do happen. Uh, but uh, Guy Fong, in the meantime, though, as we so yes, we are going to be rolling our, uh, we are going to be rolling our, to um, our little uh, dumplings in chocolate, and yes, we're also going to coat them with a little golden, uh, with a little bit golden toasted um, uh, slivered almonds on top here. So this is going to be. These things are going to be absolutely fantastic here. So, so before we start, before we went on break, we just uh, I just started toasting these wall, um, these these um, these almonds. Uh, just give a little bit, give a little bit of nice uh, golden brown, light golden brown color on top. Uh, when we come and then once we um, once this is done, we are going to start working on the uh, our, our chocolate here. So which is uh, which doesn't take super uh, which again soon. Uh, should be a should be a pretty big snap, but uh, but uh, in order to make sure that we don't um, we don't split the chocolate, uh, we are gonna take a good amount of care on this chocolate here. So, but making chocolate coating for anything is pretty easy here. So it's easy uh, if you kind of take a little bit of time as well too. But uh, once again, Guy Fong, if you're just coming in, welcome in. Uh, and I'm just gonna pull this off here. And uh, Guy Fong, today's our first. Uh, this is actually our first Saturday stream in a long time here. So. So that's kind of a, so again, I'm hoping I'll be able to make a, at least one of these happen. At least we're going to do at least one Saturday here. So uh, may, again, it could be cooking and may not, but uh, we'll make sure we'll actually do at least one, uh, once, uh, once at, at least once a month here. So, so that folks who usually may or may not be able to spend and weekdays evenings, uh, weekday evenings with us, uh, we'll still be able to have a little time to hang out with all of us as well too here. So. Alrighty, Guy Fong, our chocolates, so our chocolates good to go, so our peanuts are good. So just need to kind of crank up the water and we're gonna bring this to a boil. And we're just gonna need to go bail. Just gonna build our uh, chocolate cover, uh, our chocolate coating here, so, or the ganache. So. Um, I'm just also gonna get the, get a bit of a paper towel here, so I'm gonna make sure we get sure it's dried. Just like, um, just like a good old fashioned emulsion, a well, well kind of like the uh, the uh, the pepper sauce we made, uh, fat and uh, fat and water, or or any other flavoring, non non fat non fat stuff uh, will separate at too high of a temperature. We are using dark chocolate, which is uh, gonna which has a little bit more higher uh, heat tolerance. So. I am actually just, I did actually buy a bag of dark chocolate couverture. So, so this, uh, usually I'd say about, um, you can do, uh, you can probably heat this to about 39 degrees Celsius uh, to melt. Any higher than that's when, that's when the chocolate will actually split here. So also at the same time, again, we are gonna also, so you also need some dairy, you need some butter, but, uh, but and instead of uh, using butter, I'm actually just gonna burn up a little bit of our evaporated milk here. So that's got a lot of good good richness of the fat uh, without a lot of sugar here. So, so yeah, guys, again, pizza coming in. How are you doing today? How's everybody doing? Uh, hoping you're all having a wonderful day. Uh, and yes, uh, uh, and yes, I know uh, if you are, if you also have a uh, someone, uh, someone in your life who's a, who's a big sweet tooth, uh, this is also good for, uh, this also, this, this dessert is also good for Valentine's Day. So you have uh, someone who likes mochi, Actually, you know, Guy Fong, now I think about it. Chocolate covered mochi. Okay. Help me out, Guy Fong. Chocolate covered mochi. Would you eat it? I mean, uh, would you smash or would you pass? Just out of curiosity. So again, let me know in chat. Uh, smash or pass chocolate covered mochi. So it's this is kind of the same idea, but except this one. Uh, but again, the, as we said earlier, the, the, the difference between this and Regular old fashioned, uh, regular mochi is mochi is done fight with cooked rice. This one is done with, uh, this one is done with rice flour. So, all right, guys, hold on a second. I'm just gonna also gonna okay, take my camera to the side. I'm just gonna dry off a few seconds here, so I'm gonna make sure that this is good. All right.
Alrighty, okay, so let's to make sure here. So, is this one good? Okay, perfect. Okay, so my my camera keeps uh, my camera is constantly uh, turning off here, so I'm hoping it's not major any anything major, but uh, but anyway, so we're good here. So, all right, everyone, let's take a look here. I'm just gonna use again. This is about 250 grams, so this is about eight ounces of eight ounces of chocolate, a little over eight ounces of chocolate. It's just, uh, so, and oh, yes, if you've never, uh, again, I'm, I'm sure there's probably people who actually, uh, out there who actually do a lot of pastry. Couverture chocolate is actually more designed for covering things. So making, for, for candy making, uh, as opposed to something like um, uh, eating out of hand. So, if you ever are making like chocolate coated anything, yeah, you definitely want to get that, uh, you definitely want to try to find that couverture chocolate. But most chocolate bars should be fine. But uh, just just be aware it might may or may not work here. So you also kind of want to warm some warm cream, uh, warm warm condensed uh, evaporated milk. But uh, I'm just gonna add a little bit here, so it's gonna help uh, kind of just melt here. So and also, and then as it heats up, this is also gonna help uh, uh, kind of just kind of liquefy the liquefy the chocolate here as well too. So there it goes. Uh, I know it's kind of been weird today, but you know. Is it just been a thing all over Twitch today? I'm hoping it's not a. I, I'm, I'm hoping it's not a Twitch wide thing. So, if it's a Twitch wide thing, it's. If it's a Twitch wide thing, then it kind of makes a lot of sense. But uh, if it's just, it, but I'm my gut feeling is probably just me. But uh, anyway, guys, hold on a second. Let's get, take a look here. All right, so again, our water's kind of starting to boil on the bottom here. I don't. So water's starting to kind of simmer. So. So, and yes, we're doing the uh, chocolate over a double boiler, which is probably the most important part. You do, uh, you don't, uh, again, if you do, if you, you, again, if you're feeling bold, if you're feeling bold, you can do the chocolate straight in the pot over the heat, but uh, if you're, or, but again, if you do want to get a little bit of heat protection, just do it over the double boiler here, so. And, uh. But, uh, but if you do do it, if you do kind of melt chocolate using using the straight heat method, uh, you just have to be able to, you just kind of have to do it at a low heat and you got to have to watch it like a hawk. So just be, uh, so I'm not saying you don't do it. You don't, you, you can't do it or you don't, you can't do it, but uh, you just have to be super careful. And especially with chocolate being so expensive today. I mean, uh, I don't want to, I don't want you to uh, waste too, uh, I don't want you to waste a whole bag of Cooperture chocolate. So, I mean, that's a big thing. So. Um, the Cooperture chocolate can uh, can range anywhere between like three but three or four bucks to about fifteen pounds, fifteen bucks a bag, Canadian by the way. So uh, if you're getting things like Valrona or or Ghirardelli, yeah, the prices of those are absolutely insane. Or even Calibo chocolate too. So I have worked with all of them before. So that thing too. So guy uh, I do also see some stream rate battles. Uh, the stream rate battles ready to go. Uh, I am going to kill the heat for a few seconds. I do want to. I do want to kind of move the chocolate off. I don't want to, again, I don't know how long, sometimes the battle can take a little bit, so that's why we are just going to pull up the battle first. Uh, get the battle first, and then we're going to get the uh, heat back on here, so. Once again, folks, if you want to play, exclamation mark SR in our chat. So. I am also kind of going to carry the chocolate with me as well, too, so I'm actually going to keep the chocolate on the, uh, it's going to put the chocolate on, and we're going to keep that on as we uh, go, uh, go along here, so. And that also uh, keep the water at simmering is also another helpful thing as well too here. So, hold on, guys. I'm gonna take a quick look at the. I took a quick look here. I actually haven't looked at my, haven't looked at the Premier League scores yet as well too. So I want to see where um, what's been happening in the football today as well too. So let's see here. Ah, okay, we didn't get that done. That's okay, Guy Fum. 
four. Try one more time, folks, if you want to play. Exclamation point SR. Just gonna try the just gonna try the new uh, we're just gonna try the same map as before. Just gonna see if I can also can find another unit here that will bump do a little bit better job here. So once again, folks, if you're just coming in, welcome in. If you've been before, welcome back. Or just getting just getting this uh, stream um oh just getting this uh, stream made a battle going. If you want to play, exclamation mark SR in our chat. We usually do this while while we are in the kitchen, as we'll do here. So uh, yeah. feel free to uh, join along. Uh, hold on, folks. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Our water's actually nice and hot. So yeah. And guy phone again. As you can see, our chocolate. The uh, you can see the water is not super. Uh, it's just lightly bu bubbling right now. So there's a little bit of bubbling forming. Uh, and yes, the water is getting warm. And uh, I can, you can already see some of the chocolate starting to melt here, which is good, which is a good sign. Alrighty, that one's going for. And uh, yep, it's, so the uh, and yes, the uh, the condensed the, the evaporated milk is starting to to heat up or starting to warm up, which actually is uh, helping the chocolate melt here. So, by the way, how many? Of, uh, just out of curiosity, and I kind of want to ask. I mean, how many of you have actually worked with dipping chocolate before? Or like, have anyone has anyone ever made chocolate dipped desserts before? And uh, that also means chocolate fondue, by the way. Chocolate fondue is very sim kind of similar, except this is more uh, more of a uh, pastry kind of thing. So too, so you'll more see kind of see more of these couverture chocolate things like like Valrona or um, or Calibo uh, inside expert pastry shops here. So yeah. Honestly, I'm just glad. Seriously, I mean, if I had never gone to get my red seal, seriously, I probably would never have learned how to make this. So, uh, it's, uh, I guess I like being learning by myself, but uh, sometimes that book learning can uh, also kind of uh, open your eyes to uh, to different things as well too. But uh, mm. Mm. It's still cool. It's, it's starting to melt, but it's actually slightly cool here. So, I am gonna add a little sugar though. It does feel like it's gonna need a little sugar. So it's gonna just a pinch of sugar. Whatever you do, don't add water to this. Don't ever add water, uh, especially to something like this. Don't add water. So milk is okay. Uh, cream is okay. Something more high fat is the best here. So condensed milk is sorry. Condensed milk is like is like milk with a with a lot of water removed. So that's why it works. Evaporated milk is also good too. But yeah, but uh, I wouldn't put up straight up milk in there as well too. So chocolate milk, nice. Ooh, what kind of molds do you have? Do you have like um, is it like like festival molds like 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 Easter or, or Christmas? Yeah, I actually haven't done a lot of chocolate work as well too. So maybe uh, maybe I should probably look at maybe we should we should probably look at doing something as well too here. But maybe for uh, I'm kind of thinking maybe for like, maybe say like a subathon goal maybe we'll do a maybe I'll put a, a pastry day or something like that like a like a chocolate like a like a really good chocolate day together as well too so and that guy phone, can you see ooh can you see how velvety this is turning right now and how shiny this is as well too so the fat is nice and shiny this chocolate is like. If you kind of see the, I'm hoping you can see the sheen on this chocolate here right now. That's a great sign. And uh, if you, and again, if you if you do uh, overheat chocolate, uh, you will lose the sheen. Or if you really want to keep the sheen, you can also add a little bit of butter too. So, um, uh oh, what did my mom actually do with the butter? Oh, wait, I'm actually gonna add a little bit of butter here. I'm gonna add just a little butter. So, and uh, you know, as always. Butter makes something be things better. So I do, uh, but we won't. We won't. I won't add the butter in just until it's. Uh, until it's actually, not, well, actually, most of the chocolate's melted. I think it's probably a good time for me to add this. Uh, add this butter in here as well too. So I'm just gonna add about a about a tablespoon of butter. So. so the butter is gonna melt, and it's gonna give me. It's gonna add a. It's gonna add a little bit extra of that uh, that that uh, like that fat. Like that fatty sheen uh, on the on the chocolate, which uh, makes uh, which makes chocolate a little bit better here. So, so all right, guys, I think I'm I'm getting a little simmering here now. I think uh, I am starting to see a little bit of 
Chocolates become a little bit more liquid. What's it good for? Hearts rolled in. Nice. Ooh, seashells. <laughs> like, what are they made of? Are they made of pla are they plastic molds or are they um are they plastic molds or are they um yeah, what's what we're looking for? Are they plastic or metal? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, Guy Fong. I kinda wanna do uh, I, I kinda wanna do um I kind of want to do marshmallows again. I think the last time we did marshmallows, uh, we uh, it wasn't the world's greatest. So uh, I feel like we are we are due for a, for another attempt at marshmallows here. But uh. oh yeah, look at that guy, Fong. Oh yeah, Ooh, look at that. Oh. Okay, let's see how this chocolate looks now. Oh, look at that. Look how beautiful that chocolate. Plastic mostly. Nice. Oh, guy phone. Can you see this chocolate right now? Nice and flowy. Very smooth. So, I do still have a little bit of unmelted butter in here. So, so that as that butter kind of slowly kind of melts, uh, it will incorporate. And yes, as this cools, this is going to become a little harder. So I do want to keep this in a warm place. I don't want to... Uh, and also want to kind of keep this warm uh, water bath here, a warm water bath here, just in case if I, if this gets a little too warm. But uh, I found, look at this though. Look at how uh, looks pretty velvety here. So it's looking pretty velvety, but uh, like uh, black velvet in a little boy smile, black velvet in a slow southern style. Da -da 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 -da. Black velvet. Sorry. Thanks, Lana Miles. Thanks. I couldn't help but sing. I couldn't help but sing a, a black velvet huh? when, when we about that chocolate here. But uh, already, Guy Fong, our ingredients are good to go. So I do have our chocolate. I'm just gonna move this off to the side. We'll keep this. Uh, we'll keep the hot water bath. Well, the warm water bath to the side. I do have my do uh, our dumpling cooking liquid, so we're going to take a look at that. And we're going to check back onto our check back onto our peanuts our, our peanuts here. So let's take a look where we are at. And I think we should be good on that one too. So let's take a look here. So all right. I should be able to form these into nice balls here. So okay, yep. These uh, the, the the peanut butter is now ready to go. So it did take us a little longer than I thought it would be, so about 40 minutes. This has probably been about an hour, hour and a half, but uh, as long as I can form th these balls are not overly... Not over... Uh, slightly round uh, and not overly uh, kind of shaggy, they will uh, they will incorporate with our with our balls a little bit easier here, so... Well, they will. Well, they'll be rolled a lot, heck of a lot easier as we do here. So, hold on, guy. I'm just gonna also get get the thing here. So, yes, kind of have to work quickly here because the uh, this uh, peanut butter can actually you free uh, when you freeze this uh, when you chill peanut butter or freeze peanut butter like this, uh, it does warm up very quickly. So, which is a big thing too. So, nice balls. Mm. I know I have nice balls. I got balls. Woo! I got big balls. Who's got big balls? We got the biggest balls out of them all. Sorry. Hi, Fong. I'm sorry. I couldn't help myself on that one. So. <laughs> Thanks, ACDC. Black velvet and big balls, baby. I like big balls. I cannot lie. All your other pastry chefs can't deny. When a ball walks in with any pretty ways, there we go, there we go, there we go. Anyway, so. <laughs> All right, so how many do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, I've got about fourteen pieces here. So, sorry. Now let me try that again. So, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sorry, we got, we got. So we need to divide this dough into about 15 portions here. So. so so, let's see how well we did with our dough. We'll do that here. So, mm -hmm. so. And uh, once again, folks, if you're just coming in, this is, uh, this is one another one of our first playthroughs here. This is something that we have never done before. So, I mean, I have made these 
glutinous rice dumpling for, but I've never coated them in chocolate. So, uh, Guy Fong, we are going to need to, uh, we're going to need to kind of take a look here. So, all right, Guy Fong. All right. I'm kind of going to use both my scales here. Earlier, Guy Fong, when, you, when, when, my, 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 when my mom was here, remember, we, I did show you our little jewelry scale or the drug scale. So, yes, this is our drugs. This is our big scale. So, for drugs, drugs, or jewelry. So, little jewelry scale, jewelry scale, jewelry scale. Uh, we are going to take a look, see how much we got out of this here. So, this big ball of dough is going to be probably a little too much here. So, all right, where are we at here? So, uh, 278. 278 divided by 15. Oh, I can't do my math right now here, so bear with me here. So, so we, got about, we need about 18, uh, about 18 grams of dough here. So, so I'm just going to... Just need to make sure we just need to, to tear this out. We're just going to see if, I think we should be able to get 18 grams out of this here, but that's okay. So, so 13, I think our max on this, the max on this thing is about 18, um, max weight on this is about 18 grams here. So, all right, it's going to take a quick look. This is going to form one of these balls here. Gonna, I'm going to give this a quick test before we, before we go here, so, all right, hold on, folks. I'm just gonna, I guess, I'm just gonna spread a little bit of uh, rice flour on, uh, on, on on the side here. My mom used flour, uh, regular old-fashioned flour, but uh, if you are, if you are have anyone who in your life that is slightly is uh, gluten intolerant, uh, just use all, all all flour. Seriously, nothing wrong with that. So you can you can do it however you want, folks. So. so. All right, we're gonna take the first one here. We're just gonna grab one of our balls, one of our big balls of peanut butter, and we're just gonna get a peanut butter ball. It's gonna take one of these uh, peanut butter balls, and we're gonna roll them all together. Yes, I said peanut butter balls. So take one of these balls, and we're gonna roll them together. So and just to like just like my mom did earlier, so just gonna pinch them together. So slowly, slowly, ever so slowly. This dough is a little. I'm just gonna pinch, pinch, pinch. And oh, just gotta find out. Just gotta take a look here. So, alrighty. Okay, yeah, this one's uh. Yep, this one's leaking here. That's not good here. So, so we'll definitely need to kind of work the dough just a little bit more here. So, so it's a little. Dry. I think it might be. I don't think it's a little dry, but I think we should be fine. So I might just need to kind of give it a little thing. So. We did, uh, we did kind of put, we kind of got some success, but uh, as you can tell, this is not a, uh, not a great success here. So, hey, DJ Fira, yes, we are. How are you, my friend? Folks, uh, if I have a mod chat, can I get a shout out for DJ Fira, please? Another amazing food, uh, another amazing streamer, Valorant is her specialty. Uh, if you, uh, again, do me a favor, give her a, give her, give her a follow. Another amazing uh, streamer that we, uh, that I met a while back as well too, so. Incredible speller, by the way. Probably one of the best spellers here on Twitch. So, how are you, by the way, uh, Fira? How have you been? Uh, and yes, uh, Gong Hei Fa Choi to you as well, too. So, folks, today is the 15th day of Lunar New Year. So, the, the new lunar year. And yes, today is the, traditionally the last day of celebrations. So, so this, is a, this dough is a little bit more, uh, more, um, more sticky than I thought it would be, too. So, uh, so. So we're just adding a little bit extra flour to kind of make sure it's uh, nice and smooth here. So it was actually smooth earlier, but I think we let it sit for a little too long, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. All righty, there we go. So, all right, this is actually looking better here. So it's still a little sticky, so I might, we might actually have to add a little bit more flour here. So yeah, there's a little residue on my hand here. Yeah, this means it's a little too, so the dough's a little wet here. So I do want to make sure it's a, do want dried up just a touch though, so it's kind of like one of those had like the uh, the boiling water, so you kind of just uh, do a little bit, just a little bit, kind of like an or or kind of like an avocado here. So faster, harder, harder, oh, harder. Hi everybody. Hello Nikeen. Hi Rexus. Hi Nikeen. How are you? Good to see you. <laughs> Welcome in, Guy Fong. So yes. <laughs> uh, I am literally thinking, 
<laughs> I'm sorry. Nagin, I love you, but I'm sorry. I just love doing that to you. It's too much here. Folks, if you haven't followed the, the wonderful chef Nagin, please go give her a follow. Another amazing food and drink streamer. Oh my god, I just love it. And uh, one, of the, one of my most favorite people to troll with the... Uh, Hi, everybody! Hi, Nagin. <laughs> I do that to Rexus whenever I'm not in, when I'm not streaming as well too. So, so, so at least she doesn't have to feel alone when I do that. <laughs> How are you doing today, my friend? Good to see you. I know. <laughs> I know it's successful when she says, "Damn it, John." <laughs> I know. Ain't I a stinker, Nagin? Ain't I a stinker? Ain't I a stinker? <laughs> so, all right, let's get this. Uh, this is still very wet, by the way, so we do need to... So The dough is actually starting to smooth out, though, which is good. So, But yeah, Nagin, how are you today? Good to see you. How was your, um, how was your partner celebration, by the way? I'm sorry you missed it, because I did get to uh, go to bed early, so I mean, I, mi I missed it, so sorry about that, my friend. How was it, by the way? How, how does it feel to be... Uh, how was it? How was the party? I'm, 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 again, I'm so sorry I missed it as well, too, so... Folks, if you haven't followed DJ Fiera or Chef Nagin, please go give him a follow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, Nagin is also another uh, OG member of the food and drink community, another amazing person. And uh, if you are, if this is your first time in, here in food and drink, yo, yeah. Give her a follow as well, too. So. And yes, if you like Valorant, yes, Chef DJ Fiera is definitely one of your, is a, is a great choice as well, too, here. So. Yeah, it does actually a little bit. Uh, a little bit too wet here, so I do need to kind of make sure we do it. Ugh, just trying to add a little bit more here, so. Oh, Jesus. Don't want to get uh, rice flour all over myself here. Mm. But I can feel that, like, I can actually feel this dough being, like, super, super smooth as well through here. So, uh, dirty yet fun. Oh, my God. How many, how many muffins did you end up making, by the way? So, yeah. And uh, by the way, Guy Fong, and, and I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not saying this because Nagin is here. Seriously, Nagin is definitely someone I really look for, uh, look up to. By the way, too. So, so. and uh, in a way, I kind of wish that someday I'll be able to. Someday, hopefully, someday soon, I will be uh, have that purple check mark like her as well too. So that, uh, like, uh, and uh, like I said, Guy Fong, one big thing: putting Asia in everybody's mouth uh, will be a lot easier. If we can have that as well too. So there you go. Shut up and take my money. <laughs> oh my god, Blondie, thank you very much for giving that 100 plus. Yo, let's go. Yo, let's go. I knew your, I mean, your community is absolutely fantastic. So seriously, I mean, uh, so I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised that you, I'm actually surprised that you only did a, just a little over 100. I thought it was, my, in my heart, I was thinking you were, you were probably going to have to make about 200 muffins, but, uh, 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 but anyway, no matter what, I mean, hey, each muffin is all about the love as well, too. Blondie, again, thank you so much for that, by the way. Uh, uh, also, uh, if you or Nagin can pick a number between one and nine, we'll get that, uh, uh, we'll get you, uh, we'll uh, do that on the Plinko board in just a few moments here, so. And yeah, actually, no worries. All righty. Shut up and take my money. Okay, so. I don't know what it is, but my so sound alerts are like, like, five, like two or three minutes behind, so if I don't see your sub right away, I, I saw the sub in the chat before I saw it on on there, on the uh, things, so too. So uh, again, if I don't see it right away, bear with me for a second here. So, uh, shut up and take my money. money. Wait, what did you do? Oh, Nagin, thank you. I'm just gonna get you both on the board here. So two gifted subs. Thank you so much, everybody. Let's get the, let's get you on the board. And uh, you get, I guess both of you will get to choose a number between one and nine too. So. Uh, uh, so uh, guy found again for the for the plinko, uh, pick a number between oh, so someone subs, give subs or resubs or ten, a thousand biddies, or a raid. We usually do the uh, thing as well too. So uh, absolutely, Nagin, I would love. I, I'm I'm going. To, well, I will definitely see you there as well too, right? So, by the way, how I mean, are you going to be there for all three days, or are you just going to be there for uh, for a couple days? By the way, so uh, guy found again. If you uh, haven't seen all my things as well too, yes, we are going to be at uh, we are going to be at TwitchCon this year too. So uh, so again, bear with me a second. So. Let's get this going. Oh yeah, let's go. And it is jumping jack all the way back to the counter here. So hold on, ah, there you go. 
make sure we're are good. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank you very much. So nice. How long are you going to be there for? So, so if you're going to be there before and after, how, how many days are you going to be out in uh, San Diego? Actually, then again, you're, in, you're from L.A., though, right? So, so you'll probably be there for a couple of weeks, though, right? So, mm -hmm. Oh, you'll be there for a while? I'll be home for a bit. Nice. Nice. Thank you very much. Again, thank you so much for that sub, by the way, too. So, And uh, Guy Fong, if you're just coming in, you can see our, our uh, dough steak is looking pretty good. It's, there's still a lot of residue here. So, I mean, it's a... So, I am getting a... So, it does feel like I am going to need to do a little bit here, so... Yeah. Oh wait, hold on. Oh yeah, I think yeah, you did tell me they were from the OC, by the way. So that's exciting. That's that's gonna be good. It's a nice good good amount of homecoming. So yeah, I'm unfortunately I'm gonna be probably just be an in and out kind of thing. So and yes, I realized I just said I said in and out. The not like the burger, by the way. Not like the burger place. Um so we'll definitely be a, so well it's more of a gonna be for me, for my trip, it's gonna be a little bit more of an in and out kind of thing. So so I'll be gonna be in, in on the maybe say the Thursday or Friday, and then we'll, uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll be uh, heading home pretty, pretty quickly after as well too. So, uh, so, but I will try to spend as much time with uh, with people who I've met here on here on Twitch uh, during the uh, during my stay in uh, San Diego here. So, all right, hold on, guys. I'm just gonna. I think okay, this is actually looking a lot better here now. So, yeah, earlier it was a little crusty. Now we're, it was a little crustier. Now it's not. So we're gonna take a ball of our peanut butter. And just gonna wipe our hands. Just gonna dive it in. And just gonna stretch it, stretch it, stretch it. And I'm just gonna kind of fold it over here. So, yo, let's go. Yo, let's go. Pinch all those edges. Make sure there's no leaks on the other side. Just gonna give it a little thing. Yo, let's go, guy. Fall. Yeah. PB dumplings. Oh, yo, yeah. These are literally peanut butter dumplings, yo, yeah. Peanut butter rice flour dumplings, yo. Yo, and these things, yo, I mean, and, and Nagin, uh, seriously, Guy Fong, I'm, I'm not kidding. And not saying, not just saying this to Nagin, but uh, this dough is literally just gluten, uh, mochiko flour and water. Literally, that's literally all it is. Mochiko flour and water. That's literally all it is. So, uh, but you, you do need, there is a bit of a technique that my mom showed us earlier today. Uh, where you take some of the, the, the kneaded dough and cook it in boiling hot water to add a, add a little extra hydration. But, uh, yeah, it's super, super cool here. So, all right, we're just going to about 18 and a half. I don't want to do that as we do here. So, mm -hmm. nice. Home time's it? A few of those. Yeah, okay, so. Lots of enough. Yeah, um, I, I'm not from, I mean, you know I'm from Alberta, right? I mean, I mean, we have like we have like hard. I think we have like a um, Carl's Jr. We have a, um, I think we have a Hardee's here. Uh, we have we have Earl Sandwich now. So, uh, but yeah, In and Out is definitely something we don't have here. We do we actually we even have Smash Burger here in Calgary as well too. So, uh, Fat Burger and Smash Burger. But uh, I haven't had them in uh, those guys in a long time too. So, all right, hold on a second. I'm just gonna also get my. I do want to make sure I keep a, a, a keep a. Uh, and here, a um, little bit of a uh, little uh, towel here. So just make sure we kind of do this. Just got to work with this a little bit gently. So I'm just going to pinch it up. So I'm doing this a little slower. When my, mo when my mom was here earlier, she did this a lot faster. But uh, mostly because she's actually done this a lot more than I have as well too. So All right, just gonna, we're just going to use our... And yes, we are using... A, in Guy Fong, we are, we are using a drug scale. So yes, yeah, so... Or uh, jewel, uh, sorry, jewelry scale. So nothing untowards here, folks. Nothing untowards at all. So, so a little gram scale. So this is a gram scale I actually haven't used in a long time. So that's why uh, this. Uh, but again, it's super super convenient so too. So I mean, I actually kind of love it. So probably should have ripped this up a lot sooner than. All right, so here we go. Also, just trying to get the uh, the unit. Uh, the amount of dough as is even as possible here. So eighteen, and uh, and folks, again, if you're just seeing this, these are peanut butter dumplings, but serious, the peanut butter dumplings, yeah, they're only gonna get better because we're gonna be coating these bad boys once they're cooked in chocolate. <laughs> mm. Oh, absolutely. 
Wait, is wait, how do they have what? How do they have locations in um Okay, I'm stupid question, but they have locations in San Diego, right? Like is there one near the convention center? I've never Okay, and the only reason why I'm asking is because I've actually never been to um, San Diego. I mean, this will be my first time in San Diego, so I don't know what it's like. So I know it's very compact and it's like everything's going to be together and it's easy to walk. I think I'm I stay I think I'm right now honestly as, as as it stands right now, I'm think I'm staying at a place in the gas lamp district, so Again, this is my first. This will be my first time in the states for almost eleven years as well, too. So I mean, I have actually been down in the states for a while. So this is going to be a be a. Um, it's going to be a, definitely going to be a trip to remember because I have. Uh, <sighs> anyway, so sort of travel up down for in and out. Okay, um, is it like super far out of downtown though? I mean, is it like something you can take the trolley to go to? I mean, the trolley's not bad as well, too. They actually have a pretty good trolley system in, in San Diego. Very similar to the uh, C train here in Calgary. So they actually, they, they actually use almost the same trains, too. So, I mean, they, the trains, that they, the, the, the German trains that they use, the Siemens trains, they literally use the exact same, same company. So, I mean. So, hold on, guys. I'm just going to. Just weighing this about, to about approximately 18 grams here. So, 18 grams of dough. And I'm finding that's actually perfect here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, got 9, 10, 11. So this is going to be 12. Just want to make sure I have enough dough just to, uh, just enough dough to form this as well too here. So, hold on. So 15, hold on. It's gonna, this is getting a little sticky on my hand here. So, and uh, this seems like I'm just uh, throwing a whole bunch of together here. So 13. I might not actually be able to use all the dough, but that's okay. So, there's a 12, I have 14, so. Okay, actually that's not bad, so we should be good, so. I have a little bit of extra dough here, so too, so. Nice, so. All right, just gonna form the balls of dough here, so because the, the first locations we're gonna miss is what we do here, so. Mm. Yeah, but uh, not gonna lie, Guy Fong, I mean, no matter what we do in, in San Diego, seriously, I am, I am just gonna be excited, because honestly, I haven't been to TwitchCon before, so uh, that's a big thing. So, uh, And yes, Skyfong, if you would like to, uh, again, I do have a TwitchCon fund right now, so if you want to kind of chip into that, uh, I'm, I'm actually saving all my tips, and we're probably going to do a couple of uh, subathon or tipathons uh, in, in the months leading up to it. Uh, and then maybe also do maybe say a dumpling drive for that as well, too. So we'll talk about it too. So, but uh, again, more on that a little bit later as well, too. So don't want to kind of talk too much about here. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at that, Skyfong. All right, so we have our doughs, so we have our pieces of dough. I do have one extra piece, just in case if something happens. So, uh, so we did lose one bottle of peanut. We, we actually have lost a bottle of peanut butter already, so a bit of a tragedy, but uh, uh, it is what it is. So it is what it is. So, and uh, just using your hands. You can kind of, you, you can use a rolling pin to do this, but uh, I find that uh, when I do this, uh, it's a little bit uh, easier just to, well, just to use your, uh, just to use your fingers. So, and also have a damp, moist towel or damp towel, so to uh, make sure you don't uh, get too much uh, peanut here, so too. So, so. Mm -hmm. There we go. Mm. Look at that. Let's give it a roll. So make sure everything's nice and pinched, though. That's a big thing. So always make sure everything's nice and pinched. We should be good. Actually, while I'm at it, though, guys, might as well. I'm also gonna start getting the, uh, gonna start getting my uh, my cooking liquid ready, uh, or or cooking or cooking water ready to go as well too here. So, right. I do find the peanut butter. To I'm starting to find the peanut butter to be a little bit sticky. So I'm actually just gonna, just gonna get this off the sheet. I'm just gonna use it. Just gonna use a uh, offset spatula here. Oh yeah. And I'm just gonna take one of these balls. Take some of that dear balls, uh, big balls, balls of peanut butter. Just gonna slab it in. So, yes, this peanut butter gave us a little bit of trouble earlier, but uh, about a uh, about an hour in the cooler, an hour in the cooler until it's the consistency of ice cream. Uh, just uh, did wonders. Uh, oh, by the way, guys, again, I haven't forgotten about 818 today. Uh, or 818 today is uh, if you need something sweet right now, what are you reaching for? Exclamation mark 818. So, 
Uh, besides energy drinks for me, it probably would be some sort of chocolate bar. So. But uh, what about you? What about you, the guy Fong? Again, welcome in, everybody. So Make sure we kind of put the, uh, the bowl in the middle. Bowl in the middle. And just kind of just do that thing. Just kind of pinch it together. And then uh, these, uh, these aren't going to be perfectly round, by the way. If, if they're not perfectly round, seriously, don't worry about it. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. And actually, yeah, now that we're speaking of it, and again, we were just talking a little bit about San Diego. So for, for anyone who's actually been to San Diego, what else is... um. What else are the, what other good places for uh, sh that I should go check out? By the way, so hey, welcome back, uh, Red Phoenix. Uh, did you go out for the dump? Did you go to the dumpling place yet? Uh, how was it? Or did you go already? Sorry. Yeah. So yeah. So, so we were just talking, and again, we were just talking about San Diego, but yeah, we, and, then, and then I think uh, Red Phoenix mentioned earlier that they were going to go to that Brooklyn dumpling place here. So. Apparently it's a big thing in the U.S. that it's a big thing in the U.S. So I have a uh, it just recently opened location here in Calgary. So hold on a second. Let's go give this a pinch, pinch, pinch. Make sure that there's no rips on the on the side because uh, there's nothing sadder than making peanut butter dumplings and then having them uh, having them start to leak here. So twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. Place is small. Picks in the okay. Perfect. I will take a look at the Discord in a few minutes here. So. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I mean, <laughs> I did see how small that place is as well, too. It's, I mean, it is automated. I think they, I think they were probably expecting a lot of people to just, uh, just buy it and like take it and go. So, uh, or uh, as my old, uh, one of my old, uh, old uh, co-workers, Amol, would talk, take it and go, take it and go. I guess some people just wanted to kind of sit around and kind of just eat them first here. But, uh, I mean, hey, I mean, I'm, hey, I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with that, so. Uh, guy phone, hold on a second. Just gonna pinch, pinch, pinch. Make sure that there's all the peanut butter is fully and utterly incorporated. Just gonna get this thing. Pinch all the edges. Make sure there's no uh, no leakage. That'd be good. Guy phone, bear with us here. Guy phone. The, these might look really nice right now, but uh, trust me, the uh, the finished product will be good. no order though. That's annoying. Oh. Oh, you can't do that. Oh, oh you have to order it on the. Oh, okay. That probably is why it probably makes it a little bit harder too, because uh, for like automated places like that, I, d I mean, if you're not going to have a lot of space for waiting, yeah, I mean, and you don't have order ahead, yeah, that's um, that's just a recipe for a traffic jam. So, but hey, I don't own a restaurant, so seriously, I mean, I don't own an op automated restaurant, so seriously, I don't, uh, I I don't know how these kinds of things work. I don't know how human like human traffic flows work, so. I'm sure there is probably an anthropologist who actually kind of specializes in that kind of thing, but uh, I'm not that anthropologist, so I ain't that bitch is what you is. Uh. Oh, okay. That that tells me they they don't expect to be. They don't expect to be there for a while. Looks like they didn't actually do their due diligence then, so. Uh, yeah, yeah, like I said, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's just, uh, that's just unfortunate. I mean, did they expect that, that opening a location in Calgary is, uh, that, that everybody's going to carry American dollars? But, okay, anyway, I don't want to get, I don't want kind of what it is. Big changes need to happen. Oh, yeah, they definitely need to do some changes here, so, yeah, but, uh. Not gonna lie, honestly, maybe I will give them a try eventually, but uh, I mean, uh, maybe probably after until when when the uh, when the hype dies down, maybe that's where we'll go. So uh, there's also a place here in Calgary called Dang's Dumplings uh, that does dumplings, like run by a, I believe a ma um, like an older like a kind of middle aged uh, guy from the mainland uh, from mainland China, uh, and yes, I think his business was like kind of going down, and then someone someone kind of hyped him up. And then just, uh, and then now he's like got like two or three locations here now. So, here we go. Mm. Any mid subject? Go some pierogi, then Asian soup dumpling. Okay. So, it's more like, so. What did you try, though? Again, I'll, I'll take a look at the photo. But again, I haven't taken a look at the photo yet. But uh, which ones did you try? 
So, so we can take a look at the menu after these are cooked as well too here. So, all right. So we got about ten. It's gonna need to do about fourteen more. It's gonna need about four more of these as well too. So, uh, yeah. That just that just sounds unfortunate. Unfortunately, I mean, I mean it's probably a great concept. I mean it is well quote unquote automated, but yeah. Okay, right, um, okay no more. This uh, peanut butter is kind of starting to kind of warm up on me here. So guy phone again if I do miss your message. It's mostly because I'm trying to work as fast as possible here to get the uh, get the peanut butter in b uh, into the dough before uh, before it melts here. So if you uh, if you want to make this easier on yourself though, you can also use crushed peanuts. By the way, so just a regular old fashioned crushed peanuts uh, will also uh, will also work just as well, if not better. But since I'm kind of being stupidly lazy, uh, I just use peanut butter. But and most of the people are not satisfied. Uh, three dumpling special trial with parm chicken. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'll take my mom there. Maybe mommy will like. You know what? Seriously, a guy farm. I'm. I'm gonna say. I mean, uh, I feel like if my if I actually took my mom out to, the, to, to do this, actually, hold on. Now that I think about it. Does anyone watch Korean Mom on 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 Instagram or um, or what's it called? Um, not Instagram. Um. If anyone watches Korean Mom on TikTok, yeah, she is such a ray of sunshine, but she can be a very, very tough, tough judge too. So, I wonder if actually if I brought my mom out for an IRL and then we post it on there, I wonder if she would like it. If she doesn't like, again, I'm, 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 I'm saying this right now. If I take my mom there and she doesn't like it, I see no, I don't see a future for that place. So. Okay, fine. We lost another one here, so it's a little, a little thicker than I thought it'd be. But that's so, so I do kind of want to make sure this, the back is nice and thick here. So, hold on, guy friends. So a lot of a messy peanut butter here. So folks, bear with me for a second. Ugh. Okay. Nope. That's not gonna work here. Oh, we got lost a few here, so we're gonna, as long as we get twelve, I'm not really gonna be too mad about this here. So, so, so form this in the cup. So I gotta get some of this peanut butter in. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, you can see as, as the peanut butter, as the peanut butter is kind of warming up here, so that's why it's a, becoming a little bit more difficult here. But, uh, I think we should be fine. There we go. Perfect. Yep. Yeah, no, crack it. Mm. Mm. Right. Yep, yep. The guy from you can see. Peanut butter, yeah, we should have probably kept it in the fridge. That, that's okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Non traditional dumplings? Uh, oh, absolutely. Wait, are you still there right now? Are you watching the stream from there right now? Yo, let's go. All right, guy fun. We got a, we got our, we got our tong yuan. So the peanut butter is definitely a little harder to make. Again, guy fun. If we've learned anything today, the peanut butter is definitely a little bit of a is a little bit of a cruel mistress. We love peanut butter, but if you're stuffing it into anything, it's definitely a, can be a cruel, cruel mistress. Ah. Oh, hey, we still got 11 beautiful, uh, we still got 11 beautiful dumplings, so we should be fine. So don't mind these ones, Guy Fong. These are just, uh, these are our rejects here, so. All right, I think we should be fine here. Let's go. All right. And I do have my uh, water rolling boil, so. It's gonna get all these in at once, Guy Fong. I mean, uh, we have a pretty big pot, so seriously, I don't really mind doing this all at uh, heat here. So just gonna drop these all in. Hold on, Guy Fong. All right, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Okay. Nine, ten, and eleven. So we're gonna let these cook. And while we're waiting, uh, Guy Fong, we're just gonna uh, it's gonna also let the uh, I'm just gonna build an ice bath because I do want to make sure these these things are chilled down as quick as possible. Once they're fully cooked, I'm gonna drop them into ice, into ice, then dry them off, and then we're gonna coat them in in some chocolate here. So, alrighty, guy, fun. We're looking good here. So, uh, it, it was parked parked nearby. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. Actually, let me see, guy. Let me, let me, look. Okay. I think I might be off next, uh, not ne next Saturday, but the Saturday after. Hmm. Okay, hold on, guy. I'm just gonna get this here. Okay, perfect. So just clean, just clean out my board here. So, get rid of some of the, uh, get rid of the, uh, the rejects. Uh, get that back in the fridge, and I'm also gonna get the. Uh, yes. Okay, perfect. So, also, so. Again, Guy Fong, as, in, as we're waiting for the, uh, as we're waiting for the, the dumplings to cook, just gonna get the, uh, I'm just gonna start cleaning up our counter here as well too, so get some of the, uh, some of this uh, off of the counter here, so. All right, so let's take a look. Where's my sp spatula here? So, and these are actually looking pretty good. They're actually looking pretty good, I don't, Oh, there is one. There's a couple. There's a, there's some leaking already here. So, uh, dang it, they're, they're not. Uh, yeah, Guy Fong, you're not. That's okay. You're not. Not mad about it, Guy Fong. I'm just gonna. We're just gonna roll what we got here. So, uh, for our uh, for something I don't make often. Seriously, I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna try. Not gonna. Not gonna try to try to get too upset about this here. So. Uh, once again, Guy Fong, you're just coming in. Welcome in. If you've been before, welcome back. Uh, just getting a quick little thing here, so. <sighs> okay. Uh, just gonna clean up a few things here, and it's just gonna, just gonna take a quick test, see how we do here. So, right. still waiting for the. Uh, we're still waiting for these dumplings to cook. Once these uh, once these tong yuan, uh, the tong yuan are floating and done, we are going to put them into, get them into the ice bath here. So. A little bit more flat than I like them to be, but that's okay. Nope, this one's not good. Nope, that one leaked. I'm gonna try to find ones that actually are not leaking here. So, yeah, these are floating, so this should be good here. So, so there's one, there's two. Just trying to find ones that actually aren't leaking them, which I'm afraid we might not get a lot of, but that's okay. Nope, this one's leaking. This one I think should be fine. So we got four, five. Nope, leaking. Six. Come on, at least give me a lucky number eight. Seven and eight. Okay, no, I think I might have nine here, so it should be able to. Kind of a little leaky, but that's okay. But yeah, so still got nine. This one's leaking. Yeah, both of these are leaking, so that's unfortunately. So that's unfortunately not gonna work out very well. But so gonna be a little a little hard for me to dip these in chocolate when they're when they're leaking. But uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see how we do here. So okay, I'm just gonna clean up a few things. Get a few things in the fridge. So. But hey, nothing venture, nothing. Because the way I see it, Guy Fong, I'm, I'm trying to tell this for myself right now. Nothing venture, no, nothing venture, nothing gain. So now that we did, now that we know that uh, it's not the uh, doesn't work as well. We can just uh, getting mocha nearby, watching, watching, watching some animal coffee. Nice. Hey, hey, let's go. All righty, Guy Fong. Just gonna take a quick peek here. Our dumplings are cooked. So, oh yeah. So, yeah, I can see this one's actually. This one's this one's technically a slightly leaking here, so we're gonna need to. But uh, that is okay. That is okay. We'll uh, continue to get this done. We'll cleanse it up, and we'll uh, 
We'll uh, give this. A, we'll give this a quick shock, and then we should be. And we're gonna give this. A, we'll give this into the. Into the. We'll dry them up so that we can uh, get this. Get these dipped in the next. Uh, uh, once these are dry, we should be able to dip these into some. Uh, dip this into the, our chocolate here. So. Uh, oh, this actually. Oh, this actually just leaked right after we. We took it out. So okay, that looks. That's actually looking pretty good. Three, four. I'm actually just using my hands here because that's okay. Four, five, six, seven. So I got seven, um, eight. Try not to be disappointed, but you know what? It's the disappointment may be palpable, but uh, Guy Fong, I mean, uh, I'm trying to look at the. Ah, <coughs> oh. had about 15 pieces, and we uh, we've actually lost about six of these already here. So, but you know what? That's okay. We're gonna let these drip off a few. So, Guy Fong, we're gonna let these drip off for a few minutes. Uh, we'll I can gonna give them also gonna give them, give them a pat dry. We do want to make sure that these are nice, uh, well, as dry as possible before we start getting them into our into our warm chocolate here. So hold on, folks. Just gonna get this, uh, get a little bit of ice, a little bit of paper towel on top. So we get that done. Alrighty. Okay. Okay. All right. At the very minimum, our chocolate, uh, everything else is ready to go. So we should be able to uh, get this done as quick as possible here. So oh, geez, please. Uh, we're gonna take a quick look at our chocolate here. Our chocolate's a little bit on the. Okay, I think our chocolate's almost ready to go. So, shh. Still. Might actually need a little bit more cream as well, too, here. So, all right. Guy Fong, again, if you're just coming in, uh, we're just getting everything. Just getting, a, just getting all of our ingredients ready to go here. So, before we start dipping our chocolate. Dipping our. Chocolate covered rice, uh, peanut peanut rice dumplings. Sorry, pe peanut butter rice dumplings dipped in chocolate uh, and rolled in some uh, slivered almonds here. So uh, our chocolate's a little bit on the um, chocolate's a little bit on the grainy side. So I think I'm a little bit worried about that. You know what? Honestly, th that's what I have to remember sometimes. But. Uh, but Guy Fong, this is definitely a way. There's a there's a lot there's a lot to practice on. Holy shit, Texas Cryptid, how are you? Sorry about that. Just uh, camera's just having a little bit of a uh, special moment here right now. So, uh, so just as the raid coming in. Uh, okay. Uh, oh my goodness, iPhone. Oh, bear with me for a second here. Uh, <coughs> okay. Okay. Oh, okay. I got it here. So uh, again, Cryptid, thank you for the raid. How are you doing today? Good to see you, my friend. How are you? How was your day? What did you get up to on the stream today? Uh, tell me all the things. Tell me all the things. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you've never been here, welcome in. Uh, as uh, as we like to say here, we like to put some Asia in your mouth, which is Asian world cooking and other other fine stuff. If you like what if you like what see, get yourself uh, get yourself comfortable. Uh, grab yourself a snack uh, or a drink. Make sure you don't get hungry. And we are going and uh, let us let Dumpling Daddy take you on an Asian journey that you'll never forget. But again, welcome in everybody. Good to see you. Uh, sorry about the camera thing here. So again, I had to. This uh, camera decided it was going to have a little bit of a a uh, special today. So again, that's a big thing. Uh, Kanara Velos, good to see you. Welcome in. Uh, how are you doing today? What's what y'all get up to? Uh, hold on, Gaffer. I'm just going to take a quick check here. So, yes, you do. No, no way. You did vegetarian. You did veggie tempura today. Y'all, let's go, Cryptid. 
So Cousin Cryptid, by the way, is another member of the, uh, of the ever-growing Asian food family here on, here on Twitch. And uh, also does some amazing uh, Asian cuisine as well, too. So Guy Fong, if you haven't had a chance, go give, her, uh, give them a follow as well, too, here. So, uh, yeah, uh, Luli, good to see you. Welcome in. How are you? Um, uh, Luli Miel, uh, Dozan, Dozan. Good mahoma. Uh, also, Kinara, how are you doing, my friend? So we got, like, two amazing legends of food and drink here in chat right now. So uh, let's go. All right, and guys, again, if you're just coming in, we are just making a, we are just getting everything, uh, we are just making some, uh, so, so chocolate dipped uh, rice flour dumplings. So my mom was here earlier. She showed us a, a brand new technique to make them. Uh, and um, she didn't lose many, uh, but unfortunately it looks like we, uh, we have lost, we, we've lost a few, but you know what? I feel like we should be, I feel like we should be fine. I feel like we should be fine. We we we, we did uh, we did not too bad on ours as well too. So, but uh, uh, and again, folks, if you're just coming in, uh, you did uh, yes. I'm, I do apologize. You did miss my mom tonight uh, th th this afternoon. But yes, uh, there will be a time she will be coming back sometime very soon as well too. Here, so nice. Uh, and folks, if you haven't seen these by the way, so these are our these are what we call the Tong Yun, so or Tang Yuan in Mandarin. Uh, oh, Guy Fong just haven't forgotten about this. Because I bet that, that yes, the camera was uh, pointed down this way because uh, during Can the uh, emergency. Oh, yeah. Just gonna get a oh yeah, the classic Chinese, uh, classic Chinese dessert. Uh, we are just putting a little bit of a uh, more pastry spin to this as well too here. So our chocolate's a little bit on the uh, kind of gungy side here right now. So it looks like a little doesn't look like it's split, but it is a little bit kind of rough so I think it probably might need a little bit more liquid to kind of bring it back here but I'm like 99% sure that we we didn't break this so the chocolate is not broken so at least the emulsification isn't broken I think it just needs a little bit more liquid as well too here so yeah mm -hmm. wait you want a meow meow or meow 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 thank you very much everybody okay and uh, all right guy Fong I think we should be um all right, okay. We're actually getting pretty close here, so gonna, uh, Guy Fung, I'm actually just, you know, I'm gonna finish this before I take our next break here. So Guy Fung, again, uh, so we usually take a, a break once every half, um, every at the top of every hour, so uh, we should be fine here. So I do see also our stream rate battle ready to go as well too, so we'll need to get that done in just a few moments here. But yeah, hmm. By the way, I also see Kanar in the chat. Uh, also, Mods and Mary, can I get a shout out for? Uh, Texas Cryptid. Uh, also, I do see the legend that's Kanara in the chat, by the way, too. So, uh, Kanara, how are you feeling, by the way? I'm sorry I missed your stream yesterday, but uh, I should, sorry. Did you stream yesterday? I think you stream on Wednesday. How are you feeling, my friend? So, uh, yes. Uh, in, a, in a cruel twist of irony, uh, Kanara and I kind of were, were out of commission uh, around the same time, which was, uh, which is, I mean, it's uh, kind of a bit of an ironic thing, but. Uh, I know, uh, knowing Kanara, she's probably back with a vengeance now, so. Kind of like me. So, uh. Alrighty, that guy, I think our chocolate's actually, okay. Chocolate was looking a little gungy earlier, but, uh, I think we've, uh, we've got it fixed. It is looking a little bit less kind of splitty here now, which is good, so. I think we just needed to add a little bit more, uh. A little bit more evaporated milk to this, and I think we should be fine here, so. Uh, we are using evaporated milk, but if you, if you do want to use... Condensed milk for this. Uh, I have actually seen it with condensed milk. Uh, only thing when it comes to chocolate, you don't want to do use use regular milk as well too here. So, uh, thank you, Mel. Thank you for giving that shout out as well too. So yeah. Oh man. I was like super worried about thirty uh, about thirty seconds ago, just making sure that we don't we didn't get a whole bunch of well. Uh, didn't uh, the. The, uh, the, the chocolate was looking a little gungy earlier, so that's why I was just like, oh my god. So, And I do have some strawberries, too. I was actually going to serve some strawberries with this, but uh, but uh, maybe, uh, again, given how well our, 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 uh, our dumplings are looking, I think we might want to, I think we might probably want to get these done as well, too, here. So, perfect. Thank you very much. Okay, folks. Uh, I think I'm actually probably just going to fold these aside. I don't need too much. I, I don't need some too much parchment paper, so I just need to make sure that the chocolate is dippable uh, before we start working on anything else here. So, 
and that little chocolate. Just gonna need to bring the water nice to heat as well too here, so. <sighs> but again, folks, if you're just coming in for the raids, thank uh, Raid, thank you so much. Good to see you. Hoping you're having a wonderful Saturday. Uh, welcome to welcome to Calgary, by the way. So uh, if you're just wondering, yes, we are here in count. Uh, we are here in Canada. So uh, welcome to Canada, eh? So uh, sit back and relax. We are just uh, we're just about to start doing some uh, chocolate dipping here. So, but uh, all right, Guyfong, hold on a second. Actually, no. This is the water's going to take a few minutes to kind of come back to heat. So, Guyfong, just going to take this opportunity. Uh, just going to take this opportunity. Just going to take a quick little three minute break. I do need to go to the bathroom. When we come back, Guyfong. The dipping shall occur. So again, bear with me, folks. Uh, we'll be back in approximately three minutes here. So again, thank you so much for your patience. Don't heat up. The colors aren't completely correct, but they're kind of light. Again, scared the little thing. Oh. Didn't mean to yell. likely how the game is going to go. Everybody's living in a material world, and I am a material girl. You know that we are living in a material world, and I am a material girl. Welcome back, everybody. Good to see you. Welcome in. Uh, Guy Fong, I just uh, just re re remembered that I did have that stream radar battle that we needed to get r run, r that needed to run. So, again, just going to quickly run this battle, and then we should be, uh, we should be uh, ready for the last touches uh, of our dessert this evening. Wow, that was actually super quick, but there you go. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, Tactical Sponge, there's some Miss Tears Skull, folks. Uh, and folks, if you want to play, exclamation mark SR in our chat. We're going to keep that going. And next thing we're going to do, so again, Guy Fong, uh, once we come back, Guy Fong, we are almost ready to start getting our chocolate dipped rice uh, rice flour mochi uh, ready to go, or rice flour dumplings. So uh, once again, Guy Fong, again, we're just coming in. The, the word tong, the, the dumplings that we're making and mochi are very, very similar, except uh, how they're cooked. So... There is a there's a bit of a difference between the, uh, these two. Uh, 
the dumplings that we're making today uh, is used with uh, made with rice flour so or glutinous rice flour or mochiko flour. Uh, certain places will call them mochiko flour, uh, whereas mochi is done by pounding rice together. So like cooked rice, cooked sticky rice, and then and then just cook the sticky rice, and then uh, it's just literally mixed and mixed until uh, until dough is like a gluey dough is kind of formed is what you hear. So. Uh, and yes, Skyphone, we're taking a little bit of a uh, kind of a quote-unquote modern twist to this. We are dipping these bad boys in some chocolate here. So we're just topping, di dipping our tongue in some chocolate and then rolling them in some sliver toasted slivered almonds. And get a nice little kind of a... And uh, these, these things are also stuffed with peanut butter. So again, it's kind of it's kind of like almost it's kind of like almost like a peanut butter cup mochi. So in a sense, kind of, sort of, but... Uh, but not really. So, but again, welcome in everybody. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you've never been here, uh, if you've never been here before, welcome in. Uh, welcome to Dumpling Daddy's house. Yes, where we like to put some Asia in your mouth. So, uh, if you uh, if you like what you see, make yourself comfortable because uh, wow, well, and open wide, uh, open wide, and say ah oh, because uh, Asia in your mouth is coming your way here. So, alrighty. And right now we're just getting. I'm just trying to get the chocolate as little bit more liquid here so now, earlier when we actually put this uh, when we when we got the when we when we let it cool it kind of just uh, kind of looked a little gungy so we are just kind of warming it up so we just uh, kind of warm it up so that it actually can, can coat things here so it's still kind of gloopy I do want to make sure it's a uh, slightly flowy before we start uh, even thinking about dipping these bad boys here so and uh, yes, we do have some of our, our, our dumplings actually are good to go. So I mean, we're just, uh, just on the counter. I just need that chocolate to, to come back up to heat so that it will coat properly here. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. by the way, oh, by the way, again, if you, uh, again, I know, uh, I know Tech Descriptor rated er in earlier as well too. Again, thank you so much for that raid, by the way. Uh, do you wanna, again, uh, I know you said that you made some veg tempura earlier. Mm. What kind of veg do you use, by the way? I, I, I'm, I'm so sorry, actually, uh, I got a little confused. So again, if I, my brain went a little bit uh, as well too during that a uh, little raid. So again, thank you so much for that raid. What kind of vegetables y'all use, cousin? Okay, hold on. I think our chocolate is starting to melt a little bit here, so it's got a good amount of heat here. So I just want it to be a little bit more flowy. So you can get you can see you can see my chocolate is a kind of little bit still uh, still a little stiff, you know. So. So stiff chocolate ain't a good dipping chocolate here, folks. So we do wanna. So, I mean, it will. I mean, if I dip this, uh, dip it in like this, uh, it will dip. It will harden quickly. But uh, that's not what we're looking for. You know what I mean? So, and I'm also gonna try not to add much more liquid here. So that's uh, the our uh, our evaporated milk. So I can have to just crank up the heat just a little bit. So. Just a little bit, get a little bit more steam on here, and we should be good to go here. So, okay, it is starting to fall a little bit here, but it's a, little, it's not kind of flowing like ribbons here, which is which is exactly what, which is kind of what we're looking for here. So, so it's all about that patience here, which is, which sometimes it's a little hard to have. But again, welcome in everybody. Come on, almost there, folks. We see a little bit of simmering, so I can probably just turn that down a little bit. And once this is good, we should be. Okay, I think we should be. Nope. So still a little bit on the on the not runny side, but uh, again, we did turn down the water. So when it comes to chocolate, is a bit of the. I also hot it all also hardened when dipped quickly. Dipped in what though? Chocolate. I'll dip you in chocolate, Rexus. Rexus, I'm gonna one of these days I will I will dip those nuts into chocolate. And you're gonna like it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't laugh at my joke like that, but uh, but uh, that's a that's a promise, not a threat, folks. So I love Rexus, but sometimes he does need his cho is, is is he does need those nuts dipped in chocolate. Actually no, that would actually no, Guy Fong. I think that would be, I think that would be a, I think that would be a reward. That would not be a punishment. I think I think he would enjoy that too much. But, uh, 
All right, Guy Bong, let's see. This chocolate is taking a long time to melt here, but it's okay. So, yeah, that little sponge, don't worry. I mean, it's uh, it's Rexus. He likes it. It's, uh, it's his thing. He has no shame. So, and yes. And yes, whenever we lose, and tactical, uh, tactical when, sponge, whenever we lose battles, uh, whenever we lose stream raider battles, it's always Rexus's fault. So, yes. I mean, I mean, seriously, I mean, so, I mean, think about it. I mean, I mean, you, you didn't get, you, you didn't get that extra unit in time? It's Rexus's fault. Uh, if the chocolate doesn't melt properly, it's Rexus's fault. So, yes. <laughs> All right, now we're looking here, so. Oh, for frick's sake, this is taking us absolutely long here, so. Thank you, yes. Sponge, you know what's up. You know what's up. So. <laughs> All right. Okay. okay, this chocolate is actually looking pretty good here now, so I think we should be good. All right, Guy Fong, let's, uh, let's do one tester here. So let's, let's go over the counter. So we got, the ch we got our warm chocolate. So our nice, uh, nice warm chocolate is ready to go. Let me just get the, let me just get the counter ready to go here. So these are ice cold. We have actually dried them off. And I'm just gonna give this a nice coat. So nice good amount of coat. So just make sure everything's nice and coated here. So give this a nice toss. I don't want to coat too, I don't want to get too much on here, but you know what, hey, I mean, it's, uh, if there's a little too much nuts, seriously, hey, I mean, I'm not, uh, I'm not really going to be too, uh, too unhappy about that here, so. I mean, uh, all right, guys, hold on. Ah! Yep. These things are a little, uh, these things are a little sticky here, so that's okay, so. Maybe actually we just need to kind of just cool it down just a little bit here. All right, so. All right. I haven't done chocolate chocolate work in a long time, so guy phone, this is a, this is a, this might be a little bit of a struggle for me. So we're definitely going to be riding the struggle bus for a few minutes here, so. But again, bear with me, folks. So we should hopefully get something out of this here. All right, hold on, folks. Just going to make sure that all the, all the, uh, all the chocolate is coated. Should be fine. So. So. Huh. I know, perfect thing for this. Uh, Tax is not working. So, Twitch is working. What's up? Um, wait, are you not able to see anything? Uh oh, wait. At least I think Twitch should be working. So. Uh, hold on, folks. Just gonna. This chocolate is a. Uh, oh my goodness! This chocolate is like super, super soft here. That's why I'm a little worried about this here, but that's okay. Sure, sure, we could probably work this with a little bit of wool. Oh, geez, Louise. Okay, yep. So, I think I should have enough nuts for two more. So, uh, I think it should be fine. So. This chocolate's a little bit, uh, this chocolate's a little bit more, a uh, little bit more uh, viscous than I like it to be, but so. yeah, that's okay. I do like my chocolate a little viscous. To, uh, chocolate a little thick, it's okay, nothing wrong with that. So, oh, very strange feeling. That's just probably going to be, you know, it's probably going to be it. I think I have one bag of one bag of, uh, of uh, toasted uh, toasted almonds, and I think that's all I'm gonna get out of this here. Dang, okay. So, you know, hey, Guy Fong, that's okay. So I'm just gonna, I'm sure I could probably do this here. So let's see if I can get this. Uh, nope, nope. Nope, it's definitely saying nope to me here, but uh, actually, wait, hold on. Just gonna get the, uh, hmm. Nah, you know what, Guy Fong, I'm okay with that. There it is, so. At least we got three decent ones, Guy Fong. We can, uh, at least we can claim we have three decent ones, which isn't super, super bad. Mm. Mm. I'll probably just need to kind of give this a, 
probably just need to put this into a into a cooler, to, well, into the, into the into the fridge to kind of just let that let the chocolate settle for a few seconds, a uh, few few minutes. I think that should be eh, probably a few few minutes in the in the freezer. We should be fine. Is what do here? So, mm -hmm. Mm. yeah, exactly. It it is. I mean, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and say it's it's not all. Uh, it's always Rex's fault, but I guess it is always Rex's fault. <laughs> I know. Hey, now you stinker. Hey, now you stinker. Ah, go, 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 go. Alrighty. Mm. Yeah, we'll do. Mm. Mm. Thought I was actually gonna have a lot more, but you know, that's okay. Mm. So I'm just gonna move these aside. Just gonna get the. Uh, Yeah, it's gonna dip this into a little bit more chocolate. Kind of coat this, coat the rest of these. Um, even though we're not gonna get anything on them, seriously, I really don't mind. Just gonna get these. Just want to get something done here. So, mm, this chocolate's actually looking mm, not bad here. Mm. Mm. This chocolate's actually not. Mm, chocolate tastes real good. So, but, uh, mm -hmm. okay, it's going to drop this in. Mm -hmm. I just want to make sure this all, at least has a good amount of cover coating of chocolate on top of here. I think we should be good. Still leftover chocolate, but that's, uh, that's a, that's a, that's a good problem to have, is it? Mm -hmm. Okay, there it is. Two, 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 one. One, two. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay, there it is. Hold on, folks. So I'm just going to drop this in. Ah! No! God! God! Just... Just gonna make sure this is has a nice uh, slight covering of this chocolate here. So, mm. Mm. for uh, for our very first attempt at something that could potentially break the internet, Guy Fong. I mean, I'm not uh, I'm not gonna be mad about this here. I'm going to I'm gonna actually I'm gonna really kind of like this here. But uh, so we'll just have to give it a wait. We're just gonna gonna need to give it a wait. Uh, we'll probably just let it uh, sit for a few minutes. Uh, let the cho let the chocolate harden. Uh, uh, just cool and harden, and I think we should be pretty good here. So, uh, hold on, guys. I'm just gonna also just gonna try, just gonna try to get this into the uh, into our tray. Let's see if uh, see if this helps us here. So. Come on, come on. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Oh, geez, it needs to okay. This one's just being a little. So this this one's just being a little bit of a um, pain in the neck, but uh, that's okay. Just gonna coat it with a little bit of extra chocolate. So a little chocolate will always uh, save everything as well too. But but guy phone. Mm -hmm. Slow tag. I'm doing well. Okay, how are you? Good to see you, my friend. Sorry, I got my words all wrong. How are you doing today? Long time no see, my friend. How are you? How was your day? And how have you been? Seriously, how have you been though? Mm. Hoping everything's doing well. All right. Mm. Nope. There's a little bit of there's a bit of a little naked chocolate ram. So, and folks, again, if you're just coming in, you're just wondering what the heck these are. These are chocolate sweet rice dumplings. So, kind of like a kind of like a kind of like mochi, but not here. So, uh, I'm gonna go this. I'm just gonna put this. Um, I'm just gonna see if I can get this into the freezer for a few seconds here. So, guy, phone, bear with a second. Or, uh, should not. Let's see if this is. Um, nope. Actually, I'm gonna just gonna use the natural, natural cool, um, natural, natural refrigeration. So, we're gonna give this about 10 minutes. We are gonna try the strawberry though. We're gonna, we're gonna try. I did actually buy some strawberries originally to, to dip, but uh, let's see if. Uh, 
how these, this chocolate's looking to the two of them. Yeah, awesome. Good to see you. Hoping things are well. I mean, uh, it was like I haven't seen you in a while, but you know, hey, that's, uh, but it, like I said, Guy Fong, I mean, I, like I always say, even if you've been here for once, been for one, for one stream, zero streams, or a hundred streams, seriously, I still miss you. Oh, oh and Guy Fong, look at that. Look at this beautiful chocolate. Yeah, I can see this chocolate, so two here, so that's looking good. Oh, yeah. Let's gonna give this a drop. Jeez. Oh, jeez. I'm not a pastry chef, Guy Fong. I'm definitely, I'm definitely not a pastry, uh, not a pastry expert. So my dipping might not be the world's greatest. But uh, I mean, the chocolate's not bad, though. Hmm. All right, let's give this a taste. Mm. Good amount of sweetness. So, so chocolate's good. It's good flavor on chocolate. But it's just a little soft here, so probably will. Probably just takes a few more. Uh, just takes a few minutes to kind of get the uh, get it to uh, just just to harden up here. But you know that's okay, which will give us a, a few moments to get everything else ready to go too. So, all right, let's go. Perfect. Uh, it's gonna get our board. We should be uh, and, uh, get our board. We should be uh, should be ready to serve some uh, some chocolate covered tongue um chocolate covered rice dumplings. In about, in about three minutes here. So again, we should be fine here. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so if you are just coming in, you've come in at a perfect time because uh, we, uh, <laughs> we're about to break the internet. We are absolutely going to start. We are about to break the internet, and you know what? And I don't. We're going to break the internet, and I don't care who knows it. So there it is. Perfect. Let's the board. Let's get ourselves our board. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. Awesome, awesome. There we go. Wow. Three years, my friend. Wow. That's awesome. Slope Tech, thank you very much for three years, my friend. Seriously, I mean, it's really hard to believe, but seriously, I am actually, we are actually coming up to four years of, we're almost at four years of streaming now. So, I mean, it's, that's hard to believe. That's truly hard to believe. But uh, we, we, we've made it. We, uh, we, we made it. We're, we're, we're still, we're still alive and we're still thriving, and you know what? I have, uh, we, uh, well, uh, well, uh, to add to it, I hope that we will be banging pretty sure. Uh, we'll be, we'll keep banging on as well, too. So, bang on in, the, in a good way, of course. So, all right, Gavin, hold on a second. I'm just gonna, just gonna grab ourselves some, gonna grab ourselves some uh, garnishes here, and we should be fine. So, just going to pick some really nice strawberries here. I did pick up some strawberries at, uh, at the store when I went shopping yesterday for today, yesterday and well today and tomorrow, and uh, the strawberries are actually looking pretty good here. So uh, these are probably late uh, southern season strawberries, but you know what? They're nice and red, so I mean I'm not really going to be uh, too mad about these here. So let's like just come a couple that are kind of hanging, on, looking a little gungy, but uh, whatever, guy from whatever I don't use seriously, I'll probably just end up. Uh, freezing them and using them for another purpose. Do so, yeah. But uh, make one of the other ones. All right. Whew. Okay, guy Fong. Uh, we're just if you're just coming in right now, we're just waiting for the chocolate to. We're just waiting for a chocolate to, to to harden just a little bit before I transfer it to the plate. And then once we do, but once we get, get once we get that though, guy Fong, the uh, our dish will be good here. But. Uh, that's going to be a few more minutes here. So, but again, folks, uh, I did leave them outside for a few seconds. I'm just going to see where we are at. So, yeah, these things are actually super. Uh, these are actually super ice cold. These are super, super hot here. So, uh, we may actually have to. Uh, this pan is actually pretty cold here. So, I'm going to take a look. So, we did get this. Uh, and I mean, okay, and. Uh, Looking at these right now here, this is a, you know, the chocolate isn't fully set yet, which is going to take a, I feel like will take a little bit longer than I think it would be, but that's okay. Hmm. Ah, but Guy Fong, if you're just, uh, if you're just coming in, you want to take a look at this? Yeah, this is, uh, 
This is what they look like. They are chocolate dipped to tongue, you know, looks like. That, that, yeah, you know, they, they're, uh, we'll just have to give them a, just have to give them a few more minutes here. So, so, uh, let's, uh, actually, uh, I'm just going to move those, uh, I'm just going to move these uh, to the, to the downstairs freezer so that it can uh, freeze up pretty quickly here. So we give them about 10 minutes and then we should be, give them a 50, 10 minutes. We should be, uh, I think we should be ready to go as well too. In about 10, 10, 12 minutes here, we should be, we should have some of these strawberries ready to go here. So, okay, nope, nope, I don't have enough space in the freezer here. So, nope. Looks like the bouncer's freezer is a bit of a nope. So we'll just have to, uh, we'll have to just leave them outside. I'm afraid. So we'll have to just leave them outside, and we'll, uh, we should hopefully have them settle uh, very quickly here. But, uh, <sighs> I'll just leave them outside for a few minutes here, but, uh, but more importantly though, Guy Fong, again, if you're just coming in, how are you doing today? What, what, uh, what's everybody's, uh, Saturday been so far? Ah, <sighs> and, uh, whew, okay, we should be good to go here, so, okay, oh, well, it's, uh, it was a bit, it's been a bit of a journey, but, uh, Guy Fong, I mean, early, when, when my mom came, or, okay, when, when my mom was here earlier, we did, we made some, uh, the ses the, the black sesame, the black sesame tumblings. Uh, and now we have our peanut filled dumplings covered in chocolate. So Guy Fong, uh, we're just letting that kind of cool off for just a few moments. Uh, hopefully we should, hopefully in about 10 minutes, uh, we should have those. Uh, I did leave them outside. So hopefully in another 10 minutes, uh, they should be, uh, the chocolate should be nice and nice and hardened here. So I should just looking at my chocolate as well too. It's uh, and uh, we've only just taken it out about, it's just only slightly warm, but uh, it is starting to kind of stiffen up again as well too here, which is it's actually not too bad. So we're just looking good. So, all right, so we're looking good there. Can probably pack up with some strawberries, but uh, mm, I got a few dishes. We can, I'll do the dishes a little bit later here. But uh, and yes, folks, if you do want to try this at home, uh, we will. Um, I will make this. Uh, I will make the recipe available in our Discord. So uh, exclamation mark Discord in our chat here. So, oh man. Hold on a second, folks. Let me just take a just take a quick peek here. So, guy, okay, phone again. Let's see here. What's going on? Mm, okay, perfect. So, uh, uh, yeah. Whew, guy, phone again. Uh, if I seem like I'm a little kind of like a ooh right now, it's because it is. It has definitely been a bit of a. <laughs> it has been a bit of a journey today. But you know what? Hey, we we are almost there. So, guy, phone. If you have been here since the start. You are an absolute hero. So thank you, thank you for your time. And and uh, said before, you know, see, my phone. It might have been a little. It was a little touch and go for for, for, for the longest time. But uh, I gotta say, I'm actually really. I mean, despite uh, whatever happens, my phone. I, I I have to say, I mean, I have enjoy. I actually have missed streaming on Saturday. I actually have really start uh, missed streaming on Saturday. So uh, I do want to do as many. Uh, I do want to do uh, this at least once a, uh, once a month here. So, and then of course, when I think about it, honestly, when, when I start thinking, when I start getting in my head as well too, I'm always like, oh, it's once a month going to be enough or people going to, uh, or as we say in Cantonese, gao, uh, yeah, they win with gao, gao hao, as we call it in Cantonese. So, uh, will the, is, is one enough or should we do two? Should we do three? And then that's when, uh, that's when, uh, that's when bad things happen. I mean, does anyone ever get that feeling, by the way? I mean, you feel like you, you, you do something once a month, and then you feel like, no, should we do more? Should we do more? And then, of course, you, and then, and then of course you end up overloading yourself, which, is, uh, which uh, seems to be a common theme for yours truly. But uh, anyway, so, but I'm, I am definitely trying to manage myself a little bit better. So. All right, guys. Well, there, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna deal with the dishes when I, when we're, when we're done here. I don't wanna, I don't wanna do too much here as well too. So yes. Uh, but yes, Guy Fong. Again, if you just, and Guy Fong, is my screen frozen again? Oh Lord, hold on, folks. Just uh, bear with me for a second. Just gonna need to. I just need to, I just need to quickly refresh the camera here for just a second here. So, so yeah. So, hmm. so one is enough. You think you, you want this probably enough? Uh, hold on, folks. Just give me a second. I'm just gonna do a quick look. Uh, I'm just gonna turn this. Be right back. Screen for a few seconds here. Yeah, I'm just gonna turn the stream around. Turn the stream around. Turn the da, da, da. turn the stream around. And driving back to win. Oh. Is that perfect? 
So just need to refresh our screen and we should be good to go here. So, whew, okay. All right. So, uh, and uh, let's see. Mm. And, uh, and, uh, oh, oh, and once again, of course, Carl Guy Fong again. If, uh, 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 for those of you coming in, or of course, if you're not aware what we're going to be doing tomorrow, yes, uh, Guy Fong, just a quick little heads up of tomorrow. We are making uh, baked rice. So we are taking rice. Uh, we're making fried rice. Uh, and we are going to be putting some chicken parm on top. And then we're going to bake it. So yes, yeah, so we're making a chi baked chicken parm. Uh, big, big chicken parm fried rice. Uh, a little bit of that classic of, I'm about to say Italian, but uh, chicken parm's not an Italian. Uh, it, 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 chicken parm's again like an Italian American kind of thing, isn't it, eh? Or Italian American. So uh, help me out, but uh, I kind of want to say it's kind of almost like an Italian slash American kind of, uh, kind of, uh, and, a, and a bit of a with a with a bit of a place of Hong Kong. So we are. And also, this meal is um, this meal is also very meal probable too. So I mean, we are using we are. I will also be showing you how to uh, take apart a chicken. Uh, I did buy a chicken last night, so we are going to use some parts of the chicken and then save it for the rest of the week here. So uh, I do also kind of want to pick another. I, I do also, and I do. Uh, we do also have other things that we're going to talk about on tomorrow's what too. So, but so Guy Fong, we have quite a fair bit. So Guy Fong, um, we will be starting at a little bit earlier. We are going to be starting at 1 p.m. Eastern, uh, 11 a.m. Mountain. So we're going to be making dinner. We're going to make some. Uh, so we'll make some milk tea. Uh, I will also, again, if I do remember, I will also show you all how to make some uh, uh, boba pearls. Uh, but and we also will talk about mashup Tuesdays, which was uh, something that I'm hoping that we'll be able to. Uh, uh, inco start incorporating. So, uh, we'll we'll start incorporating into our lineup uh, starting next month here. So, uh, all right, guys. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually getting a little bit impatient here. So, uh, probably shouldn't be so impatient, especially when it comes to chocolate. But uh, come on, like, why is this taking? Why is this chocolate taking so long to settle here? So, uh, I just want to take some photos, man. I just want to take some photos. But, uh, our chocolate is actually getting thicker now, so it's, it is starting to kind of become a little gloopy. And that's at room temperature, so I mean I can't imagine what it's going to be like when it's outside as well too here. So, uh, but uh, uh, by the way, folks, again, if you haven't met uh, if you haven't met Panda today, so so if you, uh, if you like pa if you like uh, bear butts, so there you go. So so here's your gratuitous butt bear butt uh, bear butts of the day here. So uh, get it bear butt. It's a panda and it's a butt. Get it? <laughs> so uh, so there you go. So. Why am I even laughing at my own joke? Please don't, uh, don't, please don't laugh at that joke, please. So, so, but, uh, uh, yes. All right. Oh, then I guess I'm just gonna go take a look at our. Let's go take a look. See what the hell we're. Let's see where our chocolate's up to here. So, hoping it should be nice and hard here. Let's go take a look. Nope. Chocolate's still a almost there though. Guy, come. A few more minutes and we should be fine here. So we should be. Uh, we should hopefully have uh, be able to. Uh, chow down just before we, just before the top of the hour here. So, but hey, Guy Fung, we did it. We actually made it happen. We made this happen. We are we are making a potentially internet breaking dessert happen. And you know what, Guy Fung? I mean, I. It might not look perfect, but seriously, the fact that we actually got it done. I mean, we made it possible. We 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 made something like this possible. You know what? I shouldn't be too I shouldn't be too hard on myself on this one here. So. And I know, Mina, Guy Fong, Mina. I, I definitely know, Mina. I know y'all tell me to not be so hard myself, but uh, sometimes it can be a little hard to do that so too. So, but, uh, uh, but yeah, anyway, Guy Fong, hold on a sec. Let's go see if, I, if there's anything I need to, any other dishes I can probably drop into the dishwasher before we start. Oh, I do stuff our, I am definitely going to start get, get rid of our water pot here. So our, our cooking water, it's kind of nice and covered in. Covered in a whole bunch of stuff now, so we should be good. Let's get all our ingredients together. Eh, honestly, there's just a little bit of that. That, that evaporated milk is probably not, not the best anymore, so we should probably be able to get rid of that. But, uh, but, uh, eh, oof, guy, fun. We are, we are looking really good here now. So, so, uh, whooping your ass, don't be harsh on yourself. Thank you, thank you for doing that. Thank you. So, definitely trying not to be harsh on. Trying not to be harsh on yourself is a journey. Is 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 is, is a is. Not an easy thing to, not an easy thing to do. 
It truly isn't. And I'm not kidding. It's not an easy thing to do. Uh, and sometimes you just, it's, it's anyways, anyways, anyways. But, uh, but if you are like that, seriously, trust me, I, I, I feel you. I totally feel you. I am definitely with you in spirit on this one here. So, all right, Guy Fong, I do see your stream rider battles ready to go. We should be able to get that done. Okay, seriously, Guy Fong, no. No, my, my, uh, my, my sound alerts are definitely about a minute behind here. So, uh, which I think we might have to. Uh, I'm going to have to see if we can find a ways to fix that. But, uh, and... 99% certain it's probably not too not not too a bad deal as well. Well, shouldn't be looking too bad here. So hold on a second, Guy Fong. Let's go take a quick peeky peek. Mm, a few messages here. We should be good. I think we should be good. Mm, no, I think we're good here. So perfect. So, all right, hold on. Let's go take a look here. So hmm. Boom, boom. Oh, look at my unit go. Hoo -hoo. Just rolling in and. Uh, wait, what happened to my unit? Wait, did I my unit? Did my warrior just, just absolutely went bye bye like that? What the heck? Eh, really doesn't matter though. Sponge, thank you very much. Thank you for getting that last hit. Uh, I'm going to give you 50 gold. Thank you so much, your friend. Shayna and. Uh, Jaybo, thank you very much for your units as well. Uh, once again, folks, if you want to play, exclamation mark S R in our chat. And we should be able to get this next battle going here. So there we go. Perfect. Get it going. And there we go. You that is perfect. Okay. So is, uh, hmm. I don't want to check the chocolate so soon. Look at that. I think we only did. Uh, I think we only. Well, it was only about three or four minutes since we did check the chocolate. But uh, yeah, no, I just think I We have too many. Uh, we have too many uh, wild animals outside. Seriously, I don't want to. I, I don't want to keep my eyes. Uh, take my eyes off the chocolate for too long, uh, lest well, things happen here. So. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, Guy Fong, I think we're good. I think we're good. We should be able to pull them off. So let me just go get my offset spatula. And Guy Fong, it is time for plating. Guy Fong. Oh, geez Louise. Come on, camera. Okay. Camera's being, I'm going to have a nice little chat with this camera a little bit later as well, too. So, uh, so this camera's definitely going to get, oh, no. Fork's sakes, man. Seriously. Sorry, Guy Fong. Hold on a second. Just going to quickly reset our OBS bot again. Folks, so just have a okay. Hold on, folks. So let's uh, okay, perfect. So okay, there you go. Perfect. There was a Sorry, folks. Thank you. Thank you for your patience. Just going to grab the camera again. Let's get the uh, things going. All righty, folks. So, all righty. I think it's time for us to be, time for us to get this, get this dessert plated. All righty. Grab our offset. And I think we should be good here. So we got some, got some nuts. So we got some, uh, we got some nuts. So, sorry. So the peanut butter. Sorry, peanut butter filled sweet rice dumplings covered in chocolate, rolled in cho uh, covered in chocolate, and rolled in the, dang it, and uh, 
So rolled in toasted almonds. There we go. So uh, so so there's a plate, Guy Fong. So we got our plate. But I am, however, going to take one of these spare ones. So we're gonna take. The, I'm gonna taste the spare one. I'm just gonna move that off to the side for the tasting. So I'm gonna get out a couple photos here. Mm. Mm. The Guy Fong. Look at that. Mm. What do you think? I mean, they don't look bad. They look look. They may look a little scuffed, but seriously, Guy Fong, for a first time making this, I'm really, really not unhappy about this here. So, mm. okay, very good. Just gonna get a couple photos, and we should be ready to go. Move a few things off. Just taking a few photos here, so. Just gotta turn on a few lights. There it is. So nice and bright. So I'm just gonna hold on. Just want to make sure it's all all lit as well too here. So okay. So oh, perfect. So, mm, get our light on. And there it is, Guy Fong. Hold on. Just gonna get. So as you, as I'm taking some photos, I can actually show you what, what this looks like. Seconds. Gonna grab the lid back, and there it is. Perfect. Okay, photos are good. And Guy Fong, what are we thinking here? I'm a little nervous, but uh, it is. Uh, I think the chocolate has by and large settled, which is good. So let's uh, let's get this tasted. So let's get the. Let's get the tasting going, and uh, just gonna grab one of these, and we're gonna taste to see what is inside here. So, I mean, it doesn't look like the uh, the chocolate looks like it has settled, so which is good. All right, Guy Fong. Hold on, folks. Just gonna just gonna get the camera over here. So a little more zoom. All righty. Right, let's get this up. Uh, thing in there. Let's see how we did. So, the chocolate's a little, uh, still a little soft. Uh -uh. Mmm. Oh hey. Mmm. It's not as bad as I thought. Mm. It's actually pretty good. Mmm. 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 Has a slight chew from the dumpling, but the crunch and the nuttiness. Of the almond, the peanut, peanut butter. Mm. It's surprising to work really well. That's why I'm not scared. Mm. Mm. It's a great combo. Mm. You will need a little bit more time to, to, to solve it, mm. to harden up. You got a nice crunch on it? Oh, seriously, Guy Fong. Mmm. Mmm. It's the, the flavor combinations are correct. Mmm. It's really good. So I am not unhappy about this in no way, shape, or form. I mean, could they be better? Yes. But should I worry about it? No, not really. I don't feel like it's a. I feel like today, this is definitely cause for some celebration. 
cause celebrate because, uh, hey, I mean, uh, Kai Fong, I mean, <coughs> if you like mochi, if you like mochi, you'll, uh, you'll love these things. And yes, uh, they're, they may be traditionally served in soup, but uh, I gotta say, we will try, we will come back to this, Kai Fong, eventually. So, so I would consider it as a, as a, as a draw. I'm going to, I'm going to call this a draw with this one, but Kai Fong, I gotta say, when, next time we come back to this, we're going to have a lot, we'll, we'll know what, we'll know the battle, we know, we'll know our enemy, and next time, Guy Fong, we're going to absolutely smash it out of the park, and next time, we are going to break that, we are going to break the internet here, so, but, uh, and yes, if you're just wondering what this is, these are Pong Yun, also known as glutinous rice dump, rice flour dumplings, uh, or sweet rice dumplings, filled with peanut butter, covered in chocolate, roasted in, uh, ro rolled in toasted, uh, toasted slivered almonds, uh, and, uh, it's just absolutely delicious. I gotta say, this is absolutely delicious. Uh, again, I'm not gonna eat these. I'm, I'm probably gonna give this a. I'm probably gonna give these guys maybe say another half an hour uh, in, in natural refrigeration to kind of really harden up the chocolate. I mean, the chocolate looks ready already. I mean, the chocolate. I mean, when I lifted off the uh, off the uh, the uh, the parchment, I mean, it was already. Uh, it was already nice and uh, nice and crunchy already. So, chocolate was just a little soft, but. Again, a little bit more chill. Uh, I just kind of want, I, I just wanted to show you what they look like. So that's why I kind of just pull them off the plate. Uh, just play them a little bit quickly, but uh, I'm sure a little bit more time. Uh, a little bit more time of chilling uh, will actually make it a little bit better here. But uh, uh, when that happens though, Guy Fong, I will take some photos. Uh, or if I don't take, or I don't do them until tomorrow. Uh, again, I'm not leaving these overnight, by the way. So these are not going to be left overnight, but uh, if you... Uh, I will definitely start posting some of uh, these pictures uh, onto the uh, uh, into the Discord uh, tomorrow here. So, well, sorry, when we're done, when, when they're when they're ready to go, I will have the photo in the Discord here. So, but yeah, Guy Fong. Whew, okay, we are. Uh, I mean, uh, this was a this uh, stream was a. I thought it was <laughs> the stream was a little longer than I thought it was going to be, but you know what? That's okay. Uh, we are uh, so we are, uh, but we still had a good time here today. So today was the first. Uh, for the first bit, we had my mom here. Uh, my mom, uh, my mom actually sh uh, tossed us a little, showed us a little technique uh, of of how to make these tong yuan. Uh, so, Guy Fong recipe will be in the Discord. Uh, I will start writing up this recipe the moment I uh, oh, moment we finish all my dishes, uh, and then you can also take a look at this uh, recipe so that you too can uh, try this uh, anytime. Uh, and Guy Fong, one huge thing, unlike uh, un uh, unlike mooncakes, which is usually eaten during the autumn, you can eat these. Anytime you want, you can eat these anytime you want. Yeah, yes, and traditionally, yes, mooncakes. Uh, so, yeah, uh, Titanium Chef, if you are in the chat, yes, uh, mooncakes are not eaten at Lunar New Year. They are traditionally eaten at Lunar uh, Mid Mid Autumn Festival. So, uh, just a quick heads up, but 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 hey, but unlike mooncakes, you can eat these. You can eat these tong yun at any time, and yes, you can make them sweet or savory and uh, there will be a time when we will start making or we will uh, do a savory version of this as well too so uh this is kind of and, and again it's just kind of part of the whole uh, dumpling daddy collection so we'll uh, so we will come back to this uh at another time here but uh, mm -hmm. i just made myself food wow that's good yeah well that's good guest what did you make so uh, uh but i am not i am not Uh, what's it called? I am just, uh, whew, okay. We have been on for a while, so we are definitely going to, uh, we are going to, uh, go and take a break. We are back again tomorrow. So folks, we are, so Guy Fong, we are going to be back tomorrow. Uh, so it is, so the, the fun is not, the fun is only just beginning. So, uh, if you are just coming in, uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry about that. Well, we are going to be, uh, be back tomorrow here. So, you know what? I mean, if it looks good to you, I mean, seriously, I mean, hey, who am I, who am I to say as well, too, right? I mean, I'm not, I mean, it just, uh, on my name, it says chef, but seriously, I mean, I'm not that kind of chef, so again, so, but hey, if you, uh, if you have any photos, I mean, you want to, if you want to share it with photos, I mean, hey, we do have a Discord for you to share as well, too, but, uh, 
Uh, but hey, if you uh, if you are here and you want to you want to learn a few more things as well too, this is a, you've come to the right place. So, uh, I do also have a, a target in mind. Uh, this is a this is a person who I met recently uh, through Moco Loco. So yes, we have recently uh, been invited to join the team Moco Loco. So we are not part not just part of Happy People, but also Moco Loco. Uh, uh, this is uh, this group as a whole uh, is a is a group of amazing creators, uh, art, uh, and we are. I am actually very very happy to say that we are the first food and drink streamer, pure food and drink streamer, that they have allowed into the into the team. So uh, so Moco, we are the first food and drink streamer that is part of Moco Loco Guy Fong. Uh, we are. I'm so happy that the, that Darren and Derek and Devin has allowed me to be a part of their. Their team of incredible creators. I mean, uh, Zombie Hedgehog was here earlier, uh, and I know a few others have been here as well too. Oh, if you are lurking again, they, I mean, I'm not going to call you out, but uh, I'm sure there's a lot of them out there as well too. But Guy Fong again, uh, I I hate to kind of just do this uh, as well too. So yeah, so yeah, so yeah. So it's been a, it's been a good day. It's been a good day today, uh, and we're gonna go say hi to Pick Stitch this evening here. Uh, Pick Stitch is a also a friend of uh, Nine Point Five, who's a good friend of mine as well too. Uh, and uh, so, but uh, but also a member of Team Moco Loco, he's actually playing some Resident Evil Zero. Uh, but uh, let's go say hi to a new friend here. So I mean, I've, I've been kind of on a bit of a kick uh, to introduce ourselves to more members of Moco Loco. So we are going to uh, go say hi to Pick Stitch. Uh, uh, before you do raid call, though, Guy Fong, I'm just gonna get the uh, I'm just gonna quickly update this here. So bear with me for a second. Um, all of our um, chocolate. Uh, Perfect. So, okay. So, just make sure we're good. There, good. There it is. Thank you very much, everybody. That uh, so we got the raid. We got the raid call. So again, uh, cut and cop, Guy Fong. If you are still with us here, uh, stay with us here. Uh, I know if you are heading out for for a night on the town. Again, uh, hoping uh, you will join me for the raid before we do. Guest, again, thank you for saying that. You are you are far too kind. So again, thank you so much for that here. Uh, so yeah, so we eaten some all of our chocolate peanut covered peanut butter dumplings. Don't tell Pixis we actually didn't eat them, but uh, well anyway. So but uh, we did eat all of our chocolate covered peanut butter dumplings, and now we are going to need to raid his fridge as well too. So, uh, but Guy Fong again, uh, thank you so much for your company today. Uh, Guy Fong, I know I hate to, I really hate to do this, but I am definitely fading a little bit here. So we are going to be. Uh, so we will be back again on tomorrow uh, at 11 a.m. Mountain, 1 p.m. Uh, 1 p.m. Eastern. Guy Fong, we're making uh, chicken parmesan baked rice. Um, yes, you heard it right. Chicken parmesan baked rice. So uh, if you want to find out a little bit more about that, though, uh, Guy Fong, you're going to need to tune in. If you haven't done so already, smash that follow button, turn on notifications so that you do you uh, you won't miss the stream uh, when we are back again at 1 p.m. So, yeah. It is good. I, seriously, the Guy Fong actually inspired me to do uh, We were talking, again, it, it didn't, it didn't oh. kind of come with a... Oh hello. oh, hello. Yes, thank you for the follow. Uh, literally, it came out from a from an idea. Someone actually mentioned that they had uh, had chicken parm. Chicken parm is actually one of my secret kryptonite dishes. I mean, it, it, it literally is my fucking kryptonite. Um, fried chicken, cheese, and, and tomato. I mean, seriously. I mean, I mean, if, unless of course you hate one of those three items or all three items. I mean, uh, I mean, I I have not seen any. I have not known anyone who does not go gaga over uh, chicken parmesan or even eggplant parmesan. But. Uh, we're not gonna make Eggman Parmesan because I didn't buy an eggplant, but uh, I do have chicken. Uh, we'll, I do have a chicken. We'll uh, take it. We'll take some of the parts of it uh, and we'll use it over the course of the week. And then we we'll also will talk about uh, Mashup Tuesdays. Uh, we'll also talk about what ingredient you would potentially like me to work with on Tuesday as well too. But uh, we'll talk more about that tomorrow. Uh, Guy Fong, I. It's, uh, it's going to be a bit of a journey to clean up, uh, and yes, recipe for today will be in the Discord. Uh, if you, ha if you uh, would like to join us, uh, Guy Fong, again, please do, exclamation Discord. Um, the uh, raid call is up, so folks, cut and copy, uh, and I will hopefully, and I will hopefully see you again. So again, now we're going to say hi to Pick Stitch in just a few moments here. So uh, let me just go get it. Uh, Lord Velos, thank you very much for, for those kind words. Thank you so much, my friend. And uh, if you, uh, and yes, my mom was here, so folks, uh, 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 we will get her back again very soon here. So again, so let me just uh, start the raid here. Uh, stay with us here. So picks. I think I got the right one here. Let me just make sure we got the right person here. Yes, we got the right person here. That's good. So 
So fix this just been started. So folks, again, exclamation rate call, cut and copy, and yeah, I can't actually, I can't type here. So, so cut and copy, and then we're gonna go say hi to a new friend of a part of Moco Loco here. So, and then there it is, Guy Fong. Again, thank you so much for everything today. Uh, please take care of yourselves. Uh, so it's not a, it, it's not a goodbye. It's a so long, uh, so long farewell. Of Vida Zen until tomorrow. So long, farewell, of Vida Zen till tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Good, not good. Bye. It's just a farewell. Sorry. If, uh, if I'm sorry, folks. If uh, anyone uh, just uh, was was listening on. Uh, on head to do. Uh, Mel, thank you very much for being you. Thank you for to you and the you and Rexus and the mod team. Thank you so much for that. Uh, Guy Fong, uh, so yes, so, so yes, so uh, if uh, yes, I do like to sing and uh, not well though. But anyway, so anyway, uh, enough of that. Guy Fong, thank you so much for everything. Uh, take care of yourself. Hold hands. Uh, exclamation raid call. Cut and copy that. And uh, we'll see. I'll see you over at Pick Stitches chat in a few minutes here. And uh, hopefully, Guy Fung, we'll be back on a Saturday very shortly. But if I don't see you on Saturday, uh, definitely not next Saturday, but uh, I'll definitely see you uh, tomorrow. All right, Guy Fung. Mm. Uh, Guy Fung is a Cantonese word uh, for a neighbor. Oh, dang it. <laughs>